Barbie's on the run, accused of killing her new boyfriend, Kenneth, in cold blood. Now, her two best friends, Georgette and Candy, have to catch the real killer and clear Barbie's name before it's too late. It is time for dolls, drama, and death in our new parody TTRPG series, Barbie Didn't Do It. Barbie Didn't Do It premieres June 27th, so subscribe to the Must Be Dice podcast feed to listen, or watch the full video versions on youtube.com slash at funhouse2. And make sure you head to roosterteeth.com and become a first member to watch episodes early and get access to the exclusive Barbie Didn't Do It post show. Barbie's fate depends on it. Hey, hey everybody hey james hey. oh hey, hey uh man. we're back we're back with sonic we're back baby i keep saying to jacob you can put it on the calendar every week and he goes okay <laughs> it's like once every two months yep and then i put street fighter or i put kingdom hearts or i put uh the the finals or whatever but no longer yeah it finally happened there was yep. nothing else we could do yep so sonic frontiers has to continue now even with even without patrick yeah, I know. For that now. is a thing, too. I think we were like, oh, maybe we delayed for Patrick because he loves Sonic so much. But yeah. <laughs> I don't know that we, we we have to move forward. Yeah. Because ultimately, like we say we finished this, maybe I have to play through every single Sonic game. Yeah. And he can maybe come back maybe we, if we did a member goal for that, we'd have to figure that figure out what that's worth to people. Yep. yep. Right? To, to everyone out there, and also what it's worth to us. Yeah, because how many are there at this point? A lot. Dozens? A lot. And they keep making more. We might have to narrow, we might have to, we would make probably make a list and be yeah. like, James will be playing all the actual Sonic games. Ooh, what constitutes actual? Like, one, two, three, Sonic and Knuckles. Like, Knuckles Chaotix, probably not. 3D Blast, no. Oh, so it's kind of no. Sonic in the, Sonic in like, the title. Like, the ones that we consider official Sonics might be might be fun. You don't think Sonic Spinball is official Sonic? Sonic Spinball sucks, and it's not an official Sonic. Here's why. Okay. Because they were having so many issues with Sonic 3 that they had to scramble and find a studio to throw together <laughs> cool. Sonic Spinball for the holiday season just to have a Sonic game. Wow. It was thrown together at the last minute. What a travesty. Now yeah. you're telling me Kirby Tilt and Tumble isn't an official Kirby game. Yeah, well. Whatever, let's play some Sonic. All right, I'm gonna jump right in. We got a new language, we got a, so where's my auto save? This is best. Uh. <laughs> 10 hours in. Oh, that's right, it's a, it's a weird, usually you can quantify all these hours How? based on four hour blocks. But the first time we streamed this, our internet went out for two hours. So it's, okay, so this is the start of our third block. Yeah. Or okay. fourth block. This how is our did, fourth block. How did Ryan? How is Ryan at like forty hours of Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> or what is that? There are certain allowances that must be made for Kingdom Hearts. What are you dressed as right now? You oh, should know. Oh, you're a Rathalos, of Thank course. Thank you very much. It's just very dark, and there's a lot of UI on the screen yeah. to distract me. I need to click vault keys. It always takes me about twenty minutes to remind myself what was going on. Also, is the day and night cycle new? Uh, I don't. I've actually been absent for most of these. Uh huh. A Sonic streams. Um, I had to keep myself away because of how ravenous I would be exposed yeah. to so much Sonic. But uh, no, I'm here yeah, for this state of the art game. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, we'll have a certain amount of time. We'll be dedicated to relearning Sonic. It's been yeah, it months. always, yeah. There it is. Aha! Uh -huh. And you can do flips in the air. Okay. Wow. So the the objective of the game. Wow, it just disappears thing that I just made as soon as I walked away. The objective of the game is to collect vault keys, and then we can From use portals. the vault keys, yeah, to do portals. And do oh. I have enough? I don't, I need 40 skill points. Ooh. I have almost filled out my skill tree. That's the whole entirely. tree? Entirely. <laughs> <laughs> Only 10 hours in. Um, map, map, map. What's cool about this though is just think about how much fun Zelda's gonna be when you go back to that. I was gonna say I could I'm so excited for this game because, you know, obviously this is the Sonic take on Breath of the Wild, but oh, of course. I don't I, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to go back to Zelda. This is the first time I've been playing Sonic since Tears of the Kingdom. I might start oh, seeing all of its flaws. That's right, yeah. It's gonna seem so imperfect and unfinished compared to a game like this. Is that like a climbing wall? Yeah. Hold on. I've completely oh. forgotten everything. <laughs> Look at that, you did that though, you got 30 rings. Oh, okay. 
Oh yeah, and then he, this happens. If you get all your rings up, you go into son supersonic mode. Oh, did something change? You go a little bit faster when you walk. <laughs> oh, cool. The rails. Ah! Oh, look at that. Yeah, Tears of the Kingdom took this. Yep. I think I did walk in during a few uh, very large-scale boss fights. I got that key. How do I, why can't I figure out how to bring up my map? <laughs> There, oh, it there it is. Okay, I pressed that before. Oh wow! All right, this so is... we're these. So these basically are little stages. This one, I need two more vault keys to 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 be able to get. These are these are the rank S time. These are stages. So like you you oh. get a bunch of this garbage, these gears, to be able to unlock these, and then when you unlock these, you have to. You unlock enough of them, you get Chaos Emerald. So we're gonna oh. go back into this one. If we can get these last two ones, then we'll be good. Okay, so the more sub-objectives yeah. you complete, the so, more vault keys you get. So I need to beat it with 30 rings in a very fast time. Okay, that's yeah, that sounds easy enough. It does, you think. Oh, oh cool. Is this it? Oh, this is a loading screen. Yeah, that's yeah, a loading screen. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa! Sonic kick! Okay, I'm remembering a little Sonic bit. Sonic is able to climb up black walls. You fight kaiju in this too. Oh, that's that's exciting. Ooh, side scroller Sonic. You gotta go fast, of course. Yeah, yeah, it goes that Okay, that's start. <laughs> Damn it. Can I just restart? Oh, <laughs> I see. I don't remember the control screen is wonky. So a lot of the stages are basically like reimaginations of the uh, stage from other Sonic games. So this is from Sonic and Knuckles. Oh, of course. This looks like Taro Mazula. Yeah, it does. So we don't need that, but we'll take it. Sonic seems a little slow right now. Yeah, he's he's not. <laughs> Ooh! Ooh, Sonic! Fucking Christ. <laughs> God damn it. Well you have you only have so much screen to look ahead and uh, see what you gotta do. Yeah, the camera is very bad in this game. That's by choice though. Yeah, it's a design. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I heard that button getting pushed. <laughs> God damn it. Man, there was one one time we did this where I got stuck on some stairs. And if the game just would lo reload you in a section that you could not defeat. Oh, me oh, Mark has gifted a Funhouse membership. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, there are uh, a couple of Marks that gift memberships. Oh, really? This is the one with the BB-8. We all more more more. This is about the name Mark. They love Funhouse so much. Yeah. Like Marks to a floor. Okay, here we go. I saw somebody again. Yeah, what the hell? Fucking God damn it! Well, this Sonic really uh, exercises the um, the waiting mechanic. You gotta wait for a platform to go up and down. Yeah, I mean, the, a lot of people think Sonic is a fast game, and it is now. But when it actually started, it, the first Sonic games were pretty slow platformers. <laughs> Annabelle got some cheesy garlic bread on the nice, way. Nice. Perfect. Perfect for watching Sonic. Getting some cheese and oil in you. All right. These are the, the tricksy platforms. Ah. Uh, will that kill you in one hit because you don't have any rings? Yeah, I think so. I don't even remember. Oh. <laughs> You gotta get 25 rings. 25 rings, and, and under a certain time, too? Yeah. It's crazy. Oh god, this game moves too fast. I was complaining about the speed a second ago. But no longer. What's the fucking button? What's the button? Oh. Do that! Sonic. Christ. That's on Sonic, right God there. God damn it! Here, maybe like a, a full run all the way through just to refresh. It's like it's like uh, you ever play Ghosts and Goblins or whatever. Yeah, it's. Or like impossible. you jump and you jump and if you're not jumping in the direction, 
then it doesn't matter. Yeah, like you, uh, you have to like commit to your jump arc. Oh, Mark Franklin. And uh, the other Mark gifted five Funhouse memberships. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just control like a normal fucking thing. This game got good reviews. I don't understand it. <laughs> like, why is he so slow? He's just dragging. <laughs> I feel like a lot of Sonic games, regardless of quality, get good reviews. I don't understand. Everyone's wrong. <laughs> just, just fucking look at this speed. That's how fast he fucking goes when I hold the stick <laughs> the whole way. Go first! The last Sonic game I played was Sonic Mania. And Which was, is fine. Was a, that was, was an actual game. game. Yeah. So uh, there's a button I'm supposed to be able to... <sighs> oh, here we go. Uh, boost, side, lock on, dash... Click okay, that's it. Click to... on the stick. That doesn't sound like Thanks. it feels good. <laughs> there we go. That's natural. Hey! Well, but now we can only get the 25 points, and we're not going to get the fucking F points. That's okay. This is our, our warm-up run. Just to re-familiarize ourselves with this game. Oh. <laughs> People are saying to boost? Is that a thing that happens in this it game? Is, there is a boost button, you are correct. I, that honestly, running around the world is fine. I hate, I hate, I hate <laughs> 2D levels. They're not fun. They said, let's put 2D Sonic in this 3D Sonic. It'll be the same. It'll be just like the 2D Sonic. Some of them are loves. 3D. Yeah. Oh, now we're going fast. Ish. Slow down so that the game can remember what it is. <laughs> oh. Okay, missed those coins and dropped me right off the edge there. And we're back, baby. You think it might be because you have a mustache now? No, it was like this before. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Good recovery. How long is this stage? Well, I mean, I haven't made any goddamn progress because this is miserable. There we go. At least we got some rainbows. And... But we're not going to... Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so angry. Is this how it is every time? Yes. Oh all of God. these levels are terrible. <laughs> They're all horrible. And the music, like, is this a good, fun Sonic song? Like, are people enjoying this? Sounds like DDR. Yeah. Where's the butt rock? Has this game got some of that? No, not nearly enough. The only good thing that happened this, in this game is when, uh, you get to turn into supersonic and fight a boss. That was cool. I think I did watch some of that. Whoa! I think... I think the first game, Sonic game I ever played was Sonic Adventure. And I think I finished it with all the characters. Uh, Sonic Adventure I actually like. Yeah. But it also was like the Ooh. start of... What the hell? It was the start of everything breaking in Sonic. Yeah. Because they were like, we don't want to put in the effort to make this a quality game. So we're just going to, uh, everything has a homing attack now. Yeah. Everything Sonic does is a homing attack. So don't worry about anything being good or whatever. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it function as a mechanic. Ooh. I'm seeing a lot of folks asking about it. Rain Man. Oh, when are you gonna go back to Raven? <laughs> when are you gonna go back to Raven? <laughs> Who's crocs are those? Hey, John. Oh, yeah. Papa Squat. Oh! Sonic thing. But James is just nonstop. <laughs> this whole Sonic about. God damn it! Oh, okay, I got 25. I got 25. But okay. Now it doesn't matter because we have to do it again faster. S time is In, two minutes and Oh, we needed 30 seconds. rings. Oh, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Well, yeah. the thing hit me at the very last second, so. We've got like six group chats. It's all James started just talking about Sonic, so yeah. I want to finally see what the hype is. Yeah, there, there is, is no hype. Do you have a... <laughs> <laughs> what is your Sonic experience, John? Nothing? Uh, I played the first three. I oh, uh, okay. really enjoyed it. Of course, that was like, you know, when I had infinite time to play. Well, Sega Genesis, and then I just fell off from there and came back, and it was like 8,000 Sonics. There are a lot of them. 
because there are a lot of them. But hearing James's enthusiasm for anything Sonic always makes me be like, hey. You're about to hear so much enthusiasm. Yeah, I can't so wait. Much. <laughs> You'll form that opinion on your own very quickly. I don't know if anything can rain on my parade. You, ever, you never played, so you never played Sonic and Knuckles? Yeah, I did. Uh, okay. That's not the third one, or am I confused? That's, so technically there's Sonic 3, and then there's Sonic and Knuckles. Okay, so I, I didn't, I don't think I played Sonic 3, but I did play Sonic and Knuckles. Why would they design it so the jump is just outside of the reach of the normal character's jump? <laughs> I hate that shit. Nope. See, you're honing your your edge. Your razor sharpness to complete this under that 255. Also, sometimes you do the boost and it doesn't boost. Uh, Pretty astounding. We want that Like extra. boost, I'm hitting the boost right there. I'm hitting the boost. I was so happy when they introduced Tails to Sonic. Because I was just so like that. You're a big Tails, Tails fan? Friend. Yeah, you could fly. And the, the original Sonic, it wasn't multiplayer, right? It was a single player. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so like, my brother would never, never let me play until Sonic 2. And I had to play with him. Oh. Fucking Christ. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. This is the last time I attempt this, and then I, I'm really <laughs> <laughs> The stream's oh, wait, gonna wait, end. How long are we on? Yeah. <laughs> We can always play, uh... Fucking Christ! Oh, no, we can't. That's like we can't play, uh... The shit we played the other day. Finals. Oh, the finals? Yeah, that beta ended. Yeah, I know. Uh -oh. I was the screen. When is that game come out? I don't know. It was actually, it was really fun. Yeah, I think they told John later this year, and I mean, if that's a, a beta, a closed beta, I'm like, y'all are in pretty good shape. I yeah, mean, it, it, it had its bugs, but... Yeah. Out. I heard there's a lot more issues in the first beta. So this yeah. one was doing a lot better. Zerulia! James, would you rather do a series teaching Ryan to actually play a game or a series with Patrick about creating the ultimate workout routine? Thank you for being a member, uh, Zerulia. Uh, I guess teach Ryan how to actually play a game. <laughs> that sounds more fun. He is quite good at Kingdom Hearts 3 these days. Patrick, Patrick <laughs> is the strongest one in the office, so. Yeah. So he would be teaching you. Yeah. Hey, clever foodies. Ooh, boy. Ooh, ooh. What the fuck? Oh. I fucking nailed it. Never before have I seen a game work so against you, against anybody. We're gonna find a different stage. I hate all, every single time you have to go into a thing, mm. it's fucking atrocious. <laughs> There's probably so many vault keys out there to it's get. It's the antithesis of fun. That's okay. I want to take advantage of Ryan's love for gambling. And just make a series around it. We're like, because you know, when he when he's winning, despite having lost ninety percent of the other things, he'll talk the most shit. So yeah. it's like, will he become a pro because there's money on the line, or will he will he finally be humbled? I feel like that would just be fun. <laughs> I agree. He get, he gets very enthused. Mm -hmm. I've discovered I, I really like seeing him both win and lose. Oh yeah, I, lo I love it. It, oh, yeah. it gets me going. Well, I I just want him to show humbleness once. Yeah. No, that's, Once that's in his different. life, I want him to be humble. Yeah. Well, that's the show we have to make. It's called Humble Ryan. And uh -huh. See, if, uh, just make him play impossible games. Humble Ryan. <laughs> but put money on it, so it hurts even more. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, boy! Yeah, cool what is happening? It's not. It, don't, it's not cool. <laughs> Where you're just trying to get from point A to point B, and then it knocks you down a, a hundred meter ramp, and then puts you in two dimensions. Oh god! Oh, this is the wreckage Ooh. of a giant mech. Oh, we have to figure out how the fuck to get over there. Oh, there's a, there's a volcano over there. Okay. There's 20 minutes to get where we were before. <laughs> All these, there's just like, look at that loop over there, just sitting there. I know, the it's sky. very intuitive. It's great game design. <laughs> they really put a lot of thought into it. The Ranger, a member for five months. Good. If you three had to pick one game to represent yourself, what would that game be? To represent yourself? <laughs> I feel that could be interpreted in so many ways. Yeah. Sonic Frontiers. Sonic Frontiers? Is that your final <laughs> answer? <laughs> where, where the fuck am I? Oh, uh, okay. I would say maybe. Well, represents me. It, it, I guess my follow was me in gaming or just me in general in life. I guess you in life. Just oh, that's hard. The, the qualities of your person uh, distilled into a video game. Hmm. I gotta think about that one. I'm gonna actually think about that one. I want to say Unreal Tournament, just because it's my, oh. it's my play style of just like no yeah. hiding, just balls to the wall, go at it. But it's not. I don't even know why. 
Mm -hmm. oh, Mine's Def Jam Fight for New York. Nice. That's, just, that's nice. solid answer. <laughs> we'll say Mario Paint. Mario Paint? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just a blank canvas, you do whatever the fuck you want. Ooh. Colors. I like this. Yeah, mine would be Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Nice. I love building cars. <laughs> In Zelda, specifically. Mm -hmm. I haven't really built anything crazy. Okay. All right. Cool controls. Mm -hmm. Here, fly. Oh, Fun whoa. Stuff. What's going on there? Oh, Why is like that happening? Car. Yeah. Woo. There you go. Lock on. What's the... Is it just Sonic Racing? Is that the kart racer? Sonic... Oh, Sonic... Sonic... An All-Stars Racing Transform? That's the one, yeah. I was missing part of the title. Does, uh -huh. he, he, does he drive a car in that? Yeah, he does. Okay. I like that title, Clever Foodies. Royal Humble. Royal Funhouse Humble. Battle Royale to Best Ryan <laughs> Haley. Well, I guess I kind of see now. Every turn is a drifting. Yeah. Situation. Yeah, but it's not. It's not true drift. Okay. That's S time. Did we get an S time. Okay, S time. Nice. There's a. Song. Oh, and then it Look gives me that. the other thing we need. Great. Perfect. Look at all those fault keys. This is Sonic Racing game, right? Sonic R. Is that what it is? Well, there's so there's Sonic, like kart racing, but then there's also Sonic R, which was a Sonic running racing. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, oh, I was thinking okay. it's like kart racing, which is great. Okay. And may or may not be featured on an upcoming episode of Ben and Ware. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. I can dig that. It's Dan. He it's heard Dan. Sonic was here. Yep. Oh, Wait, Dan spelled two Sonic. Gold keys? Didn't it give me two? It said I got the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Three something. additional it's Sonic. Keys. It's That's Sonic, Sonic I thought you spelled my factor, I just ate. <laughs> <laughs> Is it minty? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's totally the sauce. No, it's like you can hang out, Dan. Oh, we got a cutscene. Oh, no. <laughs> you betcha, I got a button that frames it up. Nice. The factor difference is that sauce. Yeah, I love it. Every meal has its sauce. own sauce. It's not dry. I do like that. Um, yeah. That's why I've been telling people, like, salt and pepper. Like, when I used to bring my freshly's here i i kept parmesan and soy all these things in the fridge to try to jazz it up but i, I don't have to do that with factor real no quick. jazz needed real quick can we turn up the volume on the tv somewhere oh yeah, yeah. uh we're the remote is it uh -oh. by any chance on your right because i haven't changed the input i think i put it on the right so i probably just sunk it oh is that girl sonic uh, what? Oh, well. The language is that. Right, You're speaking right, Spanish. Right. Oh, it's Spanish. Oh. Okay. All right. We can now we got we did that, so we got to go back to Chaos Emeralds. Are you Dark Sonic? Dark Hog? No, he's a Rathalos. I'm he's wearing Rathalos, Rathalos armor. Dan. Come on. It's a Monster Hunter crossover. Sonic wears armor? You betcha. But only if it's from Monster Hunter. Yeah, if it's from Monster Hunter. It's My so Humanity. Dark. Thanks for being a member. Also asking if this is Elden Ring DLC. <laughs> it is. <laughs> this is Shadow of the Earth Tree. That was sick. Why is it so dark? Because it's Sonic. He's hardcore. Was that a monster with a racetrack coming out of it? Yes, it was. <laughs> That's really cool. That's awesome. It's not. Oh. <laughs> None of this is good. This is a bad game. Hey, James. It's a bad game, just so you know. The other side of the uh, Monster Hunter Sonic crossover is pretty great. Because in Monster Hunter, you have a little cat that follows you around and helps you out. Uh -huh. And you can give it a Sonic skin. And it's not like a little hat with Sonic's face on it. It looks like Sonic. But it's all hunched over like a little cat. Oh, Cool. Oh, at Goblin. It's yeah. So dark. That's just it's it's the fog. There's a fog uh, weather system oh, going on right now. Some atmosphere. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Thank God I don't get motion sick. Look so, at that bird. Who's a better sidekick, Luigi or Tails? Luigi is not a sidekick. He's the main character of the story. Is he really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I like Luigi. I got no problem. Yeah. What's your oh, problem yeah. with Tails? Tails does have a plane. Uh, Tails, I mean, Tails is definitely a sidekick. I mean, yeah. I don't have a problem with him necessarily, but he's definitely a sidekick. I think he's more convenient, because, I mean, hey, let me get over this crowd. Tails, fly me there. Yeah. You know? Here's the thing. Here's Luigi, dude. Tails can wrench. fly, but then he also has a plane. What's that all about? That's true. That's true. Well, sometimes you just got to go faster. All sometimes this... his butt might be tired. Yeah, man. That's how foxes fly, right? What's the anatomy Tails of that? get tired. Is, that, is there, like, a rotating... Uh, a little bit around his like butthole. Yeah. yeah, he has a little a little thing there that allows him <laughs> yeah. his butthole to swirl. Yeah, what do you think? that's the thing. His whole his whole butt, the whole rectum swirls. Yeah. Oh my god! His Whoa, really? Like, yeah. It's like a little blender. There's a lot of yeah. torque. <laughs> yeah, got a high torque butt. So if he had some bad 
tacos. Oh, it's awful. Oh, you got I'll pray it's, that yeah. he does not. He has it's like a spinning fountain. Down. He has to strap himself down on the toilet. <laughs> Another thing Tails favor, has a 360 uh, toilet. Yes, yeah. it does. It's in the middle of the room. Another thing in favor of Luigi is that he's incredibly wealthy. Whoa, really? Yeah. Rich best friend? Well, he's got the mansion. Oh. It's filled with like gold and coins that all becomes his. Oh, I don't oh. know. What, oh, is he, what does Luigi cool. do with his wealth? I think he just, just hoards it. He just yeah, hoards, he hoards it? Yeah, yeah he hoards it. Mm, I've typical. been reading the um, so you buy a social media company? The compiled volumes of the oh, uh, helicopters army helicopters? are coming <laughs> to kill him. <laughs> 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 they said the military is here. Those are from, bad for Eggman. Those are from Arma. Whoa. Um, but I've been reading the uh, compendium of uh, Uncle Scrooge's adventures. Dude, oh. Uncle Scrooge is great. And uh, and his whole oh thing, you realize quickly on that he isn't greedy. The reason he hoards all that wealth is because all of his money represents an adventure or some sort of thing that he went on. Mm. Oh. It's like just sitting in his vault doesn't do him any good. He could be making more money if he invested it, true. you know, and get yeah. dividends. But he just hoards it because he's not. He doesn't care about being rich. They're memories from his adventures. It's like a memories what? from his adventures. Sentimental. Question for you, James. Yes. Is this Carl Barks or Don Rosa Scrooge McDuck? Carl Barks. He's the best. Forgotten hero. Oh boy, so what? is there another room in Scrooge's house that's just like all newspaper clippings and cat poop? Like a classic <laughs> order? Yeah, he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> From his adventures, of course. Of yeah. course, the adventures, of newspapers. course. I always say that as a person with a cat, and I know how bad everything that comes out of them smells. <laughs> Back to the ducks real quick. It is surprisingly good. You liking it? Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's it's one of those things oh, that you would dismiss as ducks, dumb. You meant Uncle Scrooge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what other ducks are you talking? <laughs> Scrooge, Scrooge McDuck? I, I think it's, it's one of those things you're like, oh, this is gonna be really dumb. No, it's like I, I actually mean, really good. I had heard that it is this award-winning, you know, thing, so I kind of knew going in. And then also, my story of it is that I was like, oh, this would be fun to read, out of print, everywhere. <laughs> oh no! Um, oh, do you have to steal it? And uh, or borrow it from. And so I hand? basically had it on a uh, a book wish list for probably six years oh, wow. and then this was a while ago but got a notification that said hey that the, this thing is available and so i just ordered it frantically real quick and then it finally came <laughs> cool do you it's think like, there was anyone else on the planet who got that notification <laughs> i don't know Scrooge! I mean, it's, Scrooge! it's out of stock everywhere like it wasn't just like amazon it was like you try to buy it anywhere you could only get it used for like hundreds of hundreds of dollars yeah, they have it on like stock yeah. x Scholas all the scholastic shoes habits yeah, yeah. Oh man, look how far away that waypoint is. I'm almost almost there. there. There is some urban legend that Steven Spielberg stole something from that for Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh really? Well, some I'll sort find of Scrooge out. stuff. Hey Tails. Tails, what is are you he wearing? Ghost? He's dressed like a knight. Yeah. Made out of a dead animal skin. It's a Rathalos from Monster Hunter. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Uh, my what? thoughts on David Tennant's Scrooge McDuck? I thought he did a really good job. That show was really good. That show was really great. Oh, I never watched that, but I always it's, thought it was really good. Saw a bunch of them. They were really fun. See, 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 see. Oh, by the way, it tells us two, has two anuses. Uh, two anuses. Yeah. One for each So do they spiral on top of each yes, other? Yeah, they're like binary stars. So it's like one of those things when he poops. It's like when you push Play-Doh through one of those like presses, and it makes the tubes come out. <laughs> yep. He's got a star on one. Yeah, mm -hmm. one of them's a moon. <laughs> What is Tails dead and we're seeing memories from the past? I don't know. I, it was months what was ago. That? We've been playing this game for a long time. Yeah, in January is when we Whoa. started it. I don't remember anything about what the fuck is going on. They were flying the plane. Every Sonic game starts with them flying a plane and then something happens. Could be they crash, they could a, a rip in time could open or whatever. I know that we're in some sort of like cyberspace world. Oh. Cyberspace. And so Sonic got transported to one portion of it and his friends got transported to another. So like this is the Tails level. I did, already did an Amy level, I did a Knuckles world, and this is the Tails world, which explains why it's so dark and desolate. <laughs> um, Sonic keeps talking. There's anuses I everywhere. hear no voice coming out of him. Is it very quiet? No, it does that protagonist thing where they don't have a voice. Oh, wait, there it is. No. Oh, Tails is serious. So I'm, so so I'm serious now. Whoa! Whoa! There you go. There's the music. It's going a little slow. That's what I yeah, said. Yeah, that's the whole game is so slow. Oh, there it goes. What? It's to the moon. You could just do that? I don't know. 
I don't know. You could have gone to the moon this whole time. I've missed so much lore. What? What did it say? Yep. Yep. Oh, you, you fall. It's you a falling it. game. Okay. Well, I can get behind this music, oh, though. Oh. Ooh, nice. Ooh, that's fucking with me. Oh. What's happening? Oh, you're... Okay, yeah. Wow. Tears of the Kingdom did steal this. Stole Drop this. zone! Oh, oh my god. Down. Take that. Take Whoa. that. Those are bad What's guys. happening? So, oh lord! Oh <laughs> whoa, no! Whoa. It's gonna take you days to get down there. He's gonna like most definitely be dead when he gets to the bottom. Yeah. What is hap What is the context for any of this? <laughs> like, like, is there a reason why there are giant uh, Hurry fans up. in the sky? Hurry or, up. Oh, I'm trying to get down faster. Yeah. You oh. press down. Press forward. You like dive yeah. like Zelda. There. Oh. Ooh. Oh, oh, which is this oh, one. Hurry up! I oh, I see. The, the springs make I you go it. back up. All right, I thought I was supposed to go... I thought... Yeah, I got it. I don't know if you do. Go faster. Ooh. I don't know if there's any choice involved. Look, you went... Oh, boy! Someone's eating up that time. The ground hurry doesn't up. look any closer. Speed run this. <laughs> oh, <Fail. laughs> Come on, man. It should make you fall to your death now. It, you can, I, I, I want to look for it because I feel like every <laughs> single time this happens, there's some sort of mini game. Yeah. And then you go, what? what is the objective here? What am I supposed to do? All right, cross, cross the, the river. river and operate the drawbridge controls to connect the bridge. Reach the other bank within the time limit. Oh, of course. That's what gotta the be... fuck are you talking about? Can oh, I just do this? Yeah. <laughs> you got to be able to press for Can you go faster? It says that I'm maximum speed there, Dan. That looks like minimum. Oh no, but when I go in the thing. Oh, there it goes. It goes up. And... Just because, like, you've got your arms out slowing you down. There, there you go. go. Yeah. Oh. Well, at least we figured that out now. Go to the volcano. That's, that was cool. Oh, good lord. You're not weak. Look at all these screens in here. Ooh, yeah, How are you going? He slides. He like drifts while he is flying. You already see the Transformers, James? No, I still haven't seen it. I know. Because like Flash it. came out and like took Transformers out of all the theaters. Oh damn it! I, I keep know. saying every weekend I'm gonna go see Transformers, and I just oh. haven't done it. Here's what I, I. The thing is, my perfect scenario for this end and the Flash is going at like like 9 a.m. and then like having my whole day afterwards and basically three you're almost there no. <laughs> this is really there's hard. no reason to do any of their bullshit if you just go away from everything and hold straight down you'll go faster <laughs> let's let's um, test that theory out i i want to so what I wanna if wanna the flash see... ruins your day it won't, because then I'll have the rest of the day. Oh, you can improve your day afterwards. Yeah, like you just go out, you like get out of the movie at like 11 a.m. or whatever. You yeah. have the whole rest of your day. You don't think it could funk you? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I do I do like having a lot of day after a movie. Like I enjoy a midday movie. And then I can still do stuff. James is talking about like a morning movie. Do they put on movies at 9 a.m. for adults? Oh yeah, they do. For adults? Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the morning ones were always like kids movies. I think I saw Cocaine Bear in the morning. I know. I mean, they do 9 a.m. showings and stuff. Right it's now. a little something to wake you up in the morning. A little Cocaine Bear. Yeah, a little Cocaine Bear, and you got the rest of the day to decide that you want to do cocaine. Like it's just so many things. What's the raccoon one that's getting made? Raccoon. Raccoon. Is raccoon. that it? I just Is that actual thing. I just said it. I I, no, idea. no, I think it, Dan, you got it right. It took them. To you be the mobile. Did anyone yeah. see, I didn't really like cocaine pair personally. Yeah, but I didn't do that. What the fuck? It spins? What are you supposed to do? I guess Kill I'm always it? curious why people didn't like it because I'm like, what did you expect from a movie called Cocaine Bear? There really wasn't enough cocaine bear, was my, <laughs> was my thoughts. I was like, who are these people? I don't care about they these people. They make a mistake a lot. Yeah. I'm talking about Transformers. It took them like 10 Transformers movies before they realized no one cared about the people. James! Hey, what, I got it. I got it. I know. 1.14. Thank you. I, I also would like to say, I think I saw Cocaine Bear with the right 
theater of people who just like mm-hmm. laughed mm-hmm. at the right thing. So for me, it was like, oh, this is a good thing. If I saw it like with a bunch of people who hated it for that yeah. very same reason, I bet I would have probably hated just it. Just like, like, you know, spoiler for Cocaine Bear, but like the whole thing where they're like up against a waterfall and there's mm-hmm. baby bears. And I was like, I don't need any of this. <laughs> Well, at that point, that Cocaine Bear had did a lot of shit. I kind of want yeah. Cocaine Bear to like become the president or mm, like, just do ridiculous wacky. things. Yeah. There's, chance, right? there's chances for that. And two, Never Cocaine seen. Bear two. Is this the last one? If this is the last one. That means we go kaiju. Oh, we dance. Now. Uh, James, Matt Wajinski wants to know your thoughts on Craven. It looks like shit. What can I say? <laughs> I'm no. kind of back in. Is there a trailer? It looks like shit. Uh, oh, J- Jake. I promise you, we can watch it if we want to. Yeah. If you want to pull it up I at think some we point. If you want, yeah. Um, I've not seen it. There's no reason to make it. We are. No. Af- we have officially gone back in time to like the late 90s mm-hmm. in terms of superhero movies where they go, we got an IP. And they go, has anyone, has anyone have any experience with this IP before? Nope. No clue. All right. Well, just apply any generic surface thing. There's nothing about it that they needed to make it a Craven movie at all. But as I made a tweet about it, but like mm. Craven is something that Stanley picked because it literally means a bad person. Oh, Craven the Marvel. Thing. Oh, you got eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah Craven the, the like, Spider Man villain. Oh, yeah. I had no oh, idea. Yeah, had it, no, like, idea. It, no, he's been screaming for his own movie this whole time. It's just like, <laughs> it's obvious. It, Spider-Man not being in it. It's so funny because Craven is also being introduced in the Spider-Man games. Oh. Like for Spider-Man 2, he's like one of the main bad guys, I guess. And I'm like, yeah, because he's he only exists as an antagonist to Spider-Man. So this it's another Venom situation. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, more of a Morbius. More okay. Because Venom that's a at least example. at least I'm like okay, I see why you would make a Venom movie. Yeah. And Some people, people think that character's cool. Well, people go and watch it. Yeah, Venom, Venom was popular in the '90s. Venom at the very least, and to be clear, I do not think Morbius the film is any worse than Venom the film. I think they're You're, both terrible. I haven't seen okay. them. I think they are both terrible, and it's so funny that people laugh and mock that where the other one made a billion dollars. I think that is very funny. But um, that being said, at the oh. vi- What? Oh, there's spikes. Oh, there's spikes. <laughs> well, so maybe if you weren't running in two dimensions for no reason. Um, at least Venom has a whole plot line about him being the lethal protector. Oh yeah. You know, like he has a history of like, oh yeah, he's like he was a good guy for a little bit and he like had to do all this bullshit. Yeah. But that's fine. James, I think you're gonna learn why Craven became a bad guy. Oh yeah? Is it Whoa. because he got bit by a lion? No, it's because of Russell Crowe. <laughs> okay, because the trailer may- leads you to believe that he gained his powers from being either bit by a lion or a lion biting him and then causing him to bleed such that his own blood goes into the blood of the lion and then the lion spits it back at him. It's, like, it's a radioactive lion? Yeah, it's that stupid. No, it's not radioactive. It's, it's just a lion. lion. Yeah. You don't know that. <laughs> oh, a, sorry, I guess I don't. Right, yeah. a lion riddled with some type of weird cancer. What is this? What? Yes. James, it's a puzzle game. Do it. This is a puzzle? Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's not a puzzle. This is, this, is, <laughs> this is for babies. Hold on, we gotta do more. I don't have time. We only got 50 seconds left to solve this puzzle. Jacob, we only have 50 seconds. We got it. Oh my God. Did it? We solved the puzzle. (laughs) Now the aliens can come. That's incredible. What is that? It's just so funny because, yeah, like his name is Craven. And then, like, he's like, I am a protector. I will undo the bad my father's (laughs) put in this world. And I'm like, I'm like, you mean Zeus? His dad is Zeus? Well, it's Russell Russell Crowe. So. Oh. Clearly, we don't give a shit anymore. Yeah. Well, it just makes me think of what is that back there? A monster? I think that Flying is ship. Yeah. I, either way, it's a god, and I'm gonna kill it. Okay. I don't. I'm, I'm interested to see where the villain movies go, just because it is seems like nonsense, well, and they're all terrible. Yeah. And how long can they keep doing? Like, where are they gonna get to in Spider-Man's list of? I know. Villains that no one cares well, about. Well, the best thing, I think their logic is they're like, and then we can do our Sinister Six movie. And I'm like, it's going to be called the Sinister Six. Sinister! <laughs> Not heroes! <laughs> but it, so in your favorite movie of last year, Morbius, uh-huh. he starts out a good guy and becomes a bad guy, right? What Not really. Fuck? He never becomes a bad guy. He's not on? bad, but he's never end? really good. He's a vampire. Nothing. Wait, why can't you run through that? I don't know. They've chosen not to let me. Hmm. Oh, it's, oh, that's good game design. I just need to get Invisible right there. Wall. There's a lot of good game design, like, like a spe- specifically things where they're like, no, you walk that way. 
<laughs> you know, why? There's nothing to change. Um, no, in Morbius, he's a doctor who thinks. Uh oh. You jump over it? Oh, of course you can jump over it. Um, he, Beautiful. He's a doctor who thinks that he can cure his very rare disease by getting bit by bats. Mm. Okay. I saw the trailer. And then that gives him enough superpowers that he becomes a, a vampire. Right. But so he never is eating people? I mean, pretty much from the outset, he's like, I drink synthetic blood or whatever. And like, no one is really a threat. Uh, so he's like a vampire vegetarian. Yeah. It's also a shame that he picked bats instead of leeches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking if you're talking about curing something, leeches is the way That's to go. That's way cooler. As yeah. A, yeah, a leech <laughs> villain. A leech villain, yeah. <laughs> you just latch on to people. <laughs> Not let go. <laughs> I don't even remember. That'd be so cool. In the trailer, you have like some footage uh, Flashback to like medieval times. Yeah. Ooh, in old, I like in olden days, they used leeches to cure all the diseases. This is the we blood should, of Leonardo yeah. da Vinci. Yeah. We should make our own company call it like Garvel, and it's just like backwards. Garvel. Yeah, Garvel comics. <laughs> it's just backwards shit, like like man spider. So you know, spider Done. got bit by a man and has to just go to work. Is it breaking to you? We have to go way deeper, John. Sorry, man. We have to go way deeper. Listen. listen. Mark Stan the, Lee, the, do you up. know the deadlines that that man had to deal with? <laughs> Fuck Stan Lee. They're crazy. <laughs> I'll say it. But did the you, spider have to go you, to like work and pay taxes and shit? Listen, I, I get the whole Stan Lee uh, just, took credit for a lot of other yeah, people's just, work. But he all, like, the uh, didn't do justice to the artist. But in terms of like the, the shit, just think about the room. Let's say not just Stan Lee, but Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, everyone over there, Steve Ditko, just they were like, your deadline is you need to finish 400 comics by Thursday. They're yes. like, it's Wednesday at 5 p.m. That's why you get shit like uh, Stilt Man and Man Spider. Stilt Man? <laughs> this guy is a kangaroo. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Kangaroo Boy. Hilarious. You literally look around the room, and since they probably kept them in a closet that was filled with insects, he was like, Spider Man. <laughs> He was, and and I guarantee Stan Lee was like he's a he's a hundred foot man who's uh, twelve uh, he got twelve arms and eight eyes or whatever and then you have someone act sensible come in and go like what if he just has this really cool suit yeah, I drew this yeah yeah good how do I, I don't know he just he just took credit for a lot of people's work and Marvel a, is continuing to tell that story. RM asking if you're a big Ditko fan, Dan. <laughs> I like Steve Ditko. He created Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much did it on his own. He's a kind of a strange dude, though. He like he became JD Salinger. Like he just like went and disappeared Good and like him. died with like nothing oh, or or little. The dying with nothing's no fun, but yeah. No, I mean, it, and you can go back and read that. Like I did it for the first time ever. Like last year, read the first. I don't know, 25 Spider-Man comics, and they're great. You only read the first 25, The Essentials? Yeah, I mean, that's well, just, you gotta get that's at least to the death of Gwen Stacy. I skipped ahead to 121. that. 121. I skipped ahead to that, nice. and it, it is incredible. One, after you get past that, you can, like, that. those arcs are so, so good, building all the way up to that, him going to college and nope. stuff. Nope, Xander Macho. <laughs> Stanley's not a genius, he's a criminal. Also, thank you for being a member. I will say this. Uh, you have the floor. I, <laughs> <laughs> no! Uh, again, I will argue against Stan in this one facet. He created Stripperella. <laughs> Stripperella? Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, with Pamela I Anderson? It. Yeah. I love it. Where is that movie at? What's huh? her powers? Yeah. It's yeah, an MTV she's... show? She, she was a stripper. <laughs> and then she was bitten by an Arella. <laughs> she became Stripperella. <laughs> she got a rash from a pole, and now she can turn into metal. Who the fuck <laughs> am I? I do think she turned into metal. Sounds like the perfect opponent for the leech. <laughs> I think I accidentally ended up where I was supposed to be. That's well done. It was on the other side of the thing, and it just put Shit. me in a two-dimensional oh. plane. You just dump all these wrenches into Tails. Johnny Inc. Take my riches. <laughs> gifted one, one membership. Yeah, Thanks, Johnny. I hope we, I hope we get the slot machine. <laughs> so, James, yeah. question about your tweet. Yeah, you yeah. tweeted and John Risinger said something back to you. Did yeah. he see the whole trailer no, and not did. realize he the rhino me. was at the end? He texted me and he was like, you're just upset there's no rhino movie. And I was like, you didn't watch to the end of the trailer, my friend. <laughs> Wait. Like, oh, spoilers, Jacob. Paul Giamatti rhino? No, no heavens you no. wish. He got a new rhino. Oh, man. The best thing about it is, the, is there's a line. This is, this is... Genius level stuff. He goes, You're gonna find out why they call me the Rhino. 
and then he turns into a rhino, and I'm like, yeah, that's because you're a rhino. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it out. <laughs> yeah. I we all the, got there. I haven't seen the trailer yet, so I don't believe any of you. All right. This can't be real. Do you know why they call me Batman? <laughs> Oh yeah, Phantom King. I, I think Ditko had Siri, what? Come on. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, is it, I, apparently I told Siri, "Hey, call me Batman." <laughs> That's cool. Th there were some questionable political beliefs from Oops. Steve Ditko. In oh, really? Yeah, he's a, he's a weirdo. Oh yeah, there, that happens a lot. Wow. It's a lot of skydiving in this game. Yeah. For a guy that runs fast. Yeah. <laughs> This happens every wings. time, by the way. Oh, if what I did you get, lightning one power? Coin, if I lost one coin and I gained it, that same thing would happen again. Oh, cool. What's that for? Oh. We, we can't forget to show Jacob the Craven trailer. Yeah, I've yeah, never seen it either. Oh, I did. Brand new, right? for a tree. All right. It just came out. I just want the... the red band. Whatever they're doing to keep going. Red band? Oh yeah, my God. there's lots of scripts oh, they're, they're, going on. Built. There's a lot of stabs. Is this one of those, like, uh, Sony movies? <laughs> Oh yeah. He's like he's it, like it, cool. what what gave it away? He's like I'm a hero. I need to put good into the world and then it's followed up immediately with the shot of him putting a bear trap on someone's head. <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, thank you, Craven. Mm -hmm. You saved me." I I do think they maybe they could come full circle and be aware that they're making terrible movies at some point like when they get to I don't know, what's a really D-rate Spider-Man villain James. Uh, Craven. <laughs> Where did they go from Craven? Whoa! That's cool. Oh, you, you have wings now. You're putting yep. tails out of a job. Yep. Raja now Next you'll have two buttholes and yeah. it'll be over. If we have any reactions to the recent Nintendo Direct, I, uh, I, I missed it. Yeah, it. yeah, I have to catch I, up on all that. I just keep seeing a picture of Mario as an elephant. I have seen yeah, that. that's all I've seen too. I'm what does sure it mean? that's great. I think he can play as an elephant. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> got what if there's some, now. What if whatever the new mechanic is, he can do different animal powers. Yeah. That's kind of fun. I saw that like there's a Mario so can you suck RPG, stuff up with that Mario nose? RPG oh, remake. Right really? Yeah. I love that game when I was I never whatever, played it. 13. I only played it a little bit in college. It was, it was kind of like my entry point into those games, like RPG. Oh, yeah. RPG. That's RPG cool. Because <laughs> I mean that's what it is. It's like baby, baby's first RPG. You replaced yeah. your Coden. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Another oh, one. Wow. Hey, a big boy one. puzzle. I fucking love Sweet Coden. Man. Sweet Coden was like the first real entry into RPGs. Yeah. Do you think Will? Do you think I could solve this <laughs> with my eyes closed? No. And like, if like, we, like I just, I just yeah. kept hitting it enough that I could finish it in time. <laughs> yeah. If we see another one. Let's try. Yeah. You, you just listen for the sound. Yeah. yeah. It should be toned. So you oh, know. Tails, ah, yeah, like a, like a piano keyboard. Yeah. Oh, we need two more Chaos Emeralds. I remember playing Sweet Code 1 on a PlayStation that we rented from a game store uh -huh. with my friend Brett, and we didn't have a memory card. Ooh. So we Whoa. just had to keep playing it. Whoa. Yeah. I did that with some games. It, it, ended, it ended up freezing like three days into it. Yeah. But we, we got a good, we got close. That's how I played most Dreamcast games. <laughs> no memory we card? We didn't have the little thing you put in the controller. Chameleon is in Craven? Say, wow, that's awesome. He could be anyone. Chameleon. Yeah, that's right. You leave it running 24-7. Yeah. It's the real way to game. <laughs> what? Chameleon? That's what some people are saying in chat. Chameleon's in it. I feel, I think Aaron Taylor Johnson's really cool. Yeah, I like him. Yeah. I think it's a shame that he got stuck with this. And I also also think it's a shame because this, this I remember this happened around the same time as like Morbius was coming out. And I'm sure they would have canned it and he would, or he would have backed out if he knew what Morbius was gonna be like. But them doing their fucking stupid goddamn villain verse is terrible. Well, cause they can't have Spider-Man, right? Well, they're not even doing the villains in a, just do a villain movie. Just do a villain movie. How about them being bad? Here we go. They don't shocker? All, they don't have to what? be is Shocker in Shocker it too? was in a movie, wasn't it? Shocker he? was in mm. Homecoming. I'm just I'm going down. Tombstone? Oh. Get a tombstone movie. He's actually got a cool. tombstone. Hurts. Cold. That's all I remember about Tombstone. Yeah. What the fuck is Mr. Negative? Mr. Negative is oh, he's from in the, the Spider Man game. Hobgoblin. Sure. Yeah. But I don't know how you do Hobgoblin without the Green Goblin. Black Cat? No, no. I think it makes perfect sense that they skip straight to Hobgoblin with what they're doing. Well, don't I you mean, think? Like, yeah, and he'll be a good guy. <clears throat> yeah. 
He'll be like, I was a thief that for no reason portrayed a goblin and tried to trick the criminal underworld. What is this? I don't so know. Spider Slayer? Who's that guy? Well, other, don't forget, they're doing a Madam <laughs> Web movie. Yeah, there you go. This is see, this is all trending in. Keith Johnson says, "I in. love James Mustache." Appreciate it's a good mustache. it. Ooh. Here for the summer. Be better. It grew fast too. Here for the summer. Yeah, I feel like over the weekend it just came, or maybe I just didn't see you. There, for a week. it's cause it's cause I uh, I had my wisdom teeth taken out, and so then I was gone for a while. I didn't see everyone. Oh, like, uh, <clears> no oh boomerang! The office. We could get boomerang. Captain? What no, is going no, that's on? A, that's a DC character, James. <laughs> this is just boomerang, not Captain Boomerang. This is a flashback to something that happened during this stream. What is the little girl? <laughs> She's, She's part crying. of this cyberspace stuff. Can she run fast is all I care about. No, I don't no. think she can run at all. Oh, what's she doing here? She can take down 50 Apache helicopters <laughs> in one fell swoop. Yeah, and then cry about it. <laughs> it what was... happened? with? Did we, did, did, was that resolved? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know I feel like happened. we saw the helicopters, but we never saw the repercussions, no. right? Yeah, she just got rid of them to have a conversation with Eggman. Well, see, here's the interesting difference in people that are good and creative and making movies. Down on this list of terrible Spider-Man villains is Spot, which was incredible in the Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I agree yeah. with that. What did that do? Hammerhead? I don't know where we are. Eggs. Oh, eggs. Oh, those are my eggs, right. right. Why are they here? So if I bring the eggs, I bring the eggs to something mm -hmm. that's on the map, I, don't know. I can then I don't think trade them eggs. for speed. <laughs> Oh, okay. that's yeah. How big is this map? Can you zoom all the way out? Wow. Mm -hmm. There's all this garbage down here. What are those eggs doing here? Okay, so we're. You got a little treat in those eggs? I think they're Whoa! Creatures. A little Cadbury? Ooh. You can only what? get them in Sonic now. Maybe like Kinder. Kinder Bueno? Ah, Kinder Bueno. I like Kinder Surprise. The oh, Canadian. so fast. Is this the boost? Ow. Yeah, see how I have the trail? Yeah, look at that. What is this? Ooh, Stargate, let's go. This would be something important in Tears of the Kingdom, but yeah. Here it's just trash in the way. I did a shrine last night, but I just, I was stumped for a while. Oh, really? And it, I was way overthinking it. <laughs> Legit Silver Surfer movie could be cool, Ben. Legit Thanks. Silver Surfer. Like an actual sci-fi one? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah something has nothing to do with anything else they made. No cameos or anything. Just, just a guy surfing in space. Is he an alien? Yeah. Well, he's an alien to us. Yeah. Uh, which, so that's not really fair of you to say. Yeah, yeah. You're his alien. Yeah. Forgot, I he, am an alien. He served Galactus, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Herald of Galactus. I think that'd be cool. He just looks cool. Yeah. It's got, like, it's got to be yeah, like weird and point. trippy Lawrence and psychedelic Fishburne. or something. Lawrence Fishburne is a Silver Surfer. It's not. What? Really? Lawrence Fishburne was Silver Surfer in Fantastic Four: Rise of the Silver Surfer. No. Mm. I've only seen that movie one time, and that was a long time ago. All right, we gotta get an S rank. I remember from the old Fantastic Four, where like he comes in, you know, he gets sit ahead, and then they like make him change his mind or some shit about. Oh, it's really dumb. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. But also, that, now it reminds me of the Green Ranger from Power Rangers. He like he like loses. What was it? He loses his memory or something. And then, what's the thing's blind girlfriend teaches him how people are good? It's really dumb. Yeah, was I mean, it? Is, is this that was Stanley again, right? Okay, that's the his comic contribution. Oh, okay, it sounds like the comic version because like the whatever year that came out, 60s, 70s version cartoon, was similar to that. But the thing didn't have a girlfriend. It was just kind of like they fought him, and then I think he got like slapped off the surfboard and came to the senses. I don't remember exactly. <laughs> slapped That's off. all I yeah, got. Yeah. Towards. I feel like they had 30 minutes, and they were like, "We don't have time for this other shit. Let's just get to it." You're going fast, James. Oh my God. Don't this looks it. way cooler than where you were. Why isn't this the game? This looks like Sonic. Yeah, I know. They they they're inspired by classic Sonic levels, <laughs> like okay, oh, the Green Hill Zone. Music is cool. If you want to play F Zero GX, I like the Fantastic Four. It just makes me sad that no one can get a movie right. Well, they're working. Oh fuck yeah. you, oh, oh, you oh. bastards! <laughs> I do think if if someone could crack it, it could be really cool. Well, but on. I think it's hard. With uh, what's really his hard. name? Kylo Ren. Oh, fucking 
Adam what? Driver is going to be in a Fantastic Four. Yeah, they're saying really? he's going to be Mr. Fantastic. Wow. I don't I think, buy that. I, think I, I do like Adam Driver, though. You would. <laughs> I think we missed the time. We're not going to get the S time because Her? of this fucking jump. Wow. I, I think even one of the best aspects of the Fantastic Why? Four is Doctor Doom. It's so slow. It's like stuff. the best comic book villain, mm. and he's always garbage. Not he's after barely him. in that last one. Huh? He's barely in that. Uh, Josh Trank. I, I didn't see that. Movie. What? What? It wasn't he. Oh, you mean because he got transported to the other dimension? Or oh yeah, I mean like when he's in his like final oh, form. Oh yeah, yeah. They just rushed. I mean they have they rushed that shit too much. But Doctor Doom's awesome, and they've never done him justice. I don't care about any of this. It's not fun. Hey, James. Just you end. Just you love it. Yeah, just there end. You go. go through. You need those keys. It's not going to be fast enough because I had to reset that section. See? That's right. D rank. I need Ooh. 120. He's All right. Gotta, there's yeah. got to be a yeah. quick restart. Yeah. Let's go. What, you're doing the thing that you hated again? I have to. The game <laughs> hates you and it makes you do all the things again. You have to get a certain rank to move forward? You have to get a certain time. So this isn't in, just your vanity. A minute and 20 seconds. Yeah. We need the keys from actually completing these objectives so that we can get what? Get no, the vault. We can un unlock the vault. Right, vault. Jacob. Yes. Fantastic the Fantastic Four for us. OK, Mr. Fantastic. Uh, Michael Shannon. Yes. I like that. Done. Uh, I believe him. He said he genius. doesn't want to do any more of those, but sure. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, right. They could just bring two dump trucks full of money instead of okay. one. We'll do it. Uh, the thing will be that tall guy in Gerald's game. Huh? Is he Gerald's game? It's like no. that one Mike Flanagan movie? I don't think so. Where? So, okay, there's a tall guy in it. Okay. Yeah, so it's just going to be a big, extra tall dude of the thing. He doesn't have any speaking parts. Uh, let's see. Human Torch will be... Billy Bob Thornton. Billy Bob Thornton? Oh, oh I like that. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Rockstar. Yeah. You're telling me I could turn into a fire? <laughs> uh, I burst into flames, but every single time I do, it's, it's so hot. It's so hot. <laughs> I need to take a cold bath. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who else is there? Dr. Doom, our, t our, our villain. Yes. Will be. Um, he's got to match up. He's got to go toe to toe with Michael Shannon. He's got to be fucking impossible. That can be. Henry Cavill. <laughs> oh, Henry yeah. Cavill. All right. We'll get him in there. So that We've already uh, seen him go toe to toe with Michael Shannon. Yeah. We yeah. need uh, Sue Storm there. Yeah, we need an invisible <laughs> woman. Henry Cavill. <laughs> also, Henry Cavill. Yeah. Perfect. I like this show. But it's all voiceover. They're invisible the whole time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just to save some money. And, and are other celebrities cast as the voices, or are there actual oh, voiceover actors? Seth Rogen. In yeah, I was going to say yeah. Seth, Seth Rogen. Is Sue <laughs> Storm or the thing? Uh, Sue Storm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think we have a movie here. We put it in flick. the... Uh, Put it in the algorithm machine. The yeah. movie algorithm maker. Don't make the post. Why oh! the fuck? Doesn't you jump for the thing? Oh, Sway Nace, Dolly Parton and Susie Storm. That Sway's got you. Yeah, this We're is good. Dolly in there. Good ones in here too. Tim Greenwald says Anya Taylor Joy as Doctor Doom. Okay, all right. Or Tim what? Allen. Tim Allen. <laughs> <laughs> what other Fantastic Four villains are there? Galactus. Galactus. Okay. Uh, they're all. I mean, There's Black Marvel Panther. Marvel villains. A Fantastic Four villain at the beginning. Taylor Kitsch is Dr. Doom. <laughs> Give him another chance. Annihilus. Annihilus. That's a cool name for a bad guy. He's like a bug machine insect thing. Yeah. Who else we got? I don't know. I saw a trailer for that Blue Beetle movie. Mm. Who's that? Is that DC? Yeah. yeah. That also looks like a movie that was made in 1998. <laughs> We've gone back. We have. We've regressed. We got a little taste right. of something nice. Why the fuck? Same jump every time. It's the time. same jump yeah. that I pressed the same Dude, way. Right. Oh, yeah. Namor is a Fantastic Four villain. Oh, yeah. Steals his wife. Well, that actor ended up being bad news or something, right? <laughs> Didn't he? Yeah, he did something bad. Oh, fucking Christ. I hate this fucking game. The Marvel keeps getting these goobers that are 
being, I, mean, the, I think the big bad. Moral of the story is they're all bad. Yeah. Well, I think it's just when you, when your cast size is 1,000 people at a yeah. certain point, yes, you it is going to be harder to vet every single member of the team. Yeah. You need to do like Something a housewives about... reunion for Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> I watch that. Yeah. Clever Foodie says The Miz for Mr. Fantastic. The Miz? Interesting. <laughs> I don't know. Like, you gotta have a believable genius, right? <laughs> yeah. Not a believable idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I love The Miz, but the thing is, he plays dumb too well. Yeah. Like, maybe it's a new take. A dumb Mr. Fantastic? Alright, here we go. This stupid broken jump. Okay, here we go. Here it is. Yes! Oh! Did you see it fucking slow down though? It did. Oh! oh okay. it, it's not me! <laughs> the game changes the fucking physics of his run whenever it fucking pleases. <laughs> sometimes he runs fast, sometimes he runs slow. Oh man. It really, it's entirely up to him. We're doing it for the keys. You know, I'd take a goofy ass Inspector Gadget type uh, Reed Richards, whatever. I, I'd, I'd like to see that. Maybe that's what this missing. Goofy. Yeah, it's just, just too, you know, they're too serious. It's yeah. too family friendly. You'd be a dumbass, but, but somehow it's still a genius. <laughs> the Miles Teller didn't do it for you? <laughs> no. I can't. I, I, he was everywhere for a second. He what was. He was that Whiplash. I mean, I liked it in Whiplash. Oh, he's so unlikable. Uh, uh, Whiplash is a good fucking movie. Yeah, I love Whiplash. That was a Blumhouse movie. <laughs> was it really? It was a horror movie. Yeah. I mean, it was in a certain way. I can't stop thinking about Billy Bob Thornton. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that might be how you make those movies interesting. Yeah. They're getting pretty terrible. I watched that Ant-Man movie. Oh, I don't know why, but it was really bad. I mean, there were some interesting visuals, but it was really bad. Yeah, I and I love Paul Rudd. I do too. I haven't, I haven't seen a Marvel thing since uh, Doctor Strange. Really? Yeah. You haven't seen a single Marvel thing since I haven't Doctor seen Strange? Any Marvel you mean stuff. the more wow. recent Great. Doctor Strange? Yeah, multiple people multiverse of madness. That was your breaking point? Yeah, it wasn't even really a breaking point. I just kinda like haven't been keeping up. That's fair. I mean, it's bad. And the more the more keeps coming Look! out. Oh you did it! Did you see how that fucking it slows you down? Yeah. Are you, is it the wind? I see wind streaks flipping around. I, think I don't glitches. I, I think that's screen tearing. Yeah. yeah. The game the game wants to break you. But yeah, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't watched any like TV or movies since then. I wanted to see Guardians of the Galaxy, but I just have good. It's yeah. all right. Completely off time. It's all right. Yeah, I, I will. I will watch it probably when it's on like streaming or something. Jimmy Fallon is Silver Surfer, but he has to laugh a lot. <laughs> <laughs> they actually can't get the movie made because yeah. he's laughing at every take. Christ. You telling me Sue's invisible? <laughs> you nerve-wracking sons of bitches? There's something today about their new show has an AI intro. Oh, they, like uh, a mid journey intro. Yeah, and it looks like shit. That's embarrassing. Yeah. I mean, Have you watched the show? No. I just. I'm curious. I mean, they had like a cool trailer. I was like, this looks kind of good. I like but, Samuel L. Jackson a lot. Yeah, and it seemed just like it was like old. darker and stuff. But and if there's Ben Mendelsohn. I like Ben oh, Mendelsohn. Oh, I forgot about it. They just wasted him. They waste him in everything. They wasted him in Star Wars. They yes. wasted him in Marvel. He's so good. What was that Stephen King thing he was in? The Outsider. Yeah, it was great. I liked him in that. What was the stupid Florida show? Uh, Florida Bloodline. Show. Yeah, yeah. That's a great fucking name for a TV show. Stupid, stupid, Florida, stupid Florida, show. Florida show. What the fuck? I saw that do it that time too. Yeah. It's games are a break you. <laughs> I fucking hate this game. You love it. I hate we, it. I genuinely despise this game. It's terrible. It shouldn't have gotten any positive reviews. Need that key. What is going on? Oh, you're doing a move. I want to make sure that I didn't get a snap from the thing. So I have to go to a whole nother fucking thing to get one goddamn key. Oh, we only need one key. We need one key. Oh. All we needed was the S rank speed on this garbage. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. We can just get one from something easy. 25 rings. That seems doable. So we just need to figure out how to get to a stupid fucking island that is out in the middle of the ocean. And then it go, all right, put me 2D. Sure. You know what? I have the perfect thing that's going to make this. Uh-oh. You're going to unplug the 
console. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna go rip our internet out. He's, I am intrigued though. John Hall got a little surprise or something. Oh, right in the lava. That, oh, that kills you. I didn't see the lava was there. <laughs> wow, this game is awesome. Unbearable weight of massive talent. I never. I, I want to see that too. What's this? Oh, wow, some kisses. kisses. You're right, that kisses, did make this kisses, better. Yeah, kisses. God damn it! Ooh, good catch. It's against the sexual harassment party, uh, policy to give you real kisses, so I'm giving you chocolate ones. Give me chocolate okay. ones? I'll yeah. take them. Oh, he just fell out of 2D, by the way, when crazy. I was running. He fell out of 2D. He was in 2D and he fell out of it. That's crazy. <laughs> That's not I something that I happen. control. That's something the Sonic devs control. Mmm. Boing. Okay, I didn't do anything. Oh. Just a loop, just for fun? Nope, that's me playing a video game. There we go. Fuck. Uh, I okay. did enjoy the um, Fantastic Four video game on PlayStation. Uh-huh. Oh. Is it the one we played? <laughs> Is it the one? I don't know. What, right, four people can play at the same time? You have to use the V-cap? Oh, uh, maybe. That doesn't feel like the one we played. I had nothing going for it. What's that? Okay. Oh, fell out there. <laughs> Amy Hoang says, that's made the time to beat this game is 16 hours, so. Oh, thank <laughs> fucking God. Pretty close. I, I was I wanted to try and get this level done the last time we played it and oh there's a guy you can here I found your babies nice oh that's a guy uh you found a Korok ring level raise yeah, Ben Astridge that is Rathalos armor from Monster Hunter okay I changed my mind I want it all in speed oh you can exchange your eggs for stats. Oh, I can't. That's the other guy that I can trade for. Whoa. You have to watch that? Uh, yep. That's nice. Very cool. Almost there. Almost that final key. It's like it's like a stupid aggro crag is what we're climbing. <laughs> I like you can't parts. just go straight up. Yeah, it makes you go into 2D, even though the it's right there. Oh, gonna go around that. <laughs> Ooh. That'll be fun. Turn that in. Okay, 25 rings and an S rank. We only need one, right? We only need one. 25 rings it is. Whoa, not cool. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, boy. I'm gonna put some shades in. It is cool that they can take the aesthetic of unfinished game uh -huh. and make it into a level. Yeah. Okay. Good golly, what a recovery. <laughs> I thought I'm at the Vegas pool party right now. <laughs> <laughs> which, which hotel though? Uh, this is definitely Encore Beast Club. Okay, this is in Caesar's Palace. Okay, all right. That yeah. is in Encore, I want to say. Is it? Oh, okay. It might be. That, or it's, it's, it might be shared. I can't remember. I don't like that it does that. Whoa. I don't like looking at it. No, this, is, this is Wet Republic. That's what this is in MGM. Oh, cool. So they're, they're like strictly EDM. This type of shit. Whoa! I feel like when I was a kid and I would go to Vegas with my parents. They played a lot of like easy listening. But I would be in the Mirage pool though. Oh, yeah. I mean, the way pools are done now in Vegas is completely different. It's, it's everything. Experience and all that. Day clubs are not a thing. Whoa! Yeah. In the early 2000s, if you're out there in the middle of the day, they are going to be playing Jack Johnson. 
Hell, I didn't even know what a day club was until I started going to Vegas in my 20s. <laughs> I was like, what? A club in the day? Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, you got a fucking mind. Do the enemies, like, fight back in this game? No. <laughs> I don't know how. I've seen a lot of enemies, but almost all of them just die. God. God fucking God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I want to do a KOTOR stream by humanity. I don't know if I'd want to make anybody watch me play KOTOR. It's a slow, slow video game. With lots of dialogue. And the last thing I want to do to anybody on this channel is watch Star Wars on them. <laughs> Those that you torture them with a video game? <laughs> yeah. With well, a Star Wars video game, no less. <laughs> Music is too fast for Sonic. Yeah. Good God. Like shit. <laughs> oh, God fucking Christ! Ugh. All those. Th By the way, I never touch the camera. So if you ever see the camera do like a ninety degree turn or whatever, that's just that's just the game. That's just <laughs> okay. the game deciding to do that. Is it just a bad idea to cut touch the camera at all? Uh, I don't know. I just don't do it. Okay, good idea. Ooh. Ooh. All right. 25 rings. See that? I'm not doing that. It's just doing that. And it changes the controls when you do it. So you have yeah. to adapt your way you're controlling the ga actual game because of that shit. Now that's video game. Hey, Mark. Mark gifting five memberships. Mark, Mark, Mark. We have to Mark, Mark, Mark in the chat. <laughs> This definitely makes me sometimes more like do like this, like I'm going fast with them. Yeah. Most makes you just do this to my face. Yeah. <laughs> like this is how it feels in like whenever I have nightmares. <laughs> this is how it feels when I'm moving around in there. Oh see, I really? just have no control. Just slipping and sliding everywhere. I feel like I haven't had like a scary dream in a long time. Well, I don't think I have either. I, it's, 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 does that mean I'm just like over things? Yeah, I think maybe so. it's not, yeah, you're not being affected by the world around you. Yeah, like when I was a kid, I feel like I'd have nightmares about like falling a large distance mm -hmm. or getting chased by a monster or something like that. But now I have dreams about like my check engine light turning on. Yeah, oh, yeah, cool. for sure. And I'm just like, fuck, oh, I don't want to deal with this. Okay, you got 45 rings. Just gotta make it to the end. Mm -hmm. This looks like the end. What? You could also try to get all 999 rings. That's true. Mm -hmm. Hey! Nice. Good job. Look at that. No camera. No changing camera. Oh, we got the S rank too. Nice. An extra ring, or an extra key just for you. Leave at cyberspace. So that's cyberspace. All right, cool. Done, done. Easy. Stop, stop, clap. The first two whole sessions we played this game, I thought parry was left bumper and right bumper at the same time. Uh -huh. And it is, but you can hold it indefinitely. Oh, you can just parry. stand there like that, and when something hits you, it'll parry you. Dang. Take notes, Elden Ring. <laughs> I was playing Elden Ring the other night, and I parried something for the first time wow. in, I think, since the game came out. Yeah. Because I just never really started trying to do it ever. No. I, I tried to do it a couple times and then I gave up on yeah. it. Yeah. I did it with like the buckler a little bit, but I was like, I don't want to use the buckler. Where's the... Where is it? We're looking for the silver chaos emerald. Um, Where could it be? Is it underneath these pixel clouds? Yeah, do we have to unearth more of the there. map first? So straight ahead from where I'm looking. I didn't know. I don't know. Oh, 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 boy. oh boy. <laughs> there, there we go. That's that's a good way to traverse. There's I, I would I'm actually curious if there are good speed runs of this game where people are just like desperately trying to avoid all the forced paths. Yeah. 
this game might be too robust for that. Shit. Fuck. Gatman! A member for four months. Nice. And they love Lou. Mm -hmm. well, now you remember, you can do all sorts of emotes. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lava. I'd go to a volcano. It started me. Oh shit, why did it do that? <laughs> why did it put you back on top of the mountain? It only knows hate. <laughs> it only knows hate and pain. That's Please the part where you collect 200 crabs, Lee Dodd. It was 300 crabs, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and that should never be in any video game as a mandatory thing you have to do. Like crabs? Yeah. yeah. That was a fucking game. I was in utter disbelief <laughs> that Ryan Haley had to collect 300 crabs in Kingdom Hearts. Because it was a story part. I came in at the good part where he was playing these side games. Yeah. Well, that's going to be every part now. Yeah. Ryan loves those Game & Watch games. He needs to unlock the rest of them, though. I know there's so many. I think he found one last time. One extra one. Uh-huh. And then he, uh... Played the shit out of it. What is that? I think that's already done. Oh. I think it's a map thing. <laughs> <laughs> just leave me alone. Like, 90% of the game is you just going, leave me alone, please. Please just leave me alone. Who are you directing that at? The game. The ga like, just let me, don't put me in 2D, don't fucking do this, just leave me alone. Yeah. Jazzin, thanks for being a member. Welcome. Hold <laughs> oh, that lava. Yeah, that's what my bucket list is going is going to a volcano. Not going to see Titan Tank anymore, but definitely want to see a volcano. Was that on your bucket list? Now it it's was, not, yeah, it's not. Was anymore. it really? Yeah. Oh, no. so I was waiting for them to get you know better at it. <laughs> also, it... just to have a spare two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean, I was gonna say they are pretty good at it. Just not every company that yeah. does it. Has it like James Cameron's been there like thirty times? Yeah. Although the crazy thing is, more people have been to outer space than they've been down to the records site. So that's oh. why I was like, let like that number kind of even out. Marcus one of, one of the unfortunate people who was on the sub had already been there. Oh, really? really yeah, there's there. a Blue Second. Origin uh, passenger on the in the submarine. Oh, yeah, I saw it when it was like Space Traveler and other things. I was like, dude, boy. Yeah, it's horrible. You see the, the stepson of one of the people on the oh, submarine? Yeah, I saw yeah. that drama. Getting his, uh, My, I, I was like, I don't know what any of the relationships with any of these people are, so I'm not here to... You know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know any of these people. That's why I kind of just stayed silent on. I mean, Twitter was going in, and I, I'm going to admit some of the jokes were funny, but I was like, I don't actually know these people. No, they're the shitty kind of billionaires. Yeah. Or no stuff like that. So I was like, I'm going to just let the internet do its thing. Yeah. I just think that whole scenario is like a nightmare for me. I mean, it's a nightmare oh, situation where I'm like, okay, well, I don't think I'd ever find myself in it. Because mm, I would just, yeah. like, I might, I, one of my fears is like, getting trapped while spelunking mm -hmm. but it's oh. also like well i'm never gonna go fucking spelunking like yeah the so one time i came remotely close to it we were like in uh, new zealand or whatever and there was like a cave that you could crawl into and i was like i took a picture with my phone yeah mm -hmm. i was like i got it i guess i see it that's yeah. close enough let's like people that go like cave diving and spelunking and stuff looks <laughs> insane yeah it's always like okay here's a hole the size of like a, like a just your body. Well, every single time they're like, it. it might, it may, I think it's going to open up further ahead. I'm like, it's not. It's not going to open up further ahead. <laughs> <laughs> if you just look at like maps of caves, yeah. it's crazy. I do, let me just send a drone in. And... Yeah, it's like, nah, I'm not going anywhere near that. If we had ascend, then sure. Yeah. You could ascend out of it. Out of any cave. I, I don't, the thing that gets me is just like, I understand I, it was an engineering thing probably to not have chairs in there, but I can't sit, you know, crisscross applesauce oh, for two hours. Yeah, that, no that no way. And, and that's the only thing that was ironic to me is to like, to be rich and, and die like a poor person. <laughs> 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 like, like is, that's, that's ideal. Honestly. Yeah. Like I, 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 I probably, it's still probably still be my list in like 20 years when it's like, I need a thicker body. I need yeah. some chairs. 
I need a, a, a bathroom situation. Let me take my shoes with me. Like that sub did have a bathroom situation. It did have a toilet. Yeah, it, I mean, I know, but it was just like probably just a a, a chamber pot. It yeah, was. it was basically. Yeah, it was literally. It was literally like the pilot seat that you just hopped out of the way of. Yeah. All of it is curtain. horrible. It's all fucking. Horrible. Yeah, I was telling my buddy last night. I was like, honestly, if it uh, imploded, which seems to be the case, I was like, yeah. that's a better that's way to it. go. Yeah, than, yeah. Like it's instantaneous, yep. and you don't have to suffer from the oxygen, like knowing you're dying, or even yeah. just like the cold, the depths, and darkness. So I was like, "That's the way to go." Being like, in there with the man responsible. I, yeah. My whole thing was like, I hope, I hope, I doubt that they will, but it, it would be nice if they found them. Just floating out. In the or if they were just like, "Yeah, we just came up, our communications were fucked, and we came up, but because we for some fucking reason decided to paint our." uh submarine white as opposed to orange like every other thing that's supposed to go yeah. into the high seas mm -hmm. we just got lost for a little bit you're like oh okay yeah. the only scenario that that i think was worse or not like that's the best scenario the only other yeah. scenario that's not horrible mm -hmm. is they're going down man this is gonna be great i'm so excited isn't this and then you hear a dink and you go what was that noise and God. then it's gone yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. A, like <laughs> that's it it says they're like 1,600 feet from the, the record. Yeah, from the site. So like, I'm hoping it's instantaneous what? and not just like a bunch of creaking, cracking going on. And the guy's like, ah, oh, it's totally normal. I mean, totally normal. The Titanic is so deep. Yeah, it's two like, miles. It's, yeah, it's two miles that's down. so deep in the ocean. They, someone showed a graph and it was like, here where the giant squids live. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. And then it was like, four billion times <laughs> deeper than that is where we're headed. <laughs> yeah. Also. Uh, Brendan Brendan Grimm at, uh, became a member and hey. asking, is this game actually fun? No, it's bad. <laughs> There's your answer. And Johnny game. became a member as well. Um, yeah, the ocean's a scary place. It's terrifying. Sperm whales are cool, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah I'm a big fan of the whales. Let's not yeah. get me wrong. Sea life? Big fan. I, just, I love that they all they have, like, battles. You never see giant squids unless they're like sick and dying. Mm -hmm. But you always see sperm whales got like oh, man, just, suck like little tentacle scars on them and stuff from all their battles. Just think of the fucking calamari you could get. The giant squid. Oh yeah, you eat oh, for God. days. Uh, yes, Fry that all up. rings. I don't even eat the fucking tentacles. Just all rings. Yeah. All Would they rings. be like big rings, like the Hell big crop yeah. rings, the Lord like, of the Rings? <laughs> yes. Be like a donut. Yeah. I would, oh my <laughs> God, I love that. Fry it. <laughs> so hard to bite into. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be so thick <laughs> and rubbery. Yo. Boy, I'd be full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta cut that one up a little bit. It could be like a, it would look like scallops. You cut it up. Oh, man, I couldn't wait. No, I'm thinking like, about that now. I feel like I need to go in this door, and then it's gonna shoot me out that dumb volcano. No. Here's the thing, Storm Rising. Uh, so I had the very first impression about the Logitech controller, but I have recently learned that that's actually very common. Yeah. In not just submersibles, but like the military uses yeah. stuff like that. Not even like high tech. Is just modified Logitech controllers. Yeah. Because I guess we're a generation of gamers and shit like that. But I think it's way more common than I was initially uh, expecting. Yeah, I think a big hang up with it is it's a wireless controller. Yeah, it was yeah. on Bluetooth. Yeah. Okay. What? It's crazy there's so many little jungle gyms in this world when it's way faster to just go straight. Well, it's funny because you can see they just like <laughs> used an algorithm to just generate landscape mm -hmm. oh, and then yeah. they had someone had to look over that landscape. How the fuck? Oh, there's like get up there. there. That ramp that, that's floating in the middle of the sky that ramp right there is the closest thing we can. Oh, see. oh, it just has to pop in. Yeah, hold on, we need to trace mm. it to its origins. <laughs> why is it? Why is the draw distance so short? Is it that? It looks like it's that. Oh God. Yeah, tire-sized calamari clip incubator. Oh yeah. That sounds awesome. Nope. What are the, there's like, there's uh, squids that are in like the Gulf of Mexico that are really mean. Humboldt squids. Oh, they're mean? Like yes. they've got like terribly- They're good. like the size of a dog. Like a big dog and oh. they're like, they'll attack oh, you. Oh, fuck. They look awesome. Okay, all right, how do you get off this? Can I jump? Can I jump? <laughs> Am I allowed to jump? Okay, thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's this? You land on that? Nope, yeah, just a fucking key. A single key. How do I get up there? Maybe something hasn't popped in yet. Mm -hmm. It's also dark. Oh wait, there's like a rail underneath it. What? You see, it's like twisting up into it. Well, yeah, I see. Well, not that one, but the one across the way. I tried to click in like an idiot. What? Where? There's like a rail that starts on the ground. It's it's like, 
it's like a pixel thin, but it's underneath that distant corkscrew. Oh. Yeah, the thing about space is like uh, a, a leak is a mild convenience, inconvenience uh, in space compared to like the catastrophic failure of the pressures of the sea. Oh yeah, because yeah. in space nothing's pushing on you. Yeah. Yeah. Space is like take your time. Yeah, you yeah, get over day. there. Don't worry, you get over there when time's right. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's, you space, need to. it's a normal amount of pressure pushing outwards instead of the entire weight of the whole ocean trying mm -hmm. to push inwards. Yeah. <laughs> and you just slap some tape over it. Yeah. Like, like space, your hardest thing is sticking that landing. Yeah. Versus like the bottom of the sea is is just as like, uh, it's just like a bunch of fucking mountains and terrain, you know, there's a lot of yeah. crazy terrain and stuff. So it's equally as dangerous and with the pressure added. The alien creatures yeah, swimming the darkness. There. I, like, I definitely had to go look up why they don't get crushed, and I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense, because they're like 95% water. Yeah. No no air in them. So they just, <laughs> just anything living that deep, so yeah. they're just chilling, like, I got nothing to get crushed. Yeah, and like, their bodies are built for it and stuff. Yeah. It's like, if you put, like, a, when a whale washes up on land, it's like, it's, oh! <laughs> the, like the weight yeah. of its body. I'm so heavy! <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, all of its no weight. shit, whale! It's crushing itself with yeah. its own weight. Underwater, it all just, like, floats around. Hey, man, whales, they, they love those gains. Yeah. Those orcas, they're getting into it these days. Yeah, they're doing something with the sharks. <laughs> yeah, they're teaming up or something. Yeah. We, we've been worried about the apes for too long and ignoring the orcas. The orcas, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I watched a video the other day of these two gorillas just like throwing hay at each other. I'm like, okay, we don't have anything to worry about with these guys. You ever see the, the, like, the videos of like someone brings a newborn and like brings it to the, like, the gorilla enclosure or whatever and then the gorilla like stares at it and admires it and yeah. I'm like, you know what it's thinking about doing? <laughs> Ripping that thing apart. Yeah. I see the one where it's like a little girl who's like beating her chest and then the gorilla runs at the glass and cries it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that shit. That's it's like awesome. fuck off. Yeah. I saw this video of this uh beluga whale in this one aquarium that likes to scare children and people in wheelchairs. Okay. So whenever they're up at the glass, it'll pretend it's looking away, and then be BOOM! <laughs> it's only with certain people. Oh, there's that big spaceship again. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think I'm gonna kill that. I think that's the god of the land. Uh, uh, so you go to a land, there's a god of the land, and then ultimately you gain all the Chaos Emeralds so you can become supersonic and kill it. Okay. So he's a god killer. I mean, now that I think about it, the Orca in Sonic Adventure 1 should have been our first clue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's destroying that entire dock. Why isn't there Orca Man? <laughs> orca Man. Yeah, orca Probably man. somewhere on Stanley's desk. Yeah. Hmm. Now, is that an Orca that became a man or a man that became an Orca? You bet. All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Both. Oh, God. Oh, Clip Vader, I did see that. The video about some sharks claspers. Double dicks. Ben L mm. says, there's also videos of Mama Gorilla seeing a mom with her toddler and then showing off her baby. She's showing the baby. She's like, you grow strong and kill that thing. <laughs> we're going to, you grow strong, little boy, and we're going to destroy that. I love the footage of uh, all those orcas that are congregating in Monterey Bay. I mean, oh, like yeah. they're all looking up at the helicopter from the water. I said, they're up to something down there. Yeah, you're taking it back. <laughs> I have to go all the way back yeah. to the other side where I came from. Oh, so you did it. You got up here? I got up there. Wow. And now I have to go all the way back. That's game design, baby. Animals are the only thing where I'm like, yeah, stay your ground. Yeah. I'm totally with Make it. Make yourself look big. Yeah. Animal kills you on their turf. I'm kind of like, eh, well. Shouldn't have been there. Yeah, trespass. Yeah. Yeah. Every time my cats, like, scratch me because I was being annoying and I, I get scratched, Rightfully so. Mm -hmm. Like they, if they wanted to, like if they went crazy, they could just they could rip my face off. You think your cats? Yeah, they're like cats when they're fighting is like one of the most terrifying things. Mm. But they're so domesticated, it's fine. But... Well, you know, in, in 500 years, it's possible cats could have opposable thumbs, and then you're really fucked. Ugh, I don't like when I see my cat's little thumbs because yeah. it's like halfway up the leg yeah. when it pops out. 
I know my dog sees him strangle me in my sleep if I could. I know he would. He looks, he looks at his hands and realizes he just can't do it. Yeah. You wake up, there's two paws yeah. on your neck, just squeezing slightly. You can't do anything. You line those up as a reward? Like, I'm putting them out for me like this. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> what an exchange. A meeting of the minds. I knew oh, you that did door's it. gonna open. There's some eggs. There's my eggs, don't worry about that. Nope. I saw someone said it earlier, that's right. I'm shitting on all you uh, submarine enthusiasts <laughs> and your fun. I'm gonna rain on it with my regulation talk. <laughs> I did like a I love that description though. That was a regulation ball. talk. Oh my god, Sonic Spinball's back. Mm -hmm. This was inside the yep. the uh, volcano? Yep. All right. A button. Someone put a button there. Familiar looking ancient site. Clear the game to see what happens. Oh, look at this. I like this. It's a little bit simplistic for a pinball machine, but. You know, now that it's, uh, it's I mean, pretty much confirmed it was an implosion, I'm curious if it was a case of bad rivets, which would be really ironic. Uh, Bad rivets. Like how they, because you know, Titanic sunk because the rivets were like cheap. Oh. And so the compartments ripped open super easy and okay. flooded over. But they were sealing the submarine with like mm -hmm. just a regular wrench and then maybe going with a torque wrench at the end. But it'd be crazy if like there was just, they used cheap like bolts or whatever it was. I mean, a lot of this, there is a lot, there's like videos of, from the submarine being showed off to like news outlets. Yeah. It seemed like a lot of it was kind of just like DIY. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw like a zip ties for stuff. And I listened to uh, the Times Daily podcast about it. And I mean, in defense of submarines yeah. and, and people doing all this submarine tourism, even, I guess even that one is considered, the one that was pretty considered pretty DIY and rigged together for yeah. dirt cheap. I think it was yesterday when I was on the way home, like one guy was saying like the, I mean, it doesn't matter with an implosion, but like it did have a lot of fail redundancy as far as fail safes, like it could drop its weights and float back to the top. There's a whole yeah. bunch of things, but you cannot obviously structural failure. There's nothing you can do there. Yeah. Other than make that bad boy thicker. What are you supposed to do? Yep. Okay. They didn't even design this pinball board right. Like, why would they put that fucking thing there? <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's only bumpers. The... <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh. oh. It was all for this. What? I don't know. It says get and score. I don't know what the difference is. Oh, yeah. Clear the game in the ruins. Is it, it's going, is it going down? It's going down. So do I need to get a score that, that that's that high? I Is it going down? Think, wait, it is going down. So I need to get a billion more points? Yes. God damn it, this <laughs> fucking game. <laughs> Did you make that jump? Your multiplier went up to times 32 though. Oh, Thank yeah. God. Yeah, this is our reward, Dan. Good. Inside the volcano vault, there is pinball. Oh. Yeah, just played pinball till it's over. There's like, no way they just made up this game on the fly from bits and pieces, scrambling against deadlines. <laughs> as the Sega oh, we had another mini game. A Sega executive screams, "Where's our Breath of the Wild?" <laughs> <laughs> I like that it's you've got LB, left flipper, RB, right flipper, and then B for cease operation. <laughs> oh, I didn't even look at that. Well, Son yeah. Sonic's missing like a love interest. You got uh, what, Amy. What? Yeah, Amy. What? Yeah, Amy. What are you talking about? What? Who? You just really showed yourself real hard, Dan. <laughs> I've heard of Amy. Yeah. She's the pink one that always wants Sonic to be her boyfriend. What I'm saying yeah. is it's not working out. That's, you know. I saved her in the first That's world. Gwen Stacy. She needs to die uh -huh. to bring oh, Mary Jane Real around. threat, you're saying. Yeah, Sonic needs to kill more characters. Just, you know, Link's Sonic got Zelda. Kill. Mario's got Princess Peach. And Rosalina. Yeah. Mario needs to kill more people too. He's got uh, he's got opposable thumbs. He needs some more violence. He needs yeah. to strangle people more. 
<laughs> Stop fucking with those mushrooms yeah. and just go kill. Maybe that's what you do when you're that elephant Mario. You mm -hmm. just like rampage through a town and. <laughs> oh, he's sucking stuff people. up into that nose. If, <laughs> yeah. if, if you're elephant Mario and, and a human being even kind of approaches your child, do you flip the shit? Do you just go crazy? <laughs> yeah, you should awesome. be able to, as elephant Mario, pick up a car and flip it over. Yeah. Oh. Dan, how do you feel about orcas? Orcas? Yeah. Like Shamu? Uh, that one, sure. More like the wild ones. Yeah, the wild ones that are causing all this trouble. Oh, fuck you. They're causing trouble? I haven't heard about this. Oh, Don't yeah. they talk? Like there's they talk like to a... each other using their brains? There's, there's orcas in the, in the Mediterranean. Oh. They're like, uh, yeah. congregating and yeah. stuff like that and attacking boats. Yeah, they're learning from each other, specifically from yeah. one. Named yeah. White Gladys. White Gladys. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. yeah. That's actually a pretty good name. I, I think that's their, they theorize that all the behavior stems from her, and now they're always doing it for fun. I think I'm going to be an orca for Halloween now. And they put like, <laughs> a bandana on me, so I look extra bad. Yeah. Okay, well, that wasn't me. Well, your did get I, is. Did I do it? What? Did, did you did do I that? Fail? Hit. What? Wait, I'm confused. What were we supposed to get? To? Oh, it says how many balls you have. The UI was confusing me. What? I have to get a billion points? <laughs> Are you fucking shitting me? Oh, you only have two balls? <laughs> you have to get so many points. <laughs> it's so many points! Yeah. Luckily, it's only half a billion. I think you lose your multiplier if it goes in the in the tube. All right, folks, this may be the rest of the stream right Jesus here. Christ! This is worse than 300 crabs. <laughs> yeah, this is way worse. <laughs> oh, it's familiar looking. That's the cool thing about it. I can't tell. Is Sonic the ball? No, I don't even think he's the ball. Oh, what the heck? What's the point? This is the inside of uh, one of Tez's anuses. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's what it takes, huh? Yeah, dude was trying to figure out which hole to come out of. <laughs> and that's the poop. <laughs> yep. It's just bouncing around in there. He's a lot of fibers. <laughs> there has to be something else. This can't be it, right? This can't be. What could there be? They, they, they can't have made the most boring pinball game that you have to play for 45 minutes. <laughs> oh, look at that, though. That's all you can do is just get rings. Get yeah. those rings until it's over. It does. They hit the bumpers every fucking time. This left one is fucking broken. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. This sucks. Oh, man. Got that times eight multiplier, though. You only need... Four million nine hundred thousand more points. Yep. I, need some in here. Sheesh. It's, I think getting those red red rings is the only way to get the multiplier. That's and you only get two balls the whole time. Okay, times thirty-two. I mean, I had time 64, and that's the only way I got down to anything remotely close to the number. Yeah. And then it goes over it the goes edge. There. What the fuck am I <laughs> supposed to do about that? do about that. And then back to zero. <laughs> you got times one multiplier. Oh, uh -oh. fuck. How many, and, and you can't do anything to get that multiplier. This it's is just like, there now. It's just there forever. Yeah. And this is like part of the, you have to do this to get the boss. Yeah, do you, you have to do this? I mean, that's what it says the objective is. Yeah, I mean, this is a vault, so. This is, this is, the, they they went like on Christmas break and this is like what they left with and came back and said, we don't want to change it. <laughs> oh my God. Sephodia so says you can get it up to times 256. Great! <laughs> that involves me what? Getting the fucking red one? 50 times? <laughs> What's the exponential sum there? Oh. How does this compare to Sonic Spinball? Uh, Sonic Spinball is better than this. 
Brendan Brendan Grimm gifting a membership. Hey! The Philosophy. Come on. Oh, so oh. bitch. Thank you. Time 16. We're in the. We got six digits now. Problem is, I lose where the ball is every time it hits something. Yeah. The numbers are too big. Nice. We're st we still have four, 40 million points or whatever. <laughs> Come on, get that, get that shit. Oh my god, I... Can you control, control the intensity of the no. tech things? It's just one. God damn it's it. the angle. Yeah. Move right back to where it was before. I hate that if it goes to one of those side things, it's just over. Yeah. <laughs> Abe LinkedIn, and welcome to Funhouse membership. Welcome. Yeah. It's All over. Right, there we go. All right. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think about doing today? Finally getting that hot chicken sandwich. Oh, you gonna do it? Yeah. Gonna gonna risk it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm recovered from the weekend, so I think I can handle it. Where are you going to get your hot chicken sandwich from? Yeah. Yep. Ugh, taking my tackles with me. Yep. Oh, he's got one more to go. This is insane. If this one doesn't work out, I can go get Ryan and see if he wants to take a crack at it. The collecting crabs of Sonic, Ben L, is exactly what I was thinking. It hasn't given me a multiplier, by the way, in the last probably 30 seconds. So, yeah. so it's oh. not only is it that you don't even get to pick the multiplier, its spot is random. <laughs> oh. Cool. You can get all those points 16 times faster. They, they made like one. <laughs> oh, look at that. Right on top of the ball. Do not take your eyes off the screen. This is the most uh, intense thing in this game so far. Speechless right now. Oh, nice. There we go. I'm gonna see Ryan's up to real quick. This can't be, this cannot be the only way to progress. This is insanity. This is, this, if this is the only way to progress, this is a game that has active disdain for the person who has to play it. And I, I cannot believe, listen, I don't subscribe to the old, oh, journalists, oh, journalists, game journalists, they just want to get the free games or whatever. They just want to do that or that thing or the other thing. It's the, the, fuck you! Uh, okay, sorry, Jesus, I'll see. I'll see you, Ryan. But if people, if this is legit, 
and we're not missing a thing where you can just walk away from this sequence, and people gave this game a positive review <laughs> without mentioning the sequence where you have to sit here and play the worst pinball machine I've seen in my fucking life for 45 minutes just to get the required points, you're then not, you're not, everyone is a fucking liar. You're not nudging and tilting it. Fuck off! This fucking shit. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in a fucking right. video game of all time. Are you breaking this down, Ryan? You're breaking this whole well, thing Well, yeah, down. okay. I, I, you gotta go towards the blinking things, usually. <laughs> uh, you know, we got a blinking thing over here. It's worthless. The points are worth... None of these... None of these... None of this matters. All what that matters mean, is getting matter. the red thing. Oh, the, that's all? You, you need know? to get 500 million points or whatever. Okay. And they're worth 400 each. It's worthless trash. You, unless you get the red ones, uh, yeah, yeah, which yeah, sometimes right. pop up in random places. So, okay, the goal, I'm sorry, the goal is to get, get how many? all those points. See, get. Oh, get. Yeah, get and all And you have those. to do it on one ball? Two balls. You get two balls. You get two balls. And what's the- I guess technically three. What's the highest score you've gotten on one ball so far? Like the multiplier? Or, or yeah, just went like one ball. One ball's done. What, what's the score? Have you even gotten halfway to the? Dip? I don't know. I don't know where we got. Yeah. Oh, market for the membership. I mean, I love pinball, James. I'm pretty good at. Wait, it. can you agree that this is the stupidest looking pinball board you've ever seen in your life? I don't agree that with that yet. There's really old pinball. <laughs> There's that's nothing so, there. That sucks. This is better than old pinball. This is like, oh, I'm gonna get some bubble gum, so I'm gonna play the one that looks like a baseball field. There, I did it once. I got bubble gum. Yeah, but they're like boring, and there's like a, only a couple things on. This is at least has weird shit. Um, I live by two pinball arcades now, so I'm I, uh, I'm very versed. Monday's uh, tournament night if you want to come. Nope. Okay. <laughs> You've been honing your craft a little. Oh yeah, I definitely have. Oh, been, one fifth of the way there. Playing a shit ton of medieval madness. Fun fact: oh. uh, one of Tina Fey's first uh, voiceover job or vo first acting jobs was her. Oh, you got it, James. Good job. That's the biggest multiplier you've gotten yet. Well, I'm surprised it hasn't launched itself off the corner of the fucking thing yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, she was. She plays the princess, and you can save her. Oh, in, in, in Medieval in, in Madness? Medieval Madness, That's yeah. pretty cool. It is cool. And I want to say there's another actor, too, like, I think from, like, Mr. Show or UCB or something. Okay, this is your... You're doing good, James. You're doing it. You're going to win. You're not even going to need me, the best pinball uh, player at the office. You're going to do it all on your own. I mean, you I'm came in with some pretty hot tips. Did I? Yeah. My tip was to nudge and tilt your uh, Xbox. Yeah, that's the basics. <laughs> well, what would you guys have been doing? Nudge and tilt your Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> you're, oh my god, you're so close. I didn't, uh... You yeah. did it, you did it. What does that mean? You did get it. Okay, good job, James. I you guess won. hit the big blue thing? Yeah, do not lose now. I can't see the fucking ball. Hey! You did it! Yeah. That's insane. You're welcome, by the way. And the, what are the what's the Metacritic review on this game? Here, I'll look it up. Because it's a fucking lie. A lot That's of in the insane chat. that no one played the game. <laughs> no one, if they reviewed it and they gave it a positive score, they did not play the game where it forces you to play pinball for 10 minutes. All right, Sonic Frontiers, uh, 71. 71. Use, Find, user score 8.2. Find the highest review from an actual outlet and then pull some excerpts and see how many times they mention pinball. Okay, let's see. Because uh, they did not play the game. We have just officially confirmed that they did not play the game. Okay, here we go. Uh, Sonic Frontiers review from PlayStation Lifestyle. Yep, right. Uh, let's see. Oh, they're speaking Spanish, by the way, Ryan, just so you know. Uh, Sonic Frontiers is a strange yet fun time. The individual level Sonic showcase Sonic at his fast-paced, ring-hoarding best to some of the overworld sport. Rewarding exploration mechanics. The insistence by Sonic team to jam in mini games that block progress in the story is frustrating to say the least. And some of the larger maps design feels like feels a little haphazard. And overall, the, and though, overall though, <laughs> 99 out of 100. Yeah. Thanks, Sega, for sending me my Sonic care package and a gift card for $250. <laughs> 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 
This, oh, this is from jillvideo.com. However, this new Sonic experience blows a breath of fresh air on the saga with its titanic blows, combat. Right. Its open world platform approach its desire to push its own limits, even if it means losing control. This looks amazing. And I see a lot of pinball mentions here. Whoa. That's music. No, it's too good. Power Rangers intro? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's how the game works. Well, I guess, Ryan, uh, you can go. All right, well, <laughs> you too. I, I'm glad I could help. Like uh, said, yeah. The mini games are annoying, oh. and... Uh, yeah, Ryan will be back. I'll be back soon. Tomorrow. Yeah. Nine out of ten. Bye. Bye, Ryan. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks for your expertise. Good job, dude. Thanks. <laughs> oh, okay. Couldn't see that, so how would I supposed to fucking know that I was supposed to go that way? So we beat that. Now what happens? Okay. Can't see. Can I go? Can you not do this? Oh, Lord. Why did the music get all like... There's a good kill, kill a god, I think. Oh. Yeah, this is wildly intense music. Oh, god. Oh, jeez. I don't know when I sort Oh, you have to get in there? Is this game about to win us back? No. <laughs> What do you do? How do you get over? Oh. Oh, it's like a Mulefa. Actually. Did you end up watching that show? I watched the whole show, actually. Did they finish it? They did. Wow. It did its third season and it ended. They killed God. They killed God. Night. Cool. Creative. That's great, Dave. Yeah, I watched that show and there were so many weird things happening. But then I would go and check and I'm like, yeah, I guess that's what happened in the book. I guess, yeah, because that last book's kind of just a bunch of, what? A bunch of insane shit. They didn't get crazy enough with the Malefas, though. Yeah. They chickened out on that. Oh, it made rails with its arm. Thank you. Am I somewhere? You climb? Oh, oh there I'm you on are. It. Okay. Oh, Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, the final chaos emerald is on it. That's easy. You can take it right from you his take brain. It? <laughs> so now you become yes. super sonic and now plays the thing and now we gotta kill a god. Now you get to have fun. Look at the size of that sword. <laughs> oh, you hear that? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're Captain America. Am I playing or? Yes. <laughs> cool. Oh, you're riding it? Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh, <I'm there. laughs> What the fuck was going Whoa. By the way, I got auto combo, like last game or whatever. Which means you can just tap and it'll just do magic buttons. Oh, that's awesome. You're doing it. This is I'm playing, Sonic. <laughs> Good. Ah, it works. Really fun with that. Very good. Good. Very good work. Surely you'll be able to beat Knight. What just happened there? What is it you're doing? He's attacking me, and and again, the first several bosses I fought, I thought you had to parry it exactly. You can just hold the fucking button. I'll give you a few tries. Yeah, that's nice. Tries. <laughs> It'd be not. It wouldn't it be great if there's like a shot of him firing missiles or something? Yeah. As opposed to them just appearing on screen. So it looks like a bunch of just like navy missiles. <laughs> 
to get there. There we go. If you look oh, at it, block me. They look like they're just PNGs of missiles going across yeah, the yeah. screen. It's like a funhouse video. If yeah. You need a bunch of missiles to that <laughs> They're moving independent of the world. <laughs> you did it. You won't get away with this night. At least there's sick ass music playing. Oh. How are you gonna avoid that? Probably gonna get hit by someone. What happened? I thought I hit him with the blade. You got new one again. Oh look, he's shooting laser. That's handy that it shows where it's going, so you can just not be there. <laughs> Why is he doing this? Why are you Fight me, you <laughs> fucking coward! Stop skating around! <laughs> are you supposed to be in the path of the thing and like hit something? You have to Come parry. Here. God damn it! <laughs> you have to parry the shield. Do I have to lead him and do it? I don't know. I don't think you lead him anywhere. He's just spinning around. You're so tiny. I can't tell what's happening. Yep. Oh. Can you aim it? <laughs> How do you <laughs> hit him? He's moving so <laughs> fucking <fast>. gone. <laughs> okay, you got him this time. You got him this time. There we yeah. go. We got him. Pushing every button on the controller right now. I'm not gonna wow. I won't get away with this. I might just aim that over there. Well, that looked like it went right through. <laughs> I mean, he should be attacking you. Arguably, you're in the most vulnerable state right now. Come back! <laughs> this is so fast. Alright, here we go. Got okay. him. Yeah, easy. Got him! Nailed it. Now kill. Kill this angel. Oh my god. What? Did you make those angel spears sprout from the ground? I don't know. I honestly don't know if I did. Oh shit. He's dead. His life bar is gone, so. Oh. <laughs> Good catch, Sonic. He's got his gloves on and everything. Whoa. <laughs> How do they follow this up with the next Sonic? They can't do it. Sonic's fighting God right now. Oh. I'm gonna kill him. Oh yeah. Whoa. Oh, grab the sword, Sonic. <laughs> Lava swords? No, it's just a regular sword. Oh, he is. He gonna is gonna grab, gonna grab it. It'd be great the if he was like, if, cool. if he went, if he went, see you in hell. Yeah. And then he stabbed it through its mouth as it gargled blood. Whoa. That's the only thing that could redeem it. And even Sonic that, is strong. This is somebody's favorite moment in video games. I know. Oh my god. Wait, the music just got bad. Yeah. The breakdown right now. Yeah. You know, a Turkish fig? A Turkish a fig? What? Turkish fig. Thank you. Chaos? Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, you beat Chaos? No. The, of the emeralds? No, I don't think oh. so. I think that was unrelated. Mm. Sometimes oh. I don't show you things that aren't related to what's happening. <laughs> Just a little peek at what's going on somewhere. Sass Das Sassada says 90% of the damage in five seconds. The rest of the five minutes is just running around. <laughs> Two more islands. 10 out of 10. Two more islands. Two more islands? You just doubled the map size. Whoa. Oh, Earth has penises. They're growers and showers. Cool, good for it. What?
Here's the thing. Yeah. When they showed off the initial demos for that, I was like, oh, someone went to the people making Sonic and said, we want a Breath of the Wild. Yeah. And they said, we can't make that. They said, well, you have eight months. <laughs> so they threw this garbage together. And that's fine. Shoot. That's the game biz. Sometimes. Yeah, that's how it goes. My issue is that it came out and some people said it was good. Yep. That is, that is wrong. Wait, they're wrong with their... Then you encourage it. This game is a bad game. Mark gifted another membership too, so that's cool. You can you can you can acknowledge that the game is terrible without putting the fault on the dev that probably were strapped for time and resources. Let's see what else. And you're lucky someone, anything came together. You're saying place. they can't even enjoy it. People, I can't even enjoy it because it's but a bad game. the people game. that liked it. Yeah, they're wrong. They're wrong about it. I've been having this conversation with people recently about a lot of media. The difference between fun and good. Oh yeah. You know. You can have fun with anything, and I think you should. But you could be also be wrong about it being good. <laughs> that is a, you a think some art, art is just yeah. inherently bad? Oh, yeah, I do. Wait, where? This map's different. Yeah, this is. Maybe it's a small island. Man, that'd be fucking amazing. This does look, for it's some good. reason, way better. Maybe it's just the lighting. I well, can see bright. what's going on. Oh, power tree. Oh, nope. Still gotta get more. Oh, wow. Climb that big wall. Huh. This better count as a full island. How many islands have you done so far? Three. That was the third. God. That giant one was the third? Yeah. I mean, they're all kind of that size. The only big problem with that one that we just did is that it's that size, and then everything is separated by those stupid chunks or whatever. I'm quite the distracted music, the by The soundtrack the is really good. Oh, yeah. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah, sure. Whoa, music note. We unlock Open Your Heart. Oh, cool. Can we just play it whenever we want? Oh, you're a level 40 Sonic? Am I? Oh, I'm I'm 40 in defense and oh. 40 in damage. Uh, as far as how those things Whoa. play into the rest of the yeah. game, I don't know. Your ring level is 3 out of yeah. 99. Well, I don't add any rings because I want that animation to happen every single time. Yeah. I got a question for you, Jacob. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. What happens the Fellowship meets in Rivendell, okay. and they give the One Ring to Sonic? You give the One Ring to Sonic, it just, he absorbs it into his body, it becomes health. Oh. It goes, bring. I'll get it to Mordor. <laughs> so, does it want me to do okay. So he goes to Mordor, but it's just still Samwise Gamgee with him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Gollum shows up and he's trying to be tricksy with Sonic. The difference is that they get to Mordor, they finally climb Mount Doom and all of its uh, uh, traps and tribulations, and inside is a pinball machine. Oh, We're doomed. That's it. You're Star trying to get the ring down yeah. into the lava, but you keep bouncing up. Yeah, you have to get 500,000 points, or else the ring will not. To cast into the fire. Am I, am I playing this game? What's happening? I think so. Are you pushing buttons? Sometimes, when it when it prompts me to. Yeah. So is is Gollum fast enough to bite a finger off of Sonic? Yeah, he can bite right through those gloves. His Mickey Mouse gloves. Yeah. <laughs> but Sonic can only have three fingers left. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be hard to grip stuff. Yeah. He's not running entirely straight, just so, just so everyone knows. He kind of still drifts a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Right, let's take it back. The soundtrack's not very good. It has its ups and downs. This is the kind of music that Sonic fans love. Yeah. Again, like difference a difference between song. good. Whoa! I mean, I have a eternal fondness in my heart for the Sonic Adventure soundtrack. It has like a good mix. Yeah, Sonic like, Adventure's fine. Goofy Sonic music and then a bunch of butt rock. This is this is intuitive design also. What is happening? Game dev. Game oh, dev. another music note. No, something better. A prompt. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, so I need to do that every single time now. Yeah. How many of these? Oh, cutscene. Cool. <laughs> Here's fun new place. <laughs> you drink and you just fuck away. 
Two chaos. Oh, if I recall, there was the thing that showed a flashback. And the flashback did imply that there's this ain't. The Mewtwo. Oh, that, no. that was definitely a Pokemon. Oh no, oh, no James. Oh no. oh no. It's so far to fall. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, has anyone busted into Final Fantasy 16 yet? Not yet. I've only heard cool. good things. It's out? I'll do the same thing. I'll play like 10 hours of it and then forget it exists. I haven't actually played. Oh, good news everyone. Oh. It's uh, time for the slot machine to start. Oh no. What does that mean? Sometimes when this the rain comes out, the slot machine starts. Okay. Mm -hmm. You said a little bit more than... There it is. What? Here we go. <laughs> slot machine time. Who's ready to Somehow. slot? What? I only have 450, 45 coins. How long do you have to do this for? Yep. Oh, no. It has you running the wrong direction. There you go. Now he's doing it. I guess so. Oh, vlog. I don't even know which way the right direction on spinning, huh? Oh, one of the stuff. Oh! Where am I? Wait, you just do this and something happens? You bet. Okay. Slot machine time. So can I, do I, did I really fall so far that I can't? No, oh, look, you're doing it. There we go. <laughs> just ran up the Whoa, wall. Oh, now you're flying. Skyrimmed up that wall. Okay. I haven't actually. Uh, playing weirdly Angel Island games. In the That's cool. <gasps> Green Forest. Yeah, I haven't played any Final Fantasy games actually. Really? Ever? Yeah, ever. Not even kind of Final out. Fantasy Remake? I have not played that. I watched a lot of other people play it. It's good. It looks fun. <laughs> I, I, I enjoyed it for the 10 hours that I played it. Yeah. Before I forgot it existed. Final Fantasy Remake? Yeah. Oh, I beat it. I yeah. Know. Is that a fine jumping in point? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, if you don't want to go back and play the original Final Fantasy 7. I think you can start wherever. It yeah. Is, it doesn't matter. I mean, none of them have, with, except for the ones that are direct sequels to each other, none of them have, like, continuity. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta start with Final Fantasy Tactics. It's one of those... It's the best one. Oh, okay. Uh, only if you like tactic, tactic games. What about the first Kingdom Hearts game? That's Final Fantasy, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, how do you even know to be excited when Sephiroth shows up in Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> playing Sonic Adventure. Somebody said you could just hit right on the D-pad and change the music. Yeah. That's so cool! They got Live and Learn in here. Do you like how that thing is still <laughs> taking up 20% of the screen? Asking. Yeah, how long does that go for? A while. Are you gonna oh, wait? Basically all night. Aww. Until your purple coins run out? I have five... No, no. It spends my... What the fuck? It didn't give me a fucking prompt anywhere. You're catching one of these. Let's grab onto a rail or something. Nice. <laughs> hey, I'm back go up to we the go. Change machines. Go to the Golden Girls machine. The Golden Girls. Oh right. Oh, oh it spends your slot. crystals. I see. So the more little crystals you collect, the longer you have to deal with this bullshit. What the fuck was that? It didn't let you do anything. Jazz and uh, Final Fantasy IX is also really great. That was the best one on PlayStation. Final Fantasy IX is, is kind of where it lost me, and I've tried to play that game so many times I just can't get into it. That's the problem is I never had a PlayStation until, like, PS5. What? I missed out on a lot of games. Like an Xbox, baby? Yeah, and Nintendo. So I got some catch jumps to do. I tell you what, that game was really cool until it, like, start, stopped making sense at the end. They all I mean, stopped making sense. More so degree. than normally when they don't make any sense on the third disc or whatever. I just like the art design a lot. I can't see <laughs> shit. Whoa! See, if this were Zelda, you would have had to make a hot air balloon to get up here. You would have had to think? Yeah. This music Let's is so ahead. awesome. This is yep. the yeah, Sonic Adventures opening title. Yeah. Ooh, too many things. This is... You want a kiss? It's gonna make me sick. Yeah, where'd the kisses go? Looks like you oh, got right. them lined up as like rewards for yourself. John Holland set them up for me. My my here's my main issue with Final Fantasy Nine. Mm. Final Fantasy, I I love super moves, and limit breaks. And Final Fantasy Nine replaced oh. limit breaks with that thing where the they transform. just glow. 
And oh, I was like, okay. that's not, no. Well, you, you have could... to build, you have to unlock this like world ending attack or whatever. That's what's the coolest shit instead about Instead of just going Super Saiyan. Instead of, yeah, instead of just glowing. That, I think uh, the thing that stunk is you'd end up having to use that in like a fight that didn't matter. Mm. Like you couldn't save it up to Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is the death of the chaos homeworld. I wish someone would adapt Final Fantasy IX though into like an animated movie. It would. It look. The design sense is amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sonic's Whoa. tired. He's starting to glitch. Oh no, he's got gloom. He's got doesn't have gloom resistance. Oh, shadow. Shadow shows up. To oh, save him. A Glock comes in his other hand. <laughs> <laughs> My cyber corruption. <laughs> That's what that's what you say if you ever get caught masturbating. Oh, okay. Were you yeah. masturbating? No, I'm cyber corrupted. <laughs> that works. Uh, uh, you, hold, you hold your chest. Ah, oh, I've been cyber corrupted. <laughs> Why are your pants down around your ankles? <laughs> and there's pictures of Amy uh, all over oh, your no. phone. Oh, oh, I've been cyber oh, corrupted. All oh, the glitches <laughs> things have corrupted me. <laughs> Do you, you think Sonic can get himself off in like two seconds? Oh yeah, he can go super fast. Yeah, that's where he gets all this. Got a nut fast. <laughs> <laughs> hey Tails, gotta come fast. Can Sonic run fast enough to create an alternate Sonic universe where Michael Keaton is Batman? Oh maybe. Whoa. That's a great question. That's really cool. Oh, I need that song. Nope, I need that song. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. get back, go back, get that song. Oh thank God. Frog right, Forest. Go. Mystic Ruin. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that's from Sonic Adventure. Yeah. Do we have City Escape yet? Oh. Sonic oh. Heroes. It's not playing. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Sonic Heroes. That game, that man, that game was fun, and then it falls off a fucking cliff, literally. Like, there's a level where it's just impossible to control. <laughs> Every Sonic has to take the reins from the player eventually. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is good music right here. Yeah, this is Sonic Adventure, right? Yeah. It, un it unlocks like core memories yeah. <laughs> hearing this music. <laughs> Are you time traveling right now? Yeah, I see that orca jumping around, destroying what, all those what docks. What was the orca thing? I had to leave so there's to like shoot this, some B-roll. It's like, yeah pod of orcas in the Mediterranean that have been like destroying boats and attacking yeah. them. Like not like outright sinking them immediately, but destroying their rudders and rocking them around and stuff. Almost like like oh, an organized about... rebellion or for fun. Yeah. Kind of like about time though. Yeah. They're all yeah. up in their space. And they theorize that it's been taught by this this one orca named White Gladys. Oh. Is because... it a Planet of the Apes situation? Yeah. Because orcas like they they teach each other a lot of things as they grow up. So oh. I think at this point, they're just attacking boats for fun. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Which is pretty sick. This is fun. I like waiting here. I like how you're standing <laughs> at a 45 degree angle, too. And then there is recently a large congregation of orcas in Monterey that were just all just chilling in the bay. Seems like a nice place. Watching people. Whoa. Happens every time. I mean, hey, orcas haven't killed anybody outside of water parks yet. Or, Maybe uh, yeah. Willie got out and got word to everybody to yeah. fuck up. Who is, want... the, who is the dad in Free Willy? Michael Madsen. That's what I thought. But it sounds wrong. Yeah, I know. Which is how I <laughs> initially knew him. The dad like Willy. Michael Madsen for the longest time was like, that's the dad from Free Willy. Why is he always mean and everything else? <laughs> that's like really odd casting. Wait, who's the main character in Free Willy? Uh, other than Willy. Oh, well, other than Willy, it's the kid who I don't uh, know that he is necessarily. From Sidekicks, right? No, that's not from Brandis. It's not Brandis? No, it's not Brandis. Thank God it's just putting you on rails for this platform. Until, until it breaks, and then <laughs> it just kicks me off, probably. Yeah. Oh, okay, upside down. Ooh. The thing is, none of this feels clever. Like it's like you just work backwards. Like it's not, it's not like a an exciting puzzle. Like I don't feel any satisfaction for solving it. Yeah. I it, just go on your stupid path that you built out of floating shit in the sky. Yeah. And you just hold right. What's that? I think I kind of thought by this point you would be like Stockholm syndrome. No. Oh, like Ryan with Kingdom Hearts. Keeps reminding yeah. you it's bad. 
Whoa! Kingdom Hearts at least gives you something to laugh at. And it's got Donald Duck. And it's got Donald Duck. One of the Donald greatest Ducks. characters of all time. Yeah. And he's a wizard. He can do anything, Donald Duck. Well, Jack Sparrow's in it now, too. <laughs> How's he? I'm not sure how to react. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> great. It's great because they put you into... I never got this far, far enough in the game to see this. Jesus right over the fucking top. Oh my, my like balls got sucked up into my body <laughs> when that happened. Jesus Christ. But yeah, they put you in the, into the third Pirates movie with zero context for any of the scenes. Mm -hmm. So you see like his pirate ship getting carted around Davy Jones' locker by crabs. And you see them all wash up on the beach and be like, You're in purgatory, Jack Sparrow. There's a whole scene where they meet with all the antagonists from that movie, and Sora, Donald, and Goofy are not present, and the whole movie scene plays out, and then it goes back to Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Yep, sounds about right. Sounds about right. What is this? So, they keep showing flashbacks. Who's flashing back? We're flashing back to visions from this world? I don't know where we are, but wherever but usually, we are... When someone flashes back, it's somewhere they were. No, because we touch the tower, and then the tower, I think, shows us a uh -huh. flashback of this world that we're in, where I guess all the chaos used to live. What? An emerald. So they, they did Pirates of the Caribbean 3, which is great, because that wasn't the Pirates of the Caribbean that was out when that Kingdom Hearts came out, and it's arguably the one people like rewatch the least. Because <laughs> you have to also rewatch the second one. Less than the Blackbeard one? Yeah. one? No. And the, and the other one that I'm forgetting anything about? The fifth one? The fifth one? Which is better Isn't than four. One? It's better than four. I it's, still don't understand how they fucked that up. Ian I mean, McShane is Blackbeard. Should have been good. Well, yeah. the best thing, here's my favorite thing about it, too, is that it's Ian McShane is Blackbeard, right? Seems seems like a no-brainer. Yeah. But then they also have, um, is there a song over here? we got to make sure we get all the songs. Oh, wait. Past it. I'm gonna back. Um, <laughs> Gotta make sure. <laughs> um, Ian McShane is Blackbeard, and they established that, like, oh, you know, because they can turn into skeletons. So, like, what's the spooky power? And he can control his ship. Yeah. Like all the ropes and shit on his ship, he can just control with his mind. But he doesn't do it, does he? But and then and they go, oh, awesome. We we're gonna go explore on land. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's not on the ship for like 90% of the movie. Yeah. How do you think that reboot's going for them? I don't know. Who's the reboot? They're figuring Johnny it Depp? out. No, I think they, you know, they got rid of him when during his yeah lawsuit with his wife. Oh my god. Yeah, I've seen right. He was kind of canceled for a second when everyone. He still is. Yeah, I mean he's a piece of shit. I'm sure. Yeah. That all seems very complicated. That Being married. Yeah. Being married. Yeah. yeah. Owning your own French town? <laughs> Wait, is that Pirates of the Caribbean or Johnny Depp? <laughs> That's Johnny Depp. Being a shitty guitarist. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Did you get eaten by this creature? There's finally an enemy. It's slowly digesting Sonic. Um, your oxygen's running something? out. This is a complete introduction of a new boss. Yeah, down. Yeah, just keep doing that. Okay, Ooh. that's all right. Thanks for letting me know. See ya. Just grinds everything to a halt for 15 seconds. I feel like if you moved at sonic speeds, you wouldn't be able to tolerate anything. Yeah. Like it took more than a Jesus second. Jesus Christ. Nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Every time you zoom around, I think you're gonna go flying off the edge. So cool. <laughs> the animation just like ran out. <laughs> I'm just like not contributing in any meaningful way. No, look at all the stuff you're doing. Oh, here we go. Yep. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, use him against himself. Yeah. Oh no, you're gonna go all the way back to the bottom. No, he's this is right. Hey, you boy. Whoa. You're covered in that. But like, Sonic couldn't queue for something. He had to like sit and wait in line. Oh, Whoa, no. no. That's insane. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? 
What happened to all of your nice. skydiving skills from the skydiving part? What's this? This lets you go all the way back up. That's handy. Hey. Can you just ran that all the way up? I think it was. Grab another one. Before. Oh, I see. But also the fact that you, it's not like you press a button to choose which one you're going to target. That's yeah. my other favorite thing. Right. Oh, we okay. need a clever way to climb this tower in our new Sonic. Okay. What if the player doesn't do anything? Oh! Okay! Grab the handle, grab the handle. <laughs> this game punishes you for every time you attempt to do something. I know, you try, nice try, player. We're well, off the path, my friend. I also don't, you can't move when you're flying. Oh, He's good. invulnerable. <laughs> All right. I'm going to. I gotta go. Anywhere else. Yeah. Unfortunately, I but I'll, I'll I'll get Ryan. Okay. Good luck, game. Thanks. Oh god. How far through this do you think you are? Uh. Oh no! Fuck! If you want to play the fucking game, <laughs> fucking play it. That's. I think that's the most infuriating thing. The, the, it as soon as it gives you control, it's it, impossible. It doesn't give you. I didn't have control. I didn't have the choice to jump in that direction. Because the game locks you with all kinds of movement rest restrictions and camera restrictions that you don't have the choice. So it's if it's going to break, don't fuck me because you suck. Perfect game. What the fuck? It did it again! It's the same shit! Grinch, just grab the handle. I can't eat, like... I, can it? You can drop far, faster down. It just. Mm, you love it. It's fucking terrible. This game is horrible. It's a horrible <laughs> game, and I can't believe anyone would say anything positive. Well, you're pretty about. locked into doing the sequel now, too. Okay. Hey. God, this game Please. sucks, Ryan. Can I do anything for you? Can I get you anything? I can. You make it. Go back in time and make it so that way uh, they never make this. Time travel, it's just theoretical at this point. It's, we don't know if we can actually do it. Uh, Sorry. Shit. I can else, go like a refreshment. No. How can I make your life easier? You want another Turkish uh, pig? Say something funny. Funny? I, I, I put me on the spot. I gotta, I'm an editor, Jay. Oh, Any time. Yeah. I need the right. That's right about it, right? Right. How, oh, yeah. How is uh, Gizzard? King Gizzard and the Chicken Well, Gizzard. that's a whole. <laughs> Oh, that doesn't sound good. That's a whole long story. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> you want to tell it? I mean, another. I mean, I I went to hell and back in the last since the last time I saw you for the King Gizzard. Yeah, it was amazing. Okay, it, it was incredible, but uh, but uh, I uh, overdid it on the mushrooms. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you worked all trip. wait, but you worked all day yesterday. Yes. And then you did mushrooms. Yes, I should not be here right now. But yeah, you probably. slacked and said you needed people to play Sonic Adventures at some point today. Yeah, well, and I came into work. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. But holy fuck. Like, uh, uh, they they truly melted my mind and, and, every, and body and soul. Uh -huh. and it, good, it was though, incredible. Right? Like, you know, like this was kind of my last shot to uh, really like this band because okay. I was telling Jacob yesterday, I, I like, th ev up till yesterday, I liked everything about the band except the music. Okay. okay. I No, I get that. That makes sense. There's I, a performance aspect. And well, I haven't and... seen the performance, but I, 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 they have a, so many albums. They released six albums last year. Yeah, last yeah. year. Yeah. You know, and so, and I don't really love any of them. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. so I'm kind of, but everyone says they're amazing. And then uh, a lot, I like how prolific they are. They seem like cool dudes. They, you know, they, they, they're all over the place, like, musically, which is cool. But I, I was like, all right, I, they better, you know, bring it live or else I'm out. Mm -hmm. But, dude, they more than brought it. It was so insane. Like, especially, I mean, the drugs helped. But I was going to say, well, you really haven't had time, but have you tried going back to listen to some of their albums to see if you have an appreciation for them? <sighs> or do you, you still think that you're going to, like, dislike them? I, I, there's so much that I could probably, if I really did a deep dive, I could make a s super set list of all the ones I like. It would be a pretty nice yeah, yeah. chunk, you know, how, whether even those ones I would like, whether I go back and that'd be a, a, a playlist I would listen to all the time. Yeah. I don't know. It's like a weird, it, it's definitely like music that is tailored for playing live because it's like they're really long yeah, and kind of sense. like complex and all over the place and. And it's like, you know, I'm, I'm rarely just sitting down and focusing on an album yeah, yeah, while yeah. I'm listening to it. It's like, you know, unless I'm, I'm seeing it live. Maybe you go for a walk or something. You mean in the middle, while well, I was tripping? Oh, no, oh, no, I'm oh, saying yeah. just like the, 
times that one might listen to music. Yeah. A handful of folks in the chat are so excited to hear that you saw King Gizzard. It was amazing. It was just... Uh, so what went wrong? Other than, <laughs> I mean... Well, I, I mean, like, okay, so so it's so much. It is like, like and I love that shit, right? Uh -huh. Like, I love Total Sensory Overload. Bring yeah. it on, you know? And I've only had one other bad trip in my life, but that was like, it was like the first time I ever did acid. And it was, that was hell too, but I put myself in a really stupid situation, uh -huh. you know? So it was more on me. Whereas this, I feel like I've done it enough, I'm, I'm good, but like, it was like, we were right up close too. And we're in these stupid ass like pony stalls at the Hollywood Bowl. There's like little, okay. it, it feels really dumb because you're like, we're really close, but each one of us has like our own little stall to sit there and dance in. It's okay. like, it was really stupid. What? Yeah, I was, yeah, I, maybe I was just focusing on it because I was all on drugs. But, uh, uh, but anyway, so, and the, 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 the visuals are insane and they're just like the best musicians I've ever seen. It was okay. crazy. Like they were just all wailing and it all sounded amazing together. And the visuals were just so much. It was like, you know, they're all be like, and just like and I'm just sitting there just like, like uh, taking it all in. And then at a certain point, yeah, like I was like, maybe I was thinking about like, yeah, also I've just done, I'm totally not prepared for all this. I didn't expect to get this fucked up. Uh -huh. And I, you know, I've driven down there, I parked on the street. You drove and you were like, I'm gonna do mushrooms. And then- Well, I was like, uh, usually I just take a tasteful small amount, James. That's the thing. It's like, and then I, it's like, and then it's in a place where I'm like, and, and not like I'm gonna drive uh, later necessarily, because I had it in a place where I could leave it. You know, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, like, yeah. all right. If I need to, I can, I'll just go back, you know, and hang out, party, and then get in the morning or whatever. Yeah. If I have to, so it was an option. But then I'm sitting there, you know, all fucked up. Like at the show, I'm like, I'm like, I feel like an idiot, like right now. I like, like in the sense that I was losing all identity uh -huh. and like of like what it is to be a human. Okay. You know, <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, how am I? I don't know how to drive a car. Uh -huh. You know, like I, I couldn't even imagine it. You know. And I'm just sitting there like, like just, you know, and I'm like, it's more like, I gotta get the- Are you fucked you out go of by yourself? No, I went with a bunch of the people I go to fish shows with and stuff, uh -huh. you know? And luckily, yeah, my friend was there and she's someone like, do you need to like go like right now? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I need to step out of here. I need okay. to get the fuck out of here. It's a Wednesday. Yeah, this is a Wednesday. Yeah. The, it, well, yeah, that's King Giz's fault for making a marathon Hollywood Bowl show on a Wednesday. What the fuck, dude? Oh yeah, how long is it? Is three hours? Three hours. Yes, this thing started at seven thirty. Okay, yeah. Here, let me just take you. Let's take go. Me through let's, the day. Let's, take me to the, let's go to the beginning. Take like, me. I'm gonna be occupied with the stream, man. Good with Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, are we doing? Are we, you're not doing community show. You just want me to play this t the whole time? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. We also never watched the Craven trailer, so. Yeah. Well, all right, okay, all right, sounds good. Sorry, go ahead, Ryan. No worries. Um, yeah, like I, I was like, all right, the show's at 7:30. Usually, I'll take you know, like if I'm gonna do it, you'll drop your bean, you know, like 30, 40 minutes before. But I was like, all right, I'm gonna. I took him at six. Uh -huh. All right, so I was like, it's gonna be good and ready, right, uh -huh. when it starts, you know, and uh, uh, and so I take him. And then I park, you know, yeah, on this side street, uh, or no, under this bridge on this side street. And, and like, um, uh, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get a scooter to the thing. And I like totally like scoot way past where I was supposed to go. So I'm like. So you're already, before you even arrive at the Hollywood Bowl, you are feeling it? No, I, okay, I mean, I, I, lost, I, so. I, I took it and I got lost <laughs> okay, sober. Okay. Yes, yes. I, you know, I rolled a bunch of joints. I got lost sober, but it's like, you know, it probably took me 20 minutes, 30 minutes in the car just to sit there and roll like six joints. Okay, you know, yeah, which, sounds you know, about right. Like, yes, I uh, I took a hiatus on my joints. <laughs> I took a hiatus for my joint hiatus for King Gizzard. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. You know what I mean? It was a holiday. Um, and so then I, yeah, I get finally get there and yeah, I'm starting to start to feel it, you know, when I finally scooter there. And then like, so I'm like going to the, the back entrance. Everyone, if there's a, you ever go to the Hollywood Bowl, there's a back entrance. No one knows about it. There's like giant lines. Okay. And then you just go past the lines and there's a back entrance. Okay. And I'm like going past all these people and I just, someone's just like, Ryan. And I'm like, hey, what's, I'm like, 
what is your name again? Uh-huh. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. And they're like, I'm just a Funhouse fan. Oh. <laughs> and I'm like all fucked up. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh sorry. Thank you. I so, wonder if uh, they're watching this right now. It was awesome. Oh, that's I've been, calling. I've been, you gave him your phone number. No, well, we did talk on Reddit later. He, he messaged me today, and we, we, we went through the show and stuff. Um, but then, yeah, that happened twice. But it was both times. It was like I was like on drugs. So yeah, I'm just yeah. sitting there going like, oh, you know, like, oh, hot. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Like, it was, it was crazy. And then finally, get to the show. And yeah, they start off with like a bunch of kind of spaghetti Western stuff. It, it sucked because the keyboard player, his dad just died. And so they have a whole spaghetti Western where he is like doing that spoken word over it. Uh -huh. So they played that. Just apparently pretty rare, James. Okay. Just so you know. You know. All right. All right. Um, right anyway, it was pretty cool. But uh, but that's how they started it. But yeah, then it just goes, they get into like thrash metal zones. Uh -huh. And it's just, you know, insane yep. thrash music, but then going between like psychedelic music and rock music. And there's like this awesome rap song, The Grim Reaper. Okay. It was amazing. And then, yeah. Do uh, they have like a lot of guests that come in or? No, it's, it's just, just the six of them. Okay. Used to be seven. But, uh, um, yeah, so that was it. It was just kind of like, uh, yeah. Oh, so, 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 so then I feel insane. I'm like literally having and what I could only describe as just a psychotic episode. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Like, I feel so crazy. I'm so glad I'm just here right now, and it's normal. <laughs> like, I, and I'm talking you to can you. You feel, and you're aware, and you have yourself. Yes, I, I'm. I'm fully aware and everything. I never thought this would happen. Happen again. <laughs> I, like, I got to that one. I'm like, when will will this end? Yeah, yeah. You know, and I'm like, Mara. And you're like, please I've lost, tell me this will, will end. Yes. Like, yeah. I felt like that. Like, like, have I totally, you know, overdone it? Yeah. Um. So anyway, it was scary. I hated it at that point. Yeah. Um, and then it, uh, uh, so then we went and we watched the last song. And I'm like, okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I'm like, uh -huh. dancing, music, let's go. You know, and they're just like, <laughs> you know, it's like, uh -huh. really great. The songs were just so cool live. Um, sorry, because it's a long winded. No, uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Nothing's happening here except yeah, okay. this game style. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> So yeah, uh, and so, uh, but but they were all gonna go hang out afterwards. So I'm just like, I need to go to bed. Yeah, yeah. You know, I you need to. Sleep. I want to leave society right now. Did you, I was say, did, uh, you maybe you'll tell me, but it feels like, did you get to feel normal before you went to sleep, or was there the thing where it was like, all right, I'm going to sleep now. I hope that I, I hope that things are not like this when I wake back up. Absolutely, I was just like, I, I even was too little like asking uh, my friends, I'm like, should I sleep now? Like, uh, you know, like, like this is like traumatic, you know? Uh, uh, and, but anyway, yeah, but I, all I could just keep thinking is this will end. <laughs> you know, this will, will all end. <laughs> well, yeah, that also was in my mind. <laughs> but then, so then anyway, they were all gonna go party and I'm like, I get, you know, and there's a mob of people uh, leaving the show and, Luckily, my friend got me a like eighty dollar Uber ride uh, uh, all the way back to Eagle Rock, uh -huh. you know. And so, and it's this giant Lexus that was like, oh, you know, <laughs> stupid. But I'm just like, even before that, I was just like dreading getting in there and just like imagining, you know, I'm like having this bad trip and I'm in some poor person's back of their car, uh -huh. you know. <laughs> I'm just sitting there, just like going crazy while this person's driving me to Eagle Rock and there's all these insane hippies around me. Because uh, it took forever to get out of there, mm -hmm. but finally I just like was calming down a little bit. Yeah. So then I got, what time was this? Dude, I got home by like 11:30. Not bad. Yeah, like I would surprise me. And yeah, anyway, uh, finally I get home. Yeah, and everything's just ringing in my ears and stuff, and all this stuff. I'm just having like really intense like remembering. Mm -hmm. Just feeling like it back together. it's almost like it's a make. It really felt like matrix Uh huh. You know, like in, in a bad way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> matrix revolutions. Was, all right. Yeah. You yeah. Know, like, like it's all. Uh, yeah. I was just like having a breakdown of my consciousness. Um. So anyway. Um, highly recommend going to one of the shows. Okay, all right. I would, I End result is a positive review. Yeah, I mean, you sound like, like someone who reviewed Sonic uh, for tears. <laughs> that was one of the wildest concerts and just experiences, but, but concerts specifically, just like they really were amazing. It wasn't just the drugs, but yeah. the drugs made it ten times more insane. 
So, um, yeah. Uh, so, so anyway, I got into bed at 11.30 and then just was like, going kind of crazy for a while. Uh-huh. Still trying to sleep. Then at some point, I, I, I was calmed down by like watching YouTube videos. Uh-huh. I was watching like the It's Always Sunny podcast. Okay, yeah. I'm yeah. like, okay, good. These guys are actors talking about on the podcast, uh-huh. a show they were on that I've seen. Yeah. This all makes sense. Yes, this is a real world. <laughs> this is the real world. Do you remember some of the things that you like started losing your mind about? Well, yeah, it was just kind of just like in general, you know, just the, re- how did I even articulate it really? But it was just like, just, I, I was just having this extreme intense realization about how insane organic matter in life is, basically. Okay. Where yeah. that was freaking me out. You know? It's all just a bunch of little things. Yeah, and like just like, really and I'm together. like, oh yeah, I'm alive, and I've, a, I've been, a, I had a childhood, and I have, I'm, you know, all yeah, this yeah. other stuff, and like, what the fuck? What is this? You yeah. know, I'm, I have these parents and a family, and I'm like, just remembering. Yeah. <laughs> and it's freaking me out, you yeah. know. And it's like it's like not like the fun vibe. It's yeah. Like, Ugh. like what? Like do I remember how to do all this shit? You know? Like am I just gonna be this weird melted idiot for the rest of my life? And no, it was just King Kids. You came back. Yeah. I came back. You came Thank back. God. <sighs> I don't know. I, not related to any sort of drug use or whatever. But for some reason, as I've been going to sleep in the evenings, I've been having these like, oh yeah, I'm gonna die someday. Things. Yeah, see, that's like, the other thing, too. I think getting older and stuff, too, yeah, yeah. you know? Like, like, oh, like, I'm going to die. Like, one day I will you die. understand mortality. I'm like, I just wish, like, the thing is, like, I get that it's going to happen. I just wish someone could prepare me for what that's going to be like. And that, honestly, was a big part of last yeah. night as well. Because I definitely had, like, I'm going to die one day. What if it's tonight? But then, <laughs> you know? but then they always, the flip side of that Ugh. is, like, well, I guess I didn't exist for forever before then, right? Didn't exist. Yeah. Didn't exist. Right. And then you will con- no. then you will stop existing again eventually. You are this big on the map the, of time. The, the yeah. fear, and maybe this is tied to the submarine stuff, is like, like oh, yeah, there's God. we talked about it earlier, so we don't have to get into it. But it was like there's the, there there's the best case scenario, which was that they were found. That didn't happen. But then there's the other, the next in my line, the next case scenario is they're just going down, la da 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 da, and then boom. It's yeah. viscerated. Worst case scenario is lying in the dark, freezing on the cold ocean surface or whatever with all the lights off as everyone's pissed and shit themselves. Yeah. And uh, it's playing Celine's My Heart Will Go On or whatever, you know, whatever dumb bullshit is happening. Yeah. And uh, and I was like, I was like, well, I feel like my biggest concern about like dying would be like missing everybody. Like missing stuff. Oh, thank God. After you're dead? Yeah, like after I'm dead. Like, but, oh, I really yeah. miss Elise, you know? Or yeah. like, I really miss my friends, or I really miss whatever's going on and stuff. And then, and I'm like, that would fucking suck. Yeah, Just I agree. Just eviscerate it entirely, and then, and then I'll essentially be the culmination of my last moment of consciousness forever, right? That I agree. That would be the best case scenario. Those are those. That's my hope for death. And we're this is a fun son. This is what Sonic Frontiers will do. It'll get you to have these conversations. <laughs> but my best case scenario for death is you are a, cul- a culmination because I don't think any human being ever thinks they're gonna die, and most of the time, right. most human beings I think are biologically designed to assume that no, I will be the one to never die, right? Mm-hmm. And even if you're running into battle, even if you're like, you you see a bomb dropping towards you, you think I'm gonna get through this, right? And so you're, I think, feel like your brain does this like back up, whoop, and like, and so even that moment where things stop, you still think, oh, okay. Anyway, I don't know. No, so, uh, so then you basically are hanging on to everything you've got. And then you just exist in that moment forever. Because if you've ever done any sort of drug, you know how time can just go like, and you're like, how long was that? And you go, 10 seconds. <laughs> right. How's that possible? I got all the way up this hill, you know? <laughs> but we do also, like, n- like once you're dead, well, I don't know. I, 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 there is no consciousness to be had once For you, sure. Right. Yeah, okay. I guess the best example is uh, drowning. A lot of people, and I think there's a 30 more minutes about this, but it's asphyxiation and drowning, which is like one of those things where your brain knows it's dying, 
right? Okay. It understands what it needs to survive. And it, someone should clip this with Sonic and everything happening in the back, background and put it on like a philosophy subreddit. Um, but uh, the best case, like, because when your brain is dying and it knows it's dying, it knows it needs oxygen to survive and it can't get that oxygen. So then when things are really bad, it just floods everything with endorphins. It just unleashes yeah. a astronomical sum, uh, a, 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 a Mack trucks worth of endorphins into your brain. So you go, oh, like, <laughs> and, and I'm like, imagine what that, like small amounts of drugs or things like that. Imagine what the most pure form of like, like euphoric uh, hormonal thing could do to your brain if it's just yeah. like, fuck it. And like people that have sur then survived are like, of course, heaven exists. And they're like, they're like I flew, I went, I saw my body in it. Like anything was a possibility. But I was like, I just would like to know that you do that. And then voila, that's what you get left with. You so get left with that. So the best drug is drowning. Well, no, I mean, I think pe you see people who asphyxiate themselves intentionally to try and reach some sort of some sort of uh, euphoric state. Ugh. I think that's not something you should do. It's not worth it. We have way better, way better methods, natural <laughs> and artificial, to get Ugh. plenty. You talk, Ryan described his, his uh, newfound appreciation for King Gizzard. Like, you can get way, we don't have to, we don't have to choke ourselves out, but I do think that. I have a new appreciation for everything. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> it is <That's> crazy. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am, Oh Jesus! Yeah, and yeah, I was like, like, like I'm going to bed, you know, like, like uh, scrolling through shit, and yeah, obviously, you know, I go to Twitter at some point, and just like every other fucking post is about the summary. Titanic. It's killing I'm me. I'm just saying, yeah. yeah, it was fucking. I'm just getting like, what is wrong with the planet? Like it's so, I know. everything sucked about that whole situation. Yeah, it's fucking it was nightmare. Like the worst way to read about it. So we beat that world. Sick, James. You got it. Where are we? Back to Sonic. We're back to Sonic. Red, Red we keep talking Red, about death. Regular really scheduled to, program. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. And I, th I think about it a lot. Death? Death, yeah. Yeah, me too. I do. But I, like, part of me is like, oh, well, I guess if I was like, you know, if I got to be in some sort of scenario where I was like, all right, goodbye, like, and, and make sure everyone knows how much they meant to me that meant something to me, and like, like I get to have like that thing. This, sometimes the scarier thing is being like, you're, you're like, I'm going to work. And then something happens. Yeah, right, yeah. I, uh, uh, oh, whoa, it's Easter eggs? A bunch of Easter eggs in there. Nice. That's what the game we're playing. Yeah, I have a, I mean, you know, everyone thinks about death, but yeah. I definitely, uh, it is definitely a driving force, <laughs> you know? I, mean, I feel right. like people, uh, you know, people will ask me like, oh, do all this stuff or go out all the time and it's like yeah I'm scared of dying and not packing it in baby let's go you know I can die tomorrow like you like want to make saying. sure you have everything or yeah I'm just you know I'm just like like as opposed to going oh I'll go to that thing next month oh, or next year I'll see King Gizz next time they come you don't know what you're well, that's it my thing I'll see fish next time yeah exactly. well okay but that's because you're trying to avoid it <laughs> <laughs> yeah I welcome death <laughs> <laughs> that means I don't have to see fish <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Okay, so what are we grabbing? Hearts? We need hearts or something? So the way this game works is half of the game is in these horrendous looking overworlds like this. These okay. islands that you can run around with there's coins and slides and shit like this. Mm. And then the other half of the game is you... Don't know what that is. Yeah. That's all new for me. Um, then the other half of the game is... Uh, the, uh, like, you get, you find a bunch of garbage all around the map, and then that garbage lets you unlock portals so you can play old classic Sonic levels that are shitty versions of good games. Okay. That's, a, that's the best way I can explain this. Well, game. I mean, that well, one of my favorite parts of Kingdom Hearts, as we know now, is, is the mini, is the mini so, games. So, yeah, they're not that good, and that even came up earlier. You weren't here, but we talked about how Kingdom Hearts has their version of games, too, and you enjoy them. <laughs> yeah. And these are terrible. <laughs> Well, but even that pinball one, I would have had more fun doing that apparently than you did. <laughs> if it was optional, at least in Kingdom Hearts, they're like, hey, we put a bunch of extra garbage in this game for no reason. So we need to get more of those hearts. Okay. We need to get a ton of hearts, and then that'll unlock vaults. And then when we have, oh, oh my that's God. a red pillar. 
a red pillar. Is that like a, is, yeah. is he a, like a misogynist? <laughs> I always lose track of the different pills and what they mean. Yeah. What's white pill, what's black pill, uh, and blue pill, right? And white pill. It's blue and red in the Matrix, right? Well, in the Matrix, yeah. That's, but that's what everyone took it from. Well, right. They thought they were being clever, so they're like, "Oh, the Matrix." But then, no. but then it's like this. It's like different paradoxical groups both use it for different yeah. things. <laughs> well, I mean, that always happens, right? I guess someone that is what happens, but I just I lose clever. track of what it means in common parlance. Yeah. yeah. You ever been brown pilled? I don't know what that means. It means you, it means you go to win. Oh, oh, accidentally get <laughs> brought to a wing concert. Damn. Ja I literally said, uh, asked James if he would go to Ween. He said no. And, he, and then we were just like, hypothetically, if you had a free ticket, would you go to Ween? And he goes, <laughs> he said, would I have to pay for parking? Wasn't that on this stream? <laughs> oh, shit. Wasn't that? I'm, oh, I thought that this was off air. <laughs> but you're, I think you're right. But that made me laugh. Funny guy. How am I supposed to do How am I supposed to know that it's going to fucking do that? Anti-fun. Anti-fun! Because you're so bad at it? or It's not that I'm bad at it. It just doesn't do anything to, like, reward you in any way. It's just shit. It's just all bad. Have you ever just thought about the making a video game? I know you've written one. But when, is that, isn't that, I don't know much about no, it. Isn't I, that different than making a video game? It's too complex. The, the, the making of her requires too much work and passion for things that I'm not interested in. Well, I mean, isn't there like somebody who is not necessarily maybe a programmer person, but is a, a director, creative director. director, creative director? Yeah, I mean, even that, I, I feel like I trust other people more to know game mechanics. Really? Because every time I see you play a game, it seems like that. You, really well. well, you're you're just you know you have all these uh, insightful critiques on the mechanics. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Someone said, said uh, talking about winging up here, obviously. Uh, so I'll just hit some of those comments. Someone said bananas and blow. Was that a comment? Oh, I love winging bananas and blow. Um, I, I, uh, I, I was posting on the wing subreddit yesterday. Uh -huh. I bet you were. While I was taking a shit. Okay. And, uh, uh, I, Is that like the thing that you only have access to the subreddit when you're pooping? No, it's, but it, it, it's, it's related to the post. Okay, okay. Uh, so then I was like, me and my friend Greg had had this conversation recently about what is the, our Ween bathroom song? Okay. Like if you're at the show, you're like, okay, now this, this song's playing. Uh -huh. you know, I, I have time to go pee. You know, uh -huh. if, if, obviously it doesn't always sync up like that. Yeah. But, uh, and mine was this, this song called Pandy Thackler, which I was just kind of this dumb, kind of chill, jazzy piano song I don't okay. really care about. It's really long, so you have plenty of time to pee. But, um, uh, but I asked a bu I asked uh, what people's lean bathroom song was, uh -huh. and an inordinate amount of uh, amount of people said uh, <laughs> "Bananas and Blow" specifically because they're like, "Yeah, you still have a problem. I mean, that, you still like, you know, do blow during the show oh. from that, with that song." And now I just like use that to take a breather because they don't want to. It brings them back. back it's like. Yeah. It's like, what do you call it, a relapse yeah, territory. And I hadn't even thought about that. I'm like, huh, wow, all right, that's kind of healthy, I guess. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna sit bananas and blow out. Uh, uh, I go use this time to go get a beer and chill because I don't want to be tempted to, to eat bananas and do blow. Oh, what? Oh. Hey, James, you need the boost. Thank you, Nathan ba Bathan. The dumbest at this pub I've ever seen in my whole life. Oh, really? oh I love no, it. it's done. I think it's solved. That's it. Right? Okay. Oh, there's one more piece. Like okay. fine art. We gotta reset. Modern art. Oh, I just need all the pieces. I don't have to do it in order. 
James, there are 679 human beings watching you play Sonic right now. Should be more. <laughs> Should be more. Where's everybody at? Greed is a sin, James. Yeah, but I don't believe in sin. <laughs> so greed that's, is just that's an That's your emotion. pride showing. Greed, yeah, yeah, that's awesome too. <laughs> you sloth man sitting here. Someone said best ween bathroom song is Poop Ship, De Poop Ship Destroyer. Yeah, there is a fair amount of people saying Poop Ship Destroyer. Somebody said that they were on acid uh, uh, in the bathroom and they started playing, they started hearing them play Poop Ship Destroyer and uh, were laughing their ass off while they were shitting. Which, have you ever done acid and shit? It's like one of the worst things in the world, so. I have not. Um, Shockingly. Don't, don't recommend it. I have not. <laughs> just the act of pooping is bad. Just it just make you just feel weird and gross. You're just like, I don't want to be doing this. Like you know, you're like, okay. trust me, it makes sense. I trust you. I trust you. But right. holy fuck, I'm never doing drugs again. You probably will. <laughs> uh, for a, it'll be a long time. I'm taking it easy. You know, we were talking about like you know, if if. if uh, you're scared that you're gonna die, so yeah. you're gonna pack it in. But you don't wanna do the flip side of packing it in so much that it causes you to die. <laughs> you know what I'm you saying? You shitting yourself to death? Yeah, shitting yourself to oh, death okay, at a wind yeah. concert. Yeah, while you're on acid. Yeah. My, my issue with when I did mushrooms was that Dan told me to watch out for the house. Uh -huh. There was a house nearby, yeah, yeah. and I was hanging out with Dan, and he said, he said, uh, watch out. So what it is, his back words were, that house is like intense. He said, "Watch out for the house. It's intense." And then, and then I looked at the house, and then a big gust of wind hit me as I was looking at it, and it did like the Jaws, the Zali or whatever. And I was, and then I got really scared, but I also had to poop. So I was like, "What am I supposed to do now? All right, there what you the go. hell am I supposed to do yeah. now?" <laughs> Don't go in there. Fishing. It's the only place you can go. That's so you did that to me the right? whole time. He did that a bunch, because then there was a gate, and then, and then he was like, he was like, gate's right there. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> so I stood by the gate for uh, two hours, <laughs> trying to figure out what that meant. <laughs> we're actually fishing. <laughs> this is the first, this is the first, Ryan, we're actually fishing. Oh, sweet, we're fishing. Right, have we fished before, anyone who's been here before? No, you, you, salty you said you'd rather die than go to fish, than fish. It's different fish. <laughs> okay. Uh, gate's right there. I ended up taking a picture of myself with the gate <laughs> the next day. Well, this guy looks cool. Is that old Sonic? Oh, welcome back. I guess we have been here. Is that Pokey Sonic? There. Fish there. King Gizzard of the Lizard Wizard has a has an album called F Fishing with Fishies, I think. They don't play any of the songs off of it, they're alive. Got your ass! Wow, that was realistic. Japanese people love fishing so much. Really? They love it. They put it in every game they can. Can't get <laughs> enough of it. Interesting. See, the, you see a fish here? That's yeah. where that's where you'd think to cast, but not me. I'm avoiding them. Because if the small fish are there, that means there's no big fish nearby. Were you ha uh, following the uh, that big fishing scandal? Last year, no. Did you hear about that? Uh -uh. Oh, it was it's cool. Just, I that. Well, it was crazy. You should watch the videos. What? What was it? Um, they were, had some guy in a scuba suit beneath attaching big fish to it. <laughs> um, no, there's this guy who had been winning a bunch of tournaments and stuff, uh, and his fish were heavier than most. And then there's just this video of, you know, I guess people started getting suspicious, and then the, these guys just went up to their fish. You know, like at, like like that they had just won, you know, the award with, and they just start cutting them open, and there's giant weights inside of them to make them heavier. How did he do that? He he before he gave them to the people, he stuffed weights way down in the gut of the fish in the mouth, and uh, apparently he'd been doing it for a while, and he's just sitting there. All these people are just sitting there like, "You're a scum, man! You piece of shit! You know what?" Like he's just being sitting there, just like oh, silent. What did he think was gonna happen? Right, I know. What the fuck? It's like, <laughs> it's like you were on top of the world, man. You're going, you're going down now. Yeah, I think he went to prison. I think for a little bit. To prison for? I mean, or I guess he whatever. Yeah, fraud? I don't, know. Or, I don't even know. Uh, that yeah, was it was definitely something like that. Oh, look at this guy coming in. That's a big guy. Big fellas coming in. 
And like in, in the span of a couple weeks, there was like a fishing cheating scandal, a poker cheating scandal nearby at the, oh shit. Fucking dude. Marlin. The Hustler. And now there's just another poker cheating scandal in the dub, in the World Series that's happening right now. I can't believe these gamblers aren't more honest. Well, that's the thing. This guy, I don't think cheated. I think he's just a weirdo. Oh. Uh, and 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 there's a whole there's a whole, this whole debate. James, yeah, let, let's, let's get, get your, into it. Let's, let's get, get in. Your, we got time. Uh, let's get a your on this. Oh, Son boo! Of a bitch. He uh, so he was basically like playing with the cards, weird kind of like you know, kind of like like putting his hand down on it, you know, like kind of like uh -huh. doing these weird like little things. And then he would sit there and stare at other people's cards for a long time, like the, like that were down. Uh -huh. So you don't see him. So then everyone was like, he's he's marking the cards yeah, some with way. Yeah, with his hand or Like whatever. was like the, imp the what is it, allegation. Uh -huh. Or some people were saying maybe he had like ink on his hands. He has contacts. That can yeah, see. yeah. That was another weird conspiracy. And, um, and then he's taken forever for each move. And so... And then there's people saying, thinking, oh, maybe he's not cheating, but he wants people to think he is cheating or maybe cheating to give him an edge in the game in each hand. Does that make sense? Uh, Basically, okay. it, it's like, it's like, okay, you're playing against a bunch of people and you're, you know, a lot of money's on the line. Maybe you don't want to go into a hand with this guy or you maybe you want to fold out because like, like there's maybe a chance that this guy is, is cheating, but you can't prove it. So it just makes, it throws you off on tilt as they say uh -huh. and uh you don't want to do it so is that should that be allow is kind yeah. of the, the ethical question to like mind game then? to basically be like you know if i just said hey i cheated i know your cards you know essentially yeah, yeah, yeah. like and guess what like like i'm gonna bet this much and it's like is that uh that you know kosher um so anyway i don't think this guy actually in my opinion it doesn't seem like he cheated it seems like he's just a weird guy who has like nervous yeah. tics and he does seem to uh, acknowledge at least that he has like annoying tendencies at the table that piss people off. So you're team cheater is what you're saying. I'm team that he's not cheating, but he, but I wouldn't, you know, if I was in the tournament, I probably wouldn't mind if, if he didn't get play, but I don't know. It's a weird standard to have to just get, oh my you know. God. We people. found a hammerhead shark. All right, like we're going out on this. By the way, we didn't put any of these back. Sonk just throws them on the ground and lets him <laughs> asphyxiate on the He doesn't do anything. I wish we could see that. Yeah. It's just like you turn the camera around and there's all these like, <gasps> fish just gasping for air. Oh, that suck. An egg memo, a memory token, vault key. We always want vault key. This is way easier than having to go to do any of these fucking missions. What is happening right we now? We gotta make a note of where this is, so that way we never have to do any of the stages ever again. We'll just buy all, all our vault keys here. Can you catch like an orca? I don't know. They're, they're crafty. Do you know who Bill Dance is? Uh, no. Probably the... Uh, He's like the Tiger Woods of fishing. Okay. Tell me when. When. I like it raw. Some people prefer it this way. You know I like it raw. Times. Wait, so do I get to grill all the fish that I ate? Oh, cool. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> You're grilling fish that you caught. Wait, wait, that doesn't seem... Is it going to be as big as like the hammerhead? I want to see the hammerhead on the fucking shish kebab. Is this, I can't tell if it's over or underdone. Now back to poker. Yeah, um, tell me. Uh, I do wish, having said everything I just said, I do wish that you were allowed to talk more at the World Series of Poker. You know, th there's this guy named Jamie Gold, all right? Okay. And he was notorious. He, he had this one run, like in 2003 or 2000, no, in the early 2000s, and he was just super about talking smack. You know, this mm -hmm. is, they changed the rule because of this guy. Okay. It's the Jamie Gold rule, okay. which I think makes poker not as fun because to me, it's fun to, half of poker is just this big mind game, right? You're uh -huh. bluffing and stuff. And I think that the vocal element adds a whole new twist or a whole other Okay, thing. you would say that, though, because you that's how you prefer to play most games. Well, yeah, yeah, okay, but I wish it was at least you could do that, you yeah. know? But but this guy was so into, like, talking, he would just say stuff like, like, I have ace-king, 
I have Ace King, you want to fold this? Mm -hmm. Trust me, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's like, you don't have to believe him, but he would get in people's heads, you know, to the point yeah. where now you're not allowed to talk about your your whole cards yeah, okay. in poker, which I don't think is a good rule. I wish that you could, you know, I wish you could say, I got double aces, you get the fuck out of yeah, this yeah. hand, you know, or, or I, oh, I got a two, four offsuit, you know, who gives a shit? Just, you know, like, like to me, that adds a element of fun. Do you disagree or agree? Uh, I Where do you fall on this? I feel like I disagree to Damn it. a point. I don't know. I, I think I think there for most things that are competitive, uh -huh. just create a realm where that's fine, and then create a realm where it's not. I'm down with that. I was, do it, yeah. like it's the same with it's the same with uh, <laughs> steroids. You know, I'm like, just put the given guy a fucking patch. He's, he wants to use steroids. All right, you can use steroids as much as you want to, but you gotta wear a patch on your on your jersey or whatever. Oh, that's how what you mean? I thought. Well, you were in this like, case, in this case, it would be you want to be an asshole. You can do it in the asshole. You don't way. have to but be when an you, asshole. When you want to come back, when you want to play and have just people sit there quietly like adults and play <laughs> poker or whatever, <laughs> like then we're gonna do that and the and the you know there's more prestige associated with this, but this is kind of this the the. the, the Dick League or whatever. The XWSO. Sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This this uh, worked out fucking shoot. great because we got all these keys, so uh, now we can skip the section of the game perfect. that makes us play it. Thank God. Um. Yeah, no, I I basically agree with you that that I wish that there was you know it'd be cool if there was multiple options you know, but uh but I don't know about the ba your baseball thing. I do think that it'd be cool. You know, it seems like you should split the leagues up at that point. Have the XMLB. I don't know. It's like, all right, this is the hardcore stereo steroid league. The and problem is people are cheating anyway, right? Like you right. do all this stuff and they're cheating. So it's like, all right, you're cheating. That's fine. You can still play, but all of your stats are gonna say that you did it while cheating and you're gonna be wearing this big patch on your jersey that says that, so when you hit the home run and all the kids go, yeah! It's gonna be great. Everyone's gonna be really happy for you, but you're gonna be walking the bases with the patch that Ugh. says, "I I did roids big time." <laughs> Scarlet letter, <laughs> cheater. All right. But in terms of your thing, sure. Yes, just don't make that be the standard. You can talk shit as it much as you to want to. It used to be the standard. Jamie Gold fucking ruined it for everyone. Well, that's what I'm saying. What if someone goes even further? Because what you're willing to tolerate might not be what everyone else is willing to tolerate. Which I get. There's a gray area that, that that's kind of where it goes to this this most recent guy. It's like to me, he's just you know seemingly not doing not breaking the rules necessarily. He hasn't. Well, yeah, but, this guy. The, I I don't know the details of the guy who's fingering his cards or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like he's in the devil's advocate, but. Um, <laughs> what a reference that Someone, we just talked about. Yeah, was it you? It was me. I you just watched, watched it, it yeah, yeah, and yeah. you told me about that scene of yeah, the... really bothered Yeah, me. it's disgusting. But, you know, that's why you don't watch movies when you're a kid, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> they stick with you forever. Maybe that is why you watch movies when you're a kid. I fucking loved The Devil's Advocate. That was such a, like, amazing, inspirational kind of movie. This is, or I hadn't seen a movie like that in a while. That was just so... Cinematic, but also uh, Who made it? for adults. Taylor Hackford. How the fuck? When you design something to put it into a game, consider the mechanics. Just because you're doing bad at a minigame game doesn't mean that it was poorly made, okay? Yeah, the director hasn't made much movies. He made Ray. Oh, right, you're saying. And pretty much only like, that's like his biggest one. But then the others. Well, I would argue that both have the Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I have to argue with you. On that <laughs> I don't. I don't really like Ray. I like I walk. I like walk one way better. This way. Oh, I need more. I need more of those walkies. That's fine. We can fish. <laughs> We're never gonna play another fucking Sonic stage ever again. <laughs> we might get through the rest of this game. We might finish it, folks. So we'll just keep an eye out for hearts as we're going through everything. Best biopic, go. Uh, Boogie Nights. <laughs> Count. It's a fake person. Hmm. Uh, good question. Okay. 
Um, I really do like Walk the Line a lot. Um, uh, even though I'm a little biased with a lot of its segments. However, um, if you count Amadeus, Okay. As Mozart's biopic. Alright. I think that's my Okay. I love these some Amadeus. I've never seen it. Most Ooh. historians seem to consider that it is almost entirely made up. And what's his, the bad guy from it? Um, who's the bad guy? Uh, Solamaleri or oh, something. Whatever. Solaire. Solaire. Solaris. Whatever. Apparently he was like a very big advocate of Mozart. A very what? Like an advocate for him. Well, he is in the movie too. But well, isn't he the bad guy? But he, but but it, it they go. It, it's a bromance gone wrong. You know, it's like it, it, at first he's his biggest uh, champion. He that's like the whole thing of the movie is about how I read somewhere he got a bad rap in that movie. Well, okay, you bring up a great point, James, okay, in the I'm sense not, that like, like it is kind of funny how yeah, that it's my favorite biopic, but it's not. It's like. It's because of how entertaining yeah, it no, is. Yeah, no, no. It's, it's the quality of the biopic, not necessarily the yeah, quality I don't, of its the, accuracy. The accuracy, but it is funny to to have a biopic be your favorite. That is probably inaccurate because it was so long ago yeah. and it's just kind of a made-up story. But it was so well done. You know, it was so great. And, I mean, you really should watch it, but I okay. won't spoil it. But, like, but in terms of just, like, you know... It has it's an awesome central theme and question. Yeah, because because basically Solari or whatever, you know, he is like definitely the most like like educated and like uh -huh. just kind of uh, professional and like really trying to like hone his craft, uh -huh. you know. And then Mozart just seemingly is just like it, this fool, just like oh, and just like going around and he just makes this like out of thin air this genius. Uh -huh. And that's like it's like you know the what is genius, you know, yeah, yeah. kind of thing. And uh, it's amazing. Okay. I love the movie. It's Milos Forman. I believe you. So let's see. Let's sing that is there. Let's see if we can get this yellow one. This fishing thing is a game changer. You can just buy all our rings. Or all of our vault keys or whatever. Let's skip this whole fucking game. Perfect. Let's it seems go, like that's baby. What you would we never finished that other game with Omar. Which Were game? you with us for that? I don't... Which game? It was, uh... What was it called? The Asura's Wrath? I like, think I was there briefly. Were you for some of that? Maybe. What is this person? Goose just says, it was a lot of silent rage while Ryan recanted his... Oh, oh they were talking that about... That was me. They were talking about earlier. Earlier okay. I was trying to get on top of a tower. I was listening to you, but I was also <laughs> fucking enraged because of this game. <laughs> But we're making good progress now. We're doing it. We're picking up eggs, getting coins. Wait, extra required. Oh no, okay. I thought it said eight. I was like, fuck you, eight. I bought all those keys fair and square from that big cat. <laughs> I really do like it when biopics are not just uh, like, all right, someone's life from beginning to end. It's like, all right. A take on it. Or, or, or just a, a, a portion or, yeah. Well, I say jobs I didn't love. Social Network's really good. Social Network's great. Yeah, because yeah, it's, you know, about the part of his life that is important. Yeah. Um, well, but, what about his MMA fight with Elon Musk? Do you think, uh, do you think um, uh, David Fincher is like, fuck? I should have waited. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. Like, I should have waited. That has I to be. I could have gotten the fucking fight in. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that seems like what so, something Fincher would do. Yeah. Inside. Um. Well, I. I mean, I will be watching. Uh, I can't wait. Uh, it's for sound, their fight. For their fight. Okay. However, having said that, it's like, it seems like no matter what, it is going to be disappointing because. Because. They're either going to go just so easy on each other and it's not going to be oh, yeah, anything yeah. and it's Mark going to be like, oh, and it's going to be all for fun and charity or some shit. And everyone's going to go, why did I, yeah. you know, pay for this? I agree. Or Mark Zuckerberg is going to beat the shit out of Elon Musk. That would be the more entertaining option. However, it's just kind of like, all right, for, to, for what? It's well, a, it's also like, all right, so you... To prove that you, you train and the, he sits on his ass all day? The big takeaway for me is it's like, okay, so we just basically proved that you guys who always claim to be so fucking busy were able to learn how to do this in your spare time. 
That's my thing too. Elon Elon Musk going like, I'm busy, I don't, I'm always busy. I'm like, and yet you're on Twitter more than I am. You're yeah. always fucking tweeting and doing all kinds of bullshit. It sounds like you've got a lot of spare time, man. Well, that's the thing, James. Once you build the machine, you know, then you kind of just uh, yeah. But he doesn't give credit to anyone. He just says that he did it. He's like, I did it. <laughs> I'm saving it. During a combo, press A to activate. Which one are we talking about specifically? Which of his many business ventures? Yeah. Um. But then, yeah, like Mark Zuckerberg is like. Okay, okay. You clearly you clearly got rich and we're like, fuck, I'm a nerd. And now you're trying to do anything in your power to undo that perception. <laughs> or it's like like at least for him, I don't know. He like I'm kind of fascinated by his like like I don't know, my yearly challenge to myself. I will only eat venison that I cook or whatever, you yeah. Know, or kill. Like I don't know. There's, I mean, whatever. But that's cool the kind of thing that. that only people that have fucking time and money can do. Sure. <laughs> no. Uh, wow, you did it. Booyah. Didn't I, did I do this at some point? I think you've maybe seen one of these before. Okay. Or no. Wasn't that a game? That was a game in Kingdom Hearts. That's what I thought. I think it was okay. a game in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I was like, is this the same game? Fucking flying thing for no reason. I, I, my prediction with Zuckerberg is, I mean, obviously he's gonna be rich for the rest of his life, but like, I feel like Facebook and Meta or whatever the fuck, it's just like fucking over, right? You think, but you know, they have. I guess still they have a ton Instagram, of traffic, Instagram, like, or WhatsApp, yeah, or whatever. It's, so. That's the thing when you own everything, it's like you can't fail. You, you totally like, can. I mean, people like. Uh, I don't know, look at General Electric or something, or just things that, like, forever ago used to be just, oh, they're going to be around for forever. But do we, did, did people, how many people, I guess the question is, how many people are now poor that were rich? General, when you think about stuff like that, it's like, oh, no. Now they're not as rich. Well, right. I, <laughs> yeah, like, no, I get it. It's more just, it, to, to me, it is going to be kind of amazing to where, like, this once mammoth company, at least for Facebook uh, specifically, it's, it, it is going to be a shell of its former self. And, and the other thing, too, is until until we change how the economy is entire, like, wealth is entirely based on the stock market, right? Like, yeah. we're probably, you're always going to have this kind of thing, because, like, Meta doesn't have to make money. It just has to have perceived value, and then, and then you'll be able to, uh, then you'll, and then the stock price will essentially be high enough that you'll be able to make theor theoretical money. Like, you well, know. yeah, but, but uh, not every company is structured that way. There's some, some that have no, but like dividends. the super rich, the people we're talking about are yeah. super rich. I am so fucking excited for the next day of adventure movie. Which one is it? The Killer. Wasn't he supposed to be doing like a sequel to something for a while? Uh, oh yeah, he was gonna do, well, it was something stupid. Yeah, it was like, but that's my thing about David Fincher is I'm, he's like, he always picks the movies where you're like, David, why? why but I, I but I, I, he rarely misses in my oh, opinion. Yeah, I agree. Um, but yeah, no, I hear it's brutal. Like fucking hardcore, brutal violent movie. The killer is. Based on a book? I think it is, yeah, I think it is based on something. Yeah, yeah he's just the best. He is pretty great. What's your favorite of his? Mm, Alien 3. Uh, Fight Club, probably. Yeah, it's hard to beat. It's funny, uh, Mike from Kinda Funny recently watched Fight Club for the first time. He was like, there wasn't any fighting, there's barely a fight club in it. <laughs> and it's so funny because like he his reaction was exactly the reaction of everyone watching and like, you know, like Whoa, this is kinda cool. Whoa, shit.
Really, I was. Uh, oh yeah. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> I was looking at my most anticipated movies of this year. Okay. Still. Um, well, he says that a lot, by the way. Gets or distracted. Be like, oh, oh god. It should, I'll be like, oh, what about this? And be like, oh, let me see. And then, uh, <laughs> and then I'll be like, are you, are you still are you looking? At oh, sorry, I was on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it is a neo-noir, uh, based on the French graphic novel series of the same name. Oh, wow. Has he ever done a graphic novel or something? That's kind of cool. Huh. He has said that he didn't, he wasn't really happy with how Girl with the Dragon Tattoo turned out. But I thought it was really good. I, my, no, I thought he, I thought he just talked about how he liked it. He feels, he, it feels like he, um... He makes all of his movies with one arm tied behind his back. He's like, I'm going to make a biopic about a kid that's 21. All right. So I'm going to make a biopic about Steve Jobs where it's in the same room or whatever. Okay. That, wait, he did that one? Oh, wait, no. No, that was Danny that's, Boyle. Was that Danny Boyle? Yeah. Who, and then it was written by, what's his, it was, what's his face? Aaron Sorkin. Aaron Sorkin. Yeah, there you go. Him. Um. But uh, it's just it's just funny because like he's like he's like I'm gonna make a movie where the the bad guy and the good guy are the same person and you're not supposed to know. He's like I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a uh, a remake of an already wildly successful internationally popular popular thriller. Like he has so many. Which things. one is that one? That's Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. Uh, it's uh, like it would already a critically acclaimed film, you know. Um, and I I think he does a great. That's the thing is like oh the like the. Uh, girl on a train or whatever. Uh -huh. I was like, it's like he's like, I'm gonna make a movie about. Um, uh, I'm gonna make a, a movie that's based on like a schlocky, you know, uh, airport novel or whatever. But then he makes it and you it's mean great. Gone Girl. Gone Girl. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I say. It's a girl on a train. Oh yeah, I always get this confused. I love Gone Girl. It's a great movie. Yeah. I mean, none of this is a statement on the quality of the movies. It's just. Well, he's totally like the guy where like, when Hollywood, uh, it's like when there's some big piece of juicy material, you know, that, that takes everyone by storm, mm -hmm. every single one of those will get sent to David Fincher's desk, you know? It's like, oh, what if we have David Fincher's take on Fifty Shades of Grey yeah, or whatever, yeah. you know? Like, like, and I'm kind of surprised that he'll bite for some of them. Yeah, because I also have the same thing with the girl with the dragon tattoo. I'm like, come on, man. We've already seen, like, I, I don't, I always feel like they're wasting one of their movies if they do a movie I don't want them to make. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. <laughs> um, someone said they were surprised he did Benjamin Button. I actually really like that movie a lot. Oh, yeah. See, I, I, as you know, have some major complaints about Benjamin Button. Yeah. It's that if he's going to be a full-size man he should have been he should have been a full-size baby he should have been a man-sized baby yeah, at the end. I agree. um yeah he uh he said he's proud of it okay. dragon tattoo which is nice my least favorite of his movies if i had to pick maybe panic room oh yeah panic room i mean it's just kind of okay yeah it's like what I, yeah, perfectly competent movie. Thank you for joining us here at Filmhouse, Sonic. Yeah, Frontiers. this is what always happens. If you've ever watched a stream where it's just Ryan and I, we just talk about movies. <laughs> um, yeah, this year, this year sucks for movies. Does it? I feel like so much is coming out. You got Barbie, Oppenheimer. Those are the, okay, yeah. Most, half of the good movies come out this year, come on the same day. Um, I'm making a video on it right now. Oh, I yeah. wish I had it out already, but... Uh, what the fuck is going on with these controls in this game? The Guide to Barbie Oppenheimer Day, 2023. What's your, what are your, are you don't want to give away your recommendations yet? Um, no, I'll, I'll kind of, I'll brainstorm with you. Okay. And, uh, you know, you obviously you got the, uh, there's the no, the golden question is, which do you see first, uh -huh. right? Yeah. You got the bar behind you. Right? Yeah. You can see Barbie and Oppenheimer. Okay. You know? Kind of, uh, 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 then you have the Oppenheimer. Okay. Oppenheimer yeah, and Barbie. Yeah. Sure. Right? But you, you know, I, to me, that's a little bit of a, uh, you know, uh, 
disrespectful because for no one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not explaining it as well. No, I hear you. Better do better on the video. <laughs> when you can edit. Uh, yeah, yeah, when I can edit it. But uh, so then there's the Barbie sandwich. You know, you go see Barbie, then Oppenheimer, then Barbie. So, uh -huh. You know, then you have the Oppenheimer sandwich. No, Barbie. Yeah, I, I said it wrong. Whatever. What? Then there's Oppenheimer, Barbie, Oppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All the different ways, combinations of yeah, seeing, yeah. seeing these movies. Then there's the Barbie Oppenheimer swirl. That's where you guys see 30 minutes of Barbie, 30 minutes of Oppenheimer, 20 minutes of Barbie, 20 minutes of Oppenheimer. Back and forth until you see the entire film. Okay. All right. Yeah. Got the, where is uh, that going to happen? You got the Barbie, the Barbie Oppenheimer. You can just theater hop, you know. Okay. Uh, Barbie Oppenheimer uh, casserole. Okay. Uh, it's where you project both films over each other. Okay. You know. Not many, you know, it's not the best way to see it, but uh, then there's just the uh, the the McBarpin Oppen RB Heimer gangbang, and that's where you just you start piling shit on. You see Barbie, you see Oppenheimer, you see Oppenheimer, Barbie, Barbie. Okay. This is Toy Story, Junior, Barbie, Toy Story, Barbie, Barbie, is that in theaters? Uh, uh, Jury Duty with Polly Shore, um, Oppenheimer. You know, you just see, uh, make a marathon out of it. Okay, right. uh, that's another one. I feel like there's I'm missing a uh, few more. I just shocked that you're able to find all these combinations out of just two movies. <laughs> there's, there's the, I feel like there's just the one way or the other way. There's this most thorough guide to uh, the Barbie Oppenheimer weekend. I just for one fucking heart. So, all right, how many fucking hearts do I need? Because I'm going to. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go here. I'm going to see how many things I need. And then, if it's a bunch, I'm gonna go fucking fishing. Okay. And I'm going to buy out, I'm gonna try and buy out the rest of the game. So I don't actually have to play. I wanna fish the rest of the fucking game. Okay. Is that legal? I don't know, we'll see. You're like so a, I need you're like the Bill Dance of 18? Sonic Frontier. Okay, so where's the fish? I don't, I'm not gonna get 18 of your bullshit. So, where's the fucking fish? Um. There, he's down here. We're fishing. Let's see if we can fish We're the rest of this goddamn now. game. Because I hate it. It's not fun. I'm done with fish for 38 minutes. That was kind of Well, uh, yeah, we, chill I mean, relaxing. if we fish for like 15 minutes, we may have enough that we can just, like I said, buy out all the currency that we need for the rest of the game. And then we just go straight to the end. How's that sound? Sounds good. Oh, we ran out of boots. Sonic ran out of speed. Got no cardio. I wonder who his dealer is. His speed dealer. Sonic, so you, don't want, you don't want what Sonic has. <laughs> um, yeah, the ones I'm probably most excited about are Killers of the Flower Moon, Scorsese. Uh -huh. I'm excited, and I hear it's a masterpiece, so that's pretty cool. What about Indiana Jones? I am excited about that, honestly. But, uh, and I, and I like, I'm an apologist for the fourth one. Um, Damn, Dune 2, I guess. I didn't really love Dune 1. I liked Dune 1, but I didn't think it was a full movie. Yeah, fuck that shit. I was why? like, I hate like it, that and, trend. and again, having read the book, I was like, why there? Like, it just had an extra 45 <sighs> minutes tacked on. Yeah, dude. It, 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 that kind of. Uh, that, that soured me on Dune 1, for sure. Also, also the whole thing of like. Go see Dune just to so we can so we can make the the sequel. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. It's bullshit. They were filming the sequel. They yeah. had every intention of doing both, part one and part two. When it starts, it says part one at the fucking start of it, and uh, and then also you're gonna tell me that they have Zendaya. They're like, all right, Zendaya, you're on set for one and a half days, and we're gonna put you in all of the marketing material. Yeah. Like, no, there's no way. It just felt like, yes, it felt like the beginning of a story. I mean, it is, the, it is the beginning of a story, but again, having read Dune, there's better places that they could have, it looks like they literally cut it, wow, golden fish. They literally just like cut it down the middle. And I was like, you should have, when they, when the Harkonnens raided the base, and it make it seem like all is lost at the very end. Don't just have them go wander the desert, find some Fremen that you don't even know. And then uh, and then he fights a Fremen that you've never heard of before that means nothing to you if you're not familiar with the book. Yeah. So 
What is this? That's a sweet frog. I'm gonna roast that. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, that thing is probably so poisonous. Oh, uh, well, if you cook it enough. <laughs> if you cook it enough. Um, Any excitement for the Hasbro verse? Is that a real thing? Oh, well, I mean, oh, did it's because Mattel of Transformers? Or Barbie, I assume. Oh, is Barbie and Transformers going to team know. up? Oh, wait, no, that's Mattel. Um, the Hasbro verse. I don't know what that is. I mean, that'd be Power Rangers, right? Are you excited about Rebel Moon? I wish I wish I was. What do you mean? You're the biggest Sucker Punch fan I know. Yeah, I know, but he's done a lot more since Sucker Punch. So? That his seriously wavered my I figured it'd be kind of like I honestly thought like when when what was it uh the dead of the dead or whatever movie Dawn of the Dead no no oh wait oh Army of the Dead Army of the Dead I was like yeah this is gonna be cool and then we'll see we'll see Zack Snyder's back and then I watched it I was like that sucked <laughs> I I don't I wouldn't say it sucked sucked there compared was... to the concept Think about that concept and then think about what that movie was and how how the fuck do you blow that so hard? It was, it was, that concept was such, is like the worst, most boring version of whatever yeah. that should have been. Like a, a heist to break into Vegas during zombie apocalypse sounds like such a, it seems like such a layup. It was marred with all kinds of weird, like, Queen, like zombie queen stuff and the zombies have sentience it was like i am legend whatever i don't care about any of that he like like yeah it's it, it, it's weird to me how the guy who made 300 and the original don of the, you know or the remake the original remake of don of the dead um makes it, everything feels so bloated and full of yeah. story characters that and, uh, that I feel like he, his editor sucks and well, should be yeah. fired. Well, weirdly, J. Rhodes is saying, a fellow Sucker Punch apologist, the extended edition is a better film, and I would agree. Not that you should ever have to sit through that much time, because it is a lot longer, but it is, it's one of those things where it's like, maybe he was like, I was right, it should have been long, and since then, he's just made everything long. Also, Batman v Superman is well, better in the extended edition. But Watchmen. Uh, Watchmen is awesome. The full version of Watchmen is, is cool. Is really cool. Yeah. Um, but you know, I just think maybe his his original IPs are bad when he has too much say over oh, what the that what is. the actual thing is. And since Rebel Moon is like his big thing, I have I have my doubts. Me too. Paul Thomas Anderson is making Karate Kid. I don't. There's no way. I wish. One of my favorite directors of one of my favorite movies. There's no way. Is that true? Um, what about uh, are you? I am excited. Person up there that said uh, Napoleon. Um, Ridley Scott's got Napoleon coming out. Oh, and that's gonna be cool. How old is Ridley Scott? Is he 90 years old yet? Uh, he is. Very you know, Michael old. Mann's like 80 years old. That makes sense. It's crazy. What was his last movie? Oh, no, like he's making heat too. Blackjack or, or bl black hat. Oh, right. Oh, I found a TV. Is he really making heat too? He wrote the book. You can buy the book. There's a book of heat too. Um, Ridley Scott, Sir Ridley Scott was born in 1937. 85. Yeah. What the fuck? He's been going. I love him, and I love his brother. Rest in peace. Um, yeah, I think next year's gonna be a better movie year. I think PTA and Quentin Tarantino have a movie next year, supposedly. I, I you know, what I'm really excited for Tarantino's last though. Yeah, well, I, I believe that when I see it. Uh, I'm excited to see this this uh, Jennifer Lawrence teenage oh, it sex looks funny. comedy. Yeah, it looks funny. I was talking to Elise about how I feel like Jennifer Lawrence got a bad she got a bad rap. Like she was everywhere. She got maybe oversaturated too much, and then she made like a couple movies that were meh, and people were like, "Boo!" I feel like people were really excited for her to be like shown the door or whatever. I mean, I'm sure there's some casual misogyny mixed in with that, but like, I was like, but, well, I found an alligator. Whoa, I'm gonna roast the shit out of that too. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, but I, I felt, uh, I was like, oh, good for her. We got four. No, I, I agree. I really like Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, and um, I kind of, and I, but I know, I know the vibe you're talking about. I kind of think that uh, blame uh, put some of the blame on David O. Russell for that. Because uh-huh. you know they made like four movies together, and the first one was great. She, I think, you know, she won the Oscar or whatever for Silver Linings Playbook. Uh-huh. And then, uh, God, this is such a <laughs> crazy sound effect. Um, and then um, uh, she, I don't even know what I was saying. Go ahead. <laughs> was it, Silver Lines Lines? Lines? Oh yeah, but then they, you know, Russell. then they made the movie with like the, the Miracle Mop for Joy and American Hustle and maybe one other. But that were all kind of, you know, everyone go a resounding, oh, that was okay. uh-huh. you know, and yeah, she, like you said, she had oversaturated. But I don't, as I, it's that thing is, that's never her fault. Her oversaturating, and then she, well, but it then, is her fault, her Trajan's fault. But she made like one movie that were like, eh, and it was like Red Sparrow or whatever. And we're like, eh, and or people are like, oh, we're done with her. Passengers, right? Oh, Passengers, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but then uh, the same thing right. didn't happen with Chris Pratt, right? I mean, I guess people are soured on him a little bit, but I don't think it's necessarily because of his overexposure. Yeah, no, I, I, I see what you're saying. Because he stopped wanting to play likable people. Yeah. Um, someone asked if I'd seen Possession. Are, do you mean Possessor, the Brandon Cronenberg movie, or the Brian De Palma, Paul Schrader 80s movie? I, or, I don't know if it's 80s, actually, but... Either way, I've seen both of them, <laughs> and I like them both. American Hustle is the most forgettable movie. Yeah, it was very... It was, it was weirdly, like, all in the Oscar conversation at the time, but I remember seeing it and being like... Mm. Yeah, it was kind of whatever, and it was like every single of the main actors was nominated, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> Which was kind of weird. Um, Tired Wallabies envisioning us 30 years in the future sitting on this couch playing Sonic and Gears talking oh, be dead. <laughs> and it won't be me existential crisis <laughs> too many dead lips. stone tablet <laughs> um what was I going to say the, uh, the, 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 yeah that, that movie with her looks good and funny yeah. Which you, you, they don't make those anymore. It looks, yeah, it, that's what I mean. That's what the trailer says too. It's like the return to the raunchy summer comedy. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, we should do that. Bring him back. You know what I uh, uh, want to bring back, and I not only want to bring back, but I want to be the one to bring him back. Is I want to be the new uh, whatever the fuck those people were called that made those shitty parodies every year. Oh, the Seltzer Friedberg? Yes. Guys? I want to be the new Seltzer Friedberg. Okay? Okay. All right. Those movies, A, there's a reason they made a million of them because they, you know, they... they and there's a reason them. no one watches them now because they don't make any fucking no, sense. No, because they, because those particular ones suck. Uh, everyone still watches Airplane and... Oh, yeah. And, uh, you, but, so then why don't you say you want to be a Zucker brother? Because... Uh, and make... Great, hilarious, the, memorable the, parodies. The, because I want the output of this seltzer free bird people. I want to, you know, all right, what, what's the new thing this year? I'm going to make this amazing parody of it. Uh-huh. You know, let's go. And, uh, but people will actually like it. Uh-huh. And, and I, they seem like they're cheap to, to make. You yeah. Know? Yeah. No one gives a shit. <laughs> I will give a care. shit. I will care. I mean, I like the idea of making ridiculous comedies. I wish that we had, like, kind of what we do with horror, more of a thing. We took more of a chance on comedy, and we didn't try to make them all, like, a fucking thing, you know? Like, a whole big deal. Mm-hmm. Just let it just let it be what it is. And then, uh... We got a lot of these in these second. Well, say that last thing you just said again. Like, we just make... We just shit out cheap comedies. Like, I feel like comedy eventually started blowing up, and it was, like... Because it would be like, oh, I mean, in the early 90s, it was whatever. It'd just be a, the stupidest concept you could come up with. And then you'd just be like, here we go. Um, but uh, in uh, when like we were growing up in the 90s and then beyond, it was like, oh, American Pie. It'd be these cheap little things. But then it was like Wedding Crashers. And that, like it started like adding and then it was like, oh, we had to, we had, we're now we're paying 
suddenly $20 million for our lead actor yeah. in these comedies that should just they be made money things or whatever. So they made money. Yeah, no, they made money, but I'm saying they could make money there too. Well, but but well, are you saying specifically about the theaters? Because I would argue that they do crank out shitty comedies uh, on streaming services. You I know? guess even those though, it's like it's like um, uh, Adam Sandler. You know, like there are. It feels like it feels like there is some of that too. I don't know. I just feel like yes, theatrically, we need to start. Yeah, well, theatr the theater's dead, man. Just fucking accept it. It's over. Goodbye. No one gives a fuck. Everyone says they do, and they don't. They don't go support their local cinemas. Well, I think, and I'm mad about it. I, here's here's the here's the issue with that too: is that no one's supporting anything. What do you mean? Because you're just playing. It's it's not a small town theater anymore because one corporation owns everything. That's that's the big thing. People aren't going to the movies anymore. I'm like. Well, no yeah. one gives a shit because it's an AMC or a Regal. That's not it. And that's it. That is so not it. Now, it more options would not make people go but, flock But I'm saying in terms of saving it, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Yeah, who cares? I care. You. <laughs> I would care if it was a small, like, what is it, a Vidiots or whatever? Like, yeah. Like, those, hell yeah, let's keep going and hitting those theaters up or whatever, but... Well, okay, to your point, I would say uh, I agree with you in the sense that it, it's weird because to, for me, it's it's way less about the um, the bigness of the screen and the sound yeah. and stuff. It's way more about love, loving going into like a packed theater and, and, and everyone laughing mm -hmm. and screaming or whatever. Uh, uh, and I do think it's a waste to, yeah, if I go all the way to AMC or something and I'm watching it in this giant theater with basically, you know, like... A, scattered like three people essentially mm -hmm. which i do all the time yeah. you know i agree that, that 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 doesn't necessarily make it worth the, the well experience. i don't i don't even i mean part of my thing is the theater is like you're you're in there you're locked in you like yeah. you're not gonna pause it you're not gonna go i mean i never go to the bathroom during a movie but like fuck no what is this use two different attacks to hack the program move light shot dark shot they just put ikaruga in this thing Oh, it's like Galaga. It's cool. I can play this. Um. Yeah, and I mean, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, you seen? You have a pretty sweet theater setup, projector yeah. setup. So you know, I get it taking a lot to get you out, but. What what yeah? What does it take for you to go to a movie? Theater? I mean, I go to I go to I like going to movies a lot. But again, I'm saying like in terms of like oh we need to save this. I'm like, well, it's hard for I feel like any regular person to feel like they need to save anything when that thing is just is just uh, another corporation. Like, I like we need to save our local Amazon. Like, I don't give shit. I don't get what the local or what the corporation part of it has to do with. This is a a medium we're talking about you know like, but that's what i'm saying in terms of get you are you're in you're on the other side you want to get the theaters you're trying to get people in theaters right you want okay. theaters to stay around but in terms of any normal person it's like why do i give a shit why am i i just it's another corporation well okay but that's the thing i don't necessarily i don't want people to go to the theater just to save them that, that's not what i'm saying i it would be cool if everyone wanted to go because yeah. it's fun <laughs> it's a cool time yeah. at the movies but that's what people don't give a shit about anymore people are just you know you know so many options and whatever well, i would say also smartphones and shit like that. yeah like people, exactly like, honestly, and home they, home experience home theater home experiences no one really giving a shit anyway people people don't watch movies the same way you and I watch movies is to take it in and experience something like people like having things just to be existing for the most part while they can also do their other shit it's like a distraction well yeah it's just that that, that we've gotten away from I mean every, it's everything's so isolated now that like yeah you can watch them you can watch any movie alone and get a lot out of it and really you know whatever but every movie could be a party you know, and you're like yeah. watching it with a group of either your friends or family or strangers, and it's fucking different and fun and cool, I and guess. it's worth it. Even that for me, though, I'm like, sometimes, what did I see? I saw Asteroid City, and there were people, like, in the row behind me who, they luckily didn't really say shit during most of the movie, 
But like, there was a guy behind me who felt like he had something funny to say about every single trailer. Yeah. And it wasn't funny, I assure you. And I was I like, believe it. I don't need your, no one needs this. No oh. one, no, and also none of, I, I wanted to turn around and be like, none of your friends are laughing. <laughs> like, and they're the people who like you. Trust so me. how do you think I feel? I hate those motherfuckers, you know, and I always get, end up sitting by them it's somehow. But, uh, you know, it's just uh, part of the part of part of doing yeah. business. <laughs> Listen, if I could have a theater just and invite all my friends, we watch Hard Ticket to Hawaii together, I would. But that's not that's not the way it goes. Yeah. Get up. Where are we going? I'm trying to get up this fucking tower. Oh my god, we're so close to finishing this game, maybe. But yeah, I mean, you know, I got, a lot of people in here just saying, like, making jokes about why would I be want to be around other people? Yeah, yeah which yeah. I think that's a very real thing. But for some, I mean, it is, yeah. Like Omar literally will not go, does not like going, actively hates going to the movie theater because of other people. Yeah, you know. And <laughs> you I mean, a lot of people do ruin it. A lot of people. Ruin it. it shouldn't ruin it. It's just kind of like, all right, these guys but suck. If, but Move not on. the thing is, if everyone was like this, if it was all this, nine times out of 10, it's this or this. Like, it's oh, like, I'm, I'm trying to watch the screen and this person is texting or like or answering their phone. Yeah. And that is the kind of thing that creates a miserable experience. Yep. So. That's why every movie should be uh, in a 3D uh, D box so that uh -huh. you have other things to distract you from those assholes. Uh, 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 uh. You can't send a text. Oh, yeah, exactly. People are saying it's too expensive to go to the movies now. Also, I agree with that. I, I, I would have agreed with that, but now if you are going all the time, you know, these fucking sub passes and stuff, it's like, pays for itself. Well, it pays for itself if you're going to go all the time, but no, not everyone gonna, not everyone can be like, all right, here's uh, whatever, $30 a month for my move to be committed to just going to see movies in the theaters. Well, and, I, and some people yeah. also have families too, like, if you yeah. have kids, you're fucked. Yeah, if you have kids, you're fucked. I agree, um, especially with concessions for all of them and stuff. So, but I still think maintain that you know if you're going to literally after two movies, these fucking uh, subscriptions pay for themselves. You know, I, I know. So if you go to five, you just got some cheap movies. Don't get me. I understand, but I also think that the economy's a scale. But then, I, then no. if you have kids, you're like, all right, so I'm supposed to get five AMC A, -la -A list passes or whatever. This is under the assumption that you don't have children. Yeah, you yeah. no shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, once kids are in these, these equations, all bets are off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who wants to go to the computer with kids anyway? Sounds like hell. One time I went on a uh, on a first date to uh -huh. like two o'clock Sunday matinee movie of the Lego movie. Okay. And I had already seen it. But I, I liked it so much that uh, we were going to this movie, and, uh, uh, <laughs> and, and, um, uh, and we're in the movie, and it's just me and her, and then like a bunch of families, you know, that like who had brought their kids and uh -huh. stuff, and some some moms that were there with their kids, and yeah, it's a kids movie, and there's like kids like. Running around, it's you know after about thirty minutes, you can't you know they're mm -hmm. they get distracted, so they're like going up and down the aisles and stuff, you know. Uh -huh. And at some point, this girl that I was our only date uh -huh. um, uh, was just like, I could see getting very visibly annoyed uh -huh. at it and stuff. And then she at some point like said like starts yelling across the theater because like there's not very many people, mm -hmm. just like hey like. Like, I don't know exactly, I remember what, exactly what she said. It was something to the effect of, can you please, you know, get your kids to be quiet, basically? Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, oh, no. You here, know? Here. And, like, we came in, in and, and then finally, like, after, like, she did it again. And, you know, and and uh, uh, and in my mind, I'm like, we are in on their turf right now. This is a children's movie. I, and at some point, the, the, the mom, thankfully, said, um, excuse me, you came to the Lego movie on, on a Sunday afternoon. I'm like, thank you, uh, Mom. For I, I have voice thoughts on this, but first I want to do an experiment. Yeah. So this is a puzzle where I, I need to like 
jumped, so I'll land on the green one, something else turns green, and I need to do it before the time runs oh, out. Yeah, yeah. Last time we did one, I, I was like, I bet I could do this with my eyes closed. Okay. So I'm going to see if we can do it with my eyes Please. closed. Please. I have no idea to, if, how to judge this. Um, you're completely off the platform. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again. Right. So, uh, what is you're not you don't want to be on the green? Oh, I see. Am I still on the platform? You are. You're, yeah, you're doing good. <laughs> this is uh, impressive, James. Did it? How much time is that? Uh, 73 seconds? Or no, I, how much time is left? Uh, oh, I guess it's at least start once. Oh, you, I'm off the platform. Well, oh, you have to stay on it the yeah. whole time? Oh. Okay. Okay, well. <laughs> Still, though, the idea if I had just kept counting. Because <laughs> it's just, it, it's just so stupid. Gonna... It's like this isn't a puzzle. Like, yeah. Well, let the record show. I couldn't. <laughs> that that was that was so stupid. Probably for people that knew what was happening. So you know, I just was flipping off the side. <laughs> well, because I didn't realize that every single time you got off of the five things, oh, I starting. So I'm going like, wow, you seem to be getting all the green nailing ones. It. I was every every it. time you hit the green, it uh, it disappears. I was nailing it. <laughs> all right. Okay, we got to get across there. We're so close. We're so close. Uh. Um, so here's my thoughts on kids' movies and stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, she probably shouldn't have gotten too upset. My issue comes with the fact that we make kids' movies now for kids. Uh-huh. We don't need to. You want to do the old way of making it with you can adult make jokes? It, yeah, you can make it for adults and make it seem like it's for kids, but it's actually for adults, and it'll be fucking fine. Want to know why? Because that's what kids are doing in the theater. You make, you make, and Lego Movie, I would say, is not even made for kids. I would say well, Lego yeah, that, Movie I was just is, made say. For, is, is made for a general audience, which uh -huh. is to say that there's elements that anyone can enjoy, and uh, but it also has, you know, it doesn't dumb itself down for the sake of being a kid's movie. I feel like we'd make a, there's a lot of movies that are dumbed down to be kids' movies. They don't need to be, because if you go to one of those screenings and you see what it's like, it's fucking animals <laughs> yeah. just running around like anything goes up and down the aisles. Ooh. Their parents don't care. Maybe they, their parents even might have even wandered away. They don't give a shit. They're just happy that they don't have to worry about their kid for 90 minutes. Yeah. So we don't need to dumb down these. So we, we might as well stop making kids movies. Don't um, make kids movies. In principle, I agree with you. Thank uh, you. And of conversation however i mean i i do think yeah like the lego movies a bad example of that because that movie's so awesome and yeah like you said probably not a, you know it, it's but it's obviously a kid's toy like so, yeah but we all had it we all grew up with it it's not like we weren't kids yeah that didn't have legos now have you seen actual uh stuff tailored for children now specifically coco melon I haven't seen Coco Melon. You've never I've watched seen Coco Bluey, Melon? and Bluey's really good. Yeah, but Coco, Coco Melon's Coco Melon. another level, another level of, of full children's entertainment. I haven't. It's mind numbing. Yeah. It's amazing though. I've I've been mind I've been hypnotized by it. Uh, uh, okay. It's it is a one long continuous music video. Okay. Essentially, like there's never a break between segments or anything because they don't want for a second that baby's attention yeah, yeah. to be, you know, it just all, it just constantly goes into a loop. And that's why it has the, like, number, I think it's number one or two YouTube views because of, you know. Just, There's that other, the woman who also does YouTube videos, but she actually, by all accounts, has good stuff. She, like, stands there and she's like, I'm gonna teach you how to read. And she, like, does and good stuff. But, yeah, I don't know, it's tough. Children's programming is a whole, is a whole different, because I, you know, I have friends with kids, and so, like, yeah. I've sat there and watched like 10 episodes of Daniel Tiger and I was like, this is a good show. Not bad. It's a good yeah. show. They just talk a little bit slower. <laughs> like, and that's the only difference. Like, 
to your point about you know making not making them for kids i was kind of impressed like when i went i, I brought my two of my nieces to go to puss in boots last wish oh yeah and you know there's that there's tons of kids jokes and you know kind of adult jokes that'll go over people's heads uh -huh. But I was amazed, like afterwards, kind of how much it didn't go over. So, you know, they kind of got, they knew yeah, they what the characters it. were and stuff. And, and if they don't get it, it's okay, because they're gonna be like, "Wow, shiny!" Yeah, like that's what kids do. Right. I, I I thought Detective Pikachu was fine, but what bothered me most about it was the fact that like it it like was a film noir that stopped every three seconds to make sure the kids would understand. And I'm like, they don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. They don't give a shit. Like, totally. there's a point in uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. There's so, I mean, there's so much in Who Framed Roger Rabbit that is like, you know, not for kids or whatever. But like, it didn't mean that as a kid I was watching, I was like, huh? Yeah. What? I was like, cartoons. Uh -huh. Look at the cartoons. I love that car. I wish I had a car. You know, like those are the things that you thought of. So when they like take stuff like Detective Pikachu and like we just want to make sure the kid can follow this part of the thing or whatever, I go, who gives a shit? I wonder how, like, if they, uh, uh, if if shows like that do do that kind of um, eye eye tracking stuff for, uh -huh. for kids or like like how do they do focus groups on yeah i mean i think the children's stuff. part of it too is like obviously it's a business right and so yeah. they don't want kids to stop watching but like i don't know that it's a testament to the quality of the programming you're making that it enraptures the child well it that, hypnotizes them right. i'm sure the parents appreciate that they can get these kids to get the fuck off them for three seconds but I honestly think that like, it's probably bad. Like I, I always say, one of my favorite things thinking about as a kid is you'd be like, it's Saturday morning. Well, and you put on it and I'd sit inches away and my mom's like, your vision's gonna go bad. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I got context, but everyone, most lots of people got context. It's not even that bad. So like you'd sit there and you'd be, oh, and you'd be enraptured, you'd be crazy. And I'd play my toys and stuff like that. And then at like 11, 11 o'clock or whatever, like golf would come on and I go, well, I guess I should do something else. <laughs> and I would wander away and find some sort of other adventure to go on. It's just like, it's, it's, we, we're, I think we're approaching this wrong. I agree. I also, my suggestion, I've said this to several parents that I don't think take me up on it ever, but like parents, most of the people I know don't just put the iPad in front of their kids and let them drool on it, like, and watch whatever they want to watch for a hundred episodes. But I do think what, what I would do if I was a parent is I would make a playlist of a bunch of kids' yeah. cartoons and stuff, you know, all kinds of stuff. Mm. But then at a certain point, the playlist would be like golf <laughs> or like I Love Lucy clips or like different <laughs> things. It would just, and I wouldn't explain to them <laughs> that I have complete control or everything. Ah, well, I guess the, <laughs> you watched it to the end of the thing and now it's the other thing now. <laughs> yeah, right. And that's what I would do. And then that would be that. <laughs> good trick yeah because that's what happened to us we just watched shit and went, oops sorry golf's on now i'm like is it always on though like could it not be on <laughs> yeah probably there's probably shit all over the place but well it is wild too just how different you know our just how we got that shit and how well that's all that's on tv yeah. and we didn't have just everything that's ever been made in the history of the world that are fingertips yeah i used to think about that and have dreams about that like when i would collect album cds and stuff uh -huh. and just like just dreaming about getting a new album i just i'd be like you know what heaven would be to me just somewhere where i could have every cd that's ever been made like yeah. just have my, i could just like a big room with it all you know and then here we are i'm in heaven yeah i was gonna say you got <laughs> it yeah i got it it happened in my lifetime i can't believe it it all fits on this motherfucker Nice. So we got six minutes left in this stream. Yeah, Fuck, what, what, I am so close. To what do we want to do done. for six minutes, James? Uh, what I are mean, we I'm, about? I'm trying to. I think I may have enough currency to finish this fucking game, but at some point we have to boot it up and then go there. It's done and watch the credits. All right, open the door. Open the door, witch. <laughs> um. Yeah. The 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 constant scrolling of content is is uh is is tough. It's tough. 
And I also sim empathize hey, for any parent who's like, I just need to rest. Yeah, I, just want to I, sit I, here. I don't know. It's such a weird balance. I met I met a, a friend's kid for the first time no, yesterday. Great, wonderful child, um, and like immediately took a liking to me. Mm -hmm. Just kept tapping me and just kept asking me about my favorite Disney characters and telling me about their favorite Disney rides and just like just kept ta and then be like huh and then tap tap and this this and then they're and then start having conversations with their parents and then tap tap and then this this and as we were walking away, Elise was like. I think I think kids love you because they think you're an action figure, and I was like, that's the nicest thing you've ever said. <laughs> you're just like a huge GI Joe. Yeah, that makes sense. There we go. Come on, baby. <laughs> Did they say anything insightful that uh, made you think, sit there? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Not. Okay. Child. Okay. <laughs> no, absolutely. You didn't not. learn anything. Absolutely not. Heavens okay. no. Heavens no. There is no child that can surprise me <laughs> I know everything they're gonna say anything they thought of I've thought of a hundred times over I don't know I have a niece that she'll just say things I'm like where on earth did that come from wow. one more one more chaos emerald We're so is that, close. What, is that what they're called chaos emeralds yeah Dr. Robotnik is that not what are, what's the Marvel thing uh, the Infinity Stone. Oh, but there isn't chaos stuff in there too. I don't know. Or maybe chaos is one of them. Though. There's, let's see, there's Power Gem. Oh, Doctor Robotnik gives me the last one. We're teaming up with Robotnik. This oh. game still sucks. Uh, it's Jim Carrey. Reality Stone, Space Stone, uh, Power, maybe. Um, I only know them in terms of what they do in the Marvel game. Um, there's like the Life Stone. Uh, that's what I was, I was about to say. Soul? Oh, the Soul Stone, I thank, think it's the Life you. Stone. Soul Stone. Oh, that's not, okay. I think that's the same one, right? I don't know. Power. Reality. Earth, Wind, Soul. and Fire. Time Whoa. and time. Uh, Supreme, is this the final boss? We got three minutes left. Here's what I want uh, you to do, Ryan. No matter what's happening in the game, I want you to hit end stream. <laughs> I want you to hit end stream as soon as it hits five o'clock. <laughs> okay. Uh, stop stream. Don't actually. Huh? No, you don't actually have to. Oh, really? I don't no, know. It'd be funny no, though. That would have been funny though. It would have been funny. Oh wait, so Perry so, doesn't work with this. Let's see. Why the fuck? Is the parody working? I think it's Ow! If you think about it, if this is happening in real life, that would be so insane. And you're just sitting there watching it? Yeah. Look at all this stuff that's in the... Did you see all like the gold stuff in the background? And I just went straight at him and just tapped one button. Yeah. It's like a game you could play. <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a compliment. Bad news, apparently within the Street Fighter community, it's considered that the things that make Zangief good with modern controls don't offset how much better you could be with classic controls. I thought of you when I saw it. Okay. Well, don't don't forget, I beat everyone in Zangief as Zangief. Yeah, but... I am the best really Zangief. Mean? That means I'm the king of the Zangiefs. Well, no, because I beat you. I beat you as Zangief. Yeah, and then I double perfect you, and we actually did it for real. Remember? That was kind of at the end when people were tired and stuff. People were tired. Yeah, no one remembers that part. There's always less people at the end of the stream. Everyone just remembers the first one. Uh -huh. Alright, it's 4-9. Alright, hold on, we almost got him. We just need the cutscene to maybe happen. 
This is like the King King Giz oh, visuals last night. Uh -huh. Yeah. I cannot stress enough how happy I am to be sitting here talking over video yeah. journey in, in real reality. Phantom Rush! Rush would be a cool soundtrack for this, this fight. I'm just hitting one button. That's like Kingdom Hearts. What's happening? Oh, he's got a gun! Oh. Oh, yeah. I like the 3D shit. Oh. What happened? Did, I, did something happen to the gun? The jam. <laughs> he just broke. This guy's like, what is happening? I kill gods in this game. That's what you do. You, get, you gain strength and you kill gods. I thought God was murdering me last night. Really? You specifically? Well, you get <laughs> Here's the thing. If there is a God, he doesn't know I exist. I know. That's what I always think, too. There's no it's way like, he can keep track of me. Yeah. Same for Santa, too. He might be out there. Well, Santa, it's a different story. Why? We don't have time to go into... Santa? To get into Santa. Wait, but I'm just saying, like, you think Santa has an infrastructure that he can, like, keep track of everyone's shit? Yeah, Santa uses magic. Well, what about God? God? Religion is just magic that's older. No. No? What's no. the difference in your mind between religion and magic? Uh... Uh... Well... Wait, the difference between religion and magic? Yeah. Well, that's not the question. It's more just like I feel like God probably is just. It's like it's like a computer or something. It's like oh, okay. there's just random. It's, there's we're a random. Okay. Oh, there's parts. a. There's not. It's yeah, yeah. It's chaos. It's, it's more chaotic. It's insane. It's, it's chaos. Purposeful. Gotcha, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Whereas Santa, yeah, Santa it's an cares about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Santa loves me. Okay, yeah. and he knows about me and what I'm doing at all times, Reduce, whether I'm naughty or nice. And who, I. Who do you and, think is more omnipotent? Omnipotent? Yeah, Santa. Santa. Okay. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, like you to your point. So, I think so, God necessarily doesn't even know we exist when, or cares about us. But so, but does that mean that Santa knows there's pain and suffering in uh -huh. the world, and he chooses to do nothing? Santa? Yeah. Well, Santa can't doesn't have unlimited magic. He has Christmas pain. Okay. Yeah, it's so very only specific. Christmas related pain. So if your father is driving home on Christmas, he, he can't hits stop. It, hits anything. an ice patch. Goes off the bridge, dies. Santa when has, you're six years old, Santa couldn't have stopped that with Christmas has, magic. He probably knows it happened, but he nope. can't stop it. He mm -hmm. he doesn't know the future or something. He mm -hmm. just he's dealing with our actions, you know, like mm -hmm. uh, as a uh, as naughty or good boys and girls, and then rewarding us um, when we're good. Did we beat the game? Oh, good job, James. Did we? Wow! Look, there's an eclipse right here on the summer solstice. The end. Nice! You did it right at 5:03. I have to fight a planet. <laughs> Wait. You have to kill God, then fight a planet? Seems weird. He's riding a space guitar out to a different planet. What the fuck is going on? I don't even know what I'm looking at. Oh, is he helping me? Supreme's helping me! We're fighting together! Whoa. You and God are fighting a planet together? This is a heartwarming story. I do love that someone was like, and at the end of the game, God and Sonic joined forces <laughs> to defeat a planet. Yeah. Piss Sonic. Is that what he's called? Piss Why is he yellow? He's super Why Sonic. Is he yellow? Oh. I prefer Piss Sonic. Oh, missed it. There we go. 
you know, I all this stuff, like obviously this is a rip off of Dragon Ball Super Saiyan, right? Oh, obviously. In, in Dragon Ball, Goku can go Super Saiyan, all the Saiyans can go Super Saiyan, and they go blonde. We, oh. beat, it, we beat Sonic Frontiers. Tell Jacob, go grab Jacob. Go grab Jacob. Jacob! And it's all thanks to Big the Cat that we did this. Oh, she's she's driving this thing. She's driving God. God is a woman. I knew it. Fucking knew it. The ultimate sacrifice. Where did Ryan go? Jacob's office is right there. Like after fun. Oh, is that Robotnik? He's here. <laughs> did we, did we, what did we you miss? Missed it. You missed it. We missed everything. It's over. You missed it. No. That can't be right. You missed it. What? We, no, no. God and Sonic teamed up. That was cool. God and Sonic teamed up, and uh, and then God threw Sonic at a planet, which he blew up because the planet was bad. What about the other? 16 hours. What 16 hours? I did it in fucking 14. Yeah. I set my mind to it and I fucking finished it in 14 hours. The whole last island, Jacob. You that muy bien. <laughs> the whole last island, Jacob. I uh, I just went fishing and then bought all of the vault keys so I didn't have to do a single level. I bought all of the vault keys and all the little things you need to give to them to like make them happy for the mission. <laughs> what the fuck? So I just bought all these vault keys and I came back and then it and then uh, and then it said you've unlocked all these chaos emeralds. What? Yeah. So you you've done fourteen hours. I this? think this would have been about fourteen yeah, hours. I'm gonna yeah. beat you on Kingdom Hearts. It's I'm not doing, winning. I'm doing more than that's that. That's not winning. That's what? not winning. Doing more <laughs> is not winning. Trust me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm doing more hours than that. I'm gonna win. Uh, I thought you were lying times. to me because I was you just tricked me out of not playing Diablo. And oh, are you I playing am. Diablo? Is, oh, you can go okay. play Diablo. I got him out of the stream. There's people a, waiting for him out yeah. there on oh, his Diablo fine. stream. No, I needed I needed to verify this with my own eyes. Are you shitting me? <laughs> what? <laughs> Booyah! Yeah, Eat go, shit, Sonic Frontiers, you suck! I Thanks, beat you. God. Kiss my player. ass. What the hell? <laughs> He's the Bill Dance of Sonic. I've always remember. been saying that. Oh wow! Right on time. Any of those too. voices? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's five o'clock. I, I was. We were fighting the final boss, and I said to Ryan, "I was like, as soon as it hits five o'clock, hit end stream." <laughs> <laughs> so all right. I didn't. Well, oh look, Bill's last name is Salvia. All right, I guess that's the end of Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> Sonic Frontiers is fucking done. I did it. In, all right. In in four sessions. Legitimately. Legit. You did, yeah, you did legit. Wow. Well, all right. Congratulations. Kiss my ass, Sonic. Congratulations, James. What are we doing next? Sonic Adventures? Oh, we should play Sonic Adventures. Sonic Adventures rocks. We might be able to get through one, two, and three in one stream, but we should probably do it on one of the things that has save states because yeah. it can get real, real shitty. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching, right. everybody. Appreciate it, everyone. Good so job, anyway, James. Yeah. God. <laughs>